Ah, oh, how's your mash then she? It's time for a little bit more Sekiro. Think that we will continue in Mibu, probably do a bit in Sunken Valley as well. There are a couple of prayer beads and gourd seeds. See what happens. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff right now, but yeah, there was a gourd seed in Sunken Valley that I did not get. Apparently a prayer bead in Ashina Depths as well. I think the area is supposed to change a bit when I go into... Once the Guardian Ape gets around here. The area is meant to change a little. That clearly has not happened yet, but... I'm wondering if I can get up there anyway. Let's see what happens. And we can use that to break our fall, which is nice. Let's go down over here. Get a stealth death bolt on this guy. Eventually these guys are going to drop, drop, start dropping various gunpowder items. Which will be good for us eventually, but as of now that's not happening. So all in all, I actually need about 20 more skill points. Very specifically. Okay, and it is right here. So I did miss a grapple point that I could have accessed right now. So let's just go over here, slide on in and... Okay, so, ooh, ooh, that was funky. So we can stand up in here, but nothing of note actually comes out of it. That's all right. Let's just go over this way, and no, this is something. So there's a jump over there, but if I go a bit farther this way, can I find something as well? I think if I recall correctly, there's monkey booze on one side, and, oh, but this? What is this? Is this just back in Ashina Depths, or? No, this just... Did I get turned... I got turned around somehow. Okay, let's pretend that didn't just happen. So... Up here, there's... A bit of stuff. What if I keep going this way? I need to remember to go back there. So over here is... Okay, yeah, but there is a monkey. So we take you out, I think we can get... An item here, which should be, yep, it's monkey booze. Do you want a hollow tree? Fruits in by monkeys. Turn to sack it with a bit of luck. Pretty harsh flavor, but some find it irresistible. This just goes down to the eventual headless ape arena. So presumably, the guardian ape fell through there. And, oh, this big monkey skull. Interesting. But, okay, we can jump up that wall. This double jump of a wall over here. And this should lead to... Another prayer bead. Should be. Right, it's that back, the back of that Buddha statue. Let's keep on going and see what there is to find. Okay, we managed that. So this is... Okay, yellow gunpowder and the top of the Buddha statue should be... A prayer bead. There we are. We have three beads in our possession. So we'll need a little bit more. Big thing is that... That way, that's the route from Sunken Valley, if I recall correctly. So, well, actually, Second Valley Passage, which will only be accessible after I beat Genichiro. So it'll be a little bit. There's also a gourd seed in Undershrine Valley. In the first part over here, there was meant to be, if I recall correctly, another grapple point that I did not see, or at least another grabbable ledge. So that'll get me to nine gourd uses, and the tenth gourd use, the tenth and final gourd use, will come from will come from the final area of the game. The bonus area that only shows up if you get one of the good endings, or at least an ending other than the worst ending. Okay, and that, we've got icicles over there, which often obscure hangable ledges, but that does not appear to be a hangable ledge. So somewhere up here, there's meant to be a, ooh baby, let's avoid that, Mr. Gun Guy. And down over there, what's- oh, what? Okay, alright. We can just take you out, your poise is breakable enough. Oh, Hajime Mashtenshi Kozu, how are you doing? I am looking for a few upgrades right now before I head on. I'm doing a bit of sequence breaking right now. Oh, it's tomorrow graduation? That's exciting, but cool. But, yeah, also a little frightening. Well, I'm sure you'll do great. If you've already practiced, I'm sure that there's nothing for you to fear. But it's okay to be nervous. Just... Oh, nice! Don't be your own worst enemy. 
Leave that to annoying people. Okay, take you out, and... So, was it just diploma stuff, or also cap and gun, or... Proud of you. That's cool. What I remember is just... The company you bought it from was really, really annoying about having to return it very shortly afterwards. Okay, so let's use our stealth. Let's not get caught by this guy. And can we get back over... Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Well, either way, it's still... You've still done it. We're almost there. You kind of are there already, but you know what I mean. Come on, and okay, health death blow. There should be a gourd seat up here, right? Where am I? Oh, okay, and then up top this way. Peru? Oh, how are you? I'm, I'm alright. I'm a little tired. I had to do a bit of driving around earlier today, but I'm fine. I'll live. Okay. So we got a gourd seed. Self-replenishing nature. Dogen and... So this is the other thing we wanted to get here in the Sunken Valley. Which means now I'm gonna go back to Dilapidated Temple to give the... Gourd seed to the sculptor to get my ninth gourd use. And then we're going back to Mibu Village, which... How much Divine Confetti do I have? Because there, there's an enemy subtype in this game called Apparitions, who... They aren't quite ghosts, but they're similar. And this Divine Confetti op option gives you very, very heavily increased damage against those kinds of enemies. So actually, I might want to just farm a little now, depending if I get more Amiibo. Let's give her a Gourd Seed, and there we go. So it won't restore until we rest at a Sculptor's Idol, but... Once we teleport, we should get the use. So we have almost the entire map shown over here. Presumably, the top right is going to be the fountainhead? Maybe. Final area. But we need to get to, go back to Mibu, which is in Ashina Depths. So the water mill is the last place I was, I believe. So at the end of this area, there's going to be a boss. This evil giant... Buddhist nun with a spear. She'll actually be an illusion. The illusions are different from apparitions, but for whatever reason, illusory enemies also get affected by that divine confetti. So these guys in here, these villagers are, oh goodness, that grab attack's annoying. And they're pretty weak too, but a lot of them will respawn infinitely, which Allows them to be used for farming, among other things, but there was a guy hiding. Because these guys, basically, they drank the, these infested waters, and it gave them, basically, the ability to respawn infinitely, for lack of a better term. So on this path over here, some of them will just come grab me. Some of them will... Oh, oh, whenever I see that danger icon, that's my cue. So I should probably actually stay in the water as much as possible. There's a guy hiding from the other undead, because he is not undead himself. So we have to go up on the house, drop in, and he told me about a pine ember that I could use to make a flamethrower upgrade. But okay, now that we've gotten the pine ember, he's gone crazy. Couldn't resist drinking the evil water. Centipede infested water. Oh hi. Nice. Oh, okay. Interesting combo. One. This, let's block you. Let's do this with funny parries. And one more should do it. One. Ooh, that was a lot quicker. Come on, posture. Build up. One. Ooh. Being silly about this. So the whole deal with secular combat is that blocking is an accurate way to defend. One. Ooh. And that, that orange bar under their red health bar is posture. Which makes them vulnerable to an instant kill when you deplete it. In the same way as... Okay, whatever. I don't care. Oh, he's got a weird amount of posture. Really high. Come on. Let's build this up. Try to hit me. One, two... It's a very unique system. There's very little like it. So, but eventually... Once their health gets below, or vitality technically... And that is a weird timing. Vitality gets below half. They won't be able to regenerate their posture anymore, so you can whittle them down slowly. Or you can just get their health down. You monster. See, so, when you defeat an enemy or get them death blowable, and that red marker appears by reducing their posture, 
instead of just getting their health down, you get... Okay, take your time. You get a special funky camera angle to show that off, too. It's fun. Uh, yeah. Let's keep on going. So the end of this area is going to be Odin of Mibu. Or Odin of the Water, is the English translation calls her. And she is going to be an apparition. And an apparition very weak to poison as well. So this guy is Jin Zaimon. Uh, Kumano Jin Zaimon. Oh, hello! Thought it might be you. How are you doing? Also, this is an educated guess, but... Do you like Minecraft? Because... One of my friends and I, we recently finished off a modded Minecraft playthrough for now. We might be starting a bit more modded Minecraft soon. One of the guys that I'm playing Dokapon Kingdom with right now. Send players just beyond here, so that should be Odin. Waiting for me the whole time. So she might be his mother. But we don't really know. So what can we find over here? It's the bridge, and... So what would be blocked off by Odin's presence? Hmm, we have to talk to her to start the boss fight. So can we just proceed past her, or... Either way, this piercing Sabimaru is going to do a lot of very good damage her, because she's an Okami. Not as in... Well, kind of a god specific. Pretend not to see me. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, wow. You too. Anatamo. Sakuza Sama. And we can't pick this up right now? Oh, wow. So there's a Sakuza. Not sure about that. Okay. Let's see if we can take her down at all. So it's R2, R2, R1, then 5. I appreciate that. I am definitely a modded Minecraft person more than a standard Minecraft person. One. Oh, what? Okay. Interesting. So that's a weird way to go. That's actually mid-air prosthetic tool and thanks. One, two, three, four. Nice, and we got the poison. There we are. Cool. So that is good for me. It does. Ooh, ooh. Well, I gotta stay away. The poison procs are good, but I should make use of ceremonial tanto to get more spirit emblems. Should not be a particularly hard fight. Got the idol to go back to in case I mess up anyway, so this should be good. What would you say your favorite Minecraft mods, or maybe even mod packs are? Because we were playing Dawncraft, we got through most of it. We didn't beat every boss, but we did beat the true final boss. And the next one we're doing is probably going to be one centered around the create mod pack and going to the moon, among other things. And one, two, three, four, five. Oh, well, I... Wow, interesting. Okay. Let's take that gourd up, and... We're probably gonna have to try this again, most likely, with some kind of divine confetti. Okay, and... Ooh, what? What? Huh? Oh, I should have focused on blocking. Alright, cool. So this would probably be a good time to get more divine confetti from some of the Ashina guys over somewhere else, because... Divine confetti will help us take her vitality down a lot faster. And I could try depleting her posture... The poison will make the fight a lot easier if we can proc it correctly. Let's just travel back to the upper tower antechamber, pop a Mibu balloon of wealth, and beat up some of the fencers. This should be fine. Just, if I can get five or so divine confetti, I'll be chilling. Uh, hmm. So let's just, I mean, right, I almost used the wrong thing. I almost used the confetti instead of the... Possession balloon, which we have plenty of. Let's pop that bad boy. And I think that was a money icon over there. Hello there. We walked over some things on the ground, but nothing really showed up. And no balloon that time. That's funky. Okay, get over here. And the big thing is... Oh, right. It's also the Ashina Elite. And this dojo. Should try to grab. And did we get... We did not get any Divine Confetti, we just got Scrap Iron, so... Oh well. Hmm. There's no Skill Point Balloon, which is kind of surprising to me. Oh, they're high. Die. Interesting, interesting. And grab. There we go, one more Divine Confetti, and that should be good. The question is, can we sneak over this way? What would happen if we... broke this? Would someone get alerted? Okay. Oh yeah, they get alerted. That makes sense. Sad, though. Come on, just slam that down and... Well, dodge. 
Ooh. Over. Dodge! Do do ooh, okay. Uh, uh. Hmm. Get in close and slam that down. And ooh, ooh. We're running out of stuff. Definitely gonna run out of the possession balloon. S ooh, ooh. Slam down, slam down, and. One, two, three, four, and. Do ooh, Mikid is in there. I don't like that. We are. Yeah, we ran out of that, so I shouldn't even try getting those two guys. And I think that possession bullet's probably going to be down soon anyway. So our farming run is a bit shorter than I might like then, but I guess that's live. Lasts for about 90 seconds, so the big thing is making sure that we don't lose the cover. And allow him to see me. And, oh goodness, this might take a bit. But I figured out how to actually get through this area and take out the access to the other side of the Ashina Dojo with that Ashina Elite guy over there. That's going to be quite useful, among other things. Also, I think I can probably take out one of those guys on the other side, too, if I'm smart. Now that that rice paper screen is broken, I think I can get in without making noise and alerting them. So that did not alert them, so how can I... Oh no, they just see that. I can't do anything there. That's sad. So over this way... No, not that part of the ceiling. Some part of the ceiling is supposed to apparently lead to... Hmm. Let's see what happens. I feel like more Divine Confetti could be good, or... The Sabimaru to poison. The Piercing Sabimaru in a full combo will pretty reliably poison... So, now I have got two Divine Confetti, which should actually be enough. But before any of that, I need to figure out how to get into the ceiling of the dojo, which is supposed to be where I can access Jinsuke Saze, the Ashina Fencer mini boss, who should draw me another prayer beat for my fifth prayer necklace, which would make me meaningfully stronger. Hmm. But I'm wondering from what portion of the area I go up into the ceiling, because there were the Nightjar Ninjas outside, but... Nightjar Ninja outside... But... It didn't seem like I could actually grapple up to the top of the area precisely, and is this... It's not the right place. Should be a grapple point or something, but I've looked at the ceilings and... Nothing has made itself immediately evident. So, oh, it's up there. That's the spot. And I just did not see it. So I can take you down. May as well take down the other Ashima Fencer. Oh, we got another Divine Confetti. That's really nice. Thank you. And dodge. Okay, thank you. And slam down. Get another. And thanks. And slam down again. And ooh, one. Slam and kill. There we are. And a little bit of health we lost. We'll come back to us. And is that okay? Just a pellet, not Divine Confetti. So someone sees me from in there. Oh, okay, it's the person on the other side. I think there should be some night jars in here. It's so funny that I just did not see this. So I got you in, and there were literally two points to grapple onto, and I didn't see either. Though to be fair, those Spencers were annoying enough to fight that it's almost certainly just distracted during. Okay. So over here, we've got a few more ninja. No, not ninja, but samurai fencers. So the dojo part with Sanzei Jinsuke. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get the old one by jumping down like this, so... Let's go get you. That's what we were able to get. And what if I... Come on, take you out. And nothing really happens there, so... Who in the dojo is going to... Well, we can open that up for one. So while you're trying to get me. And cool. Just block that and... Ooh, okay, cool. Slam, slam, and... One, dodge. Okay, but I dodge out of the end up mess it up. So is one of you going to be... No, you're just normal fencers. Meaning that the Ashina Dojo stuff is not here right now. But I don't have a lot of actual useful combat arts that are good in a group scenario right now. What can I actually... Oh, what I could do is... Maybe try the Spring Load Axe with Fang and Blade. After a mid-air combat art, I could see that working. 
And one, two, nice. Lots of posture damage. Thanks. One, two, oh, okay, and interesting. Oh, lots of, what? Okay. We're just stuck. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for the raid. How are you doing? I'm chilling out. I also realized that using the fan isn't necessary. I'm in a bit more of Ashina Castle to farm some things before I do a bit more stuff in Mibu. But thank you very much for the raid. I really do appreciate that. How are you doing right now? We are, of course, just doing some Sekiro at the moment. How have you been? How's the Wuthering Waves going? How much of the current sort of initial starting content have you gotten through? How much is there, would you say? Compared to... Fair enough, fair enough. Because uh, right now it would be around midnight where you are, right? That's crazy. Yeah, don't keep yourself up on account of me, but your presence is, of course, always appreciated. Well, either way, I hope you're doing well. And again, thank you for the raid. Let's see what happens here. So we got the bell demon. Okay, they didn't see me, but I can... Oh, never mind. Oh my... That was bad. Really, really bad. I'm an idiot. Okay, so jumping in with the Ujimonji is the best way to take these guys down. So one, two, and ooh, ooh. Ah, uh, okay, fair. Well appreciated. Yeah, exactly, you know. Friends bought friends. Okay, either way, I did mess that up. I alerted him when I shouldn't have, which means the other guys are getting involved. Those fencers are really, really fun to fight, frankly. The issue is, is in a, in a group setting, they become almost impossible. Don't worry, I had... I might have mentioned this before, but... Last summer, I made a lot of these oatmeal apple muffins. Well, not really muffins, more just sort of baked oatmeal bites, which were really, really convenient for breakfast. I stopped eating them for a while because I heard about a weird pesticide issue with oatmeal with this weird pesticide called Cormaquat, which... Well, eventually I... So I switched over to rice for a while, but then eventually I stopped caring because making rice every morning was more inconvenient, I assess, than just dealing, dealing with the occasional pesticide. You know, if it poisons me, it poisons me. I'll lose a few years, but at least I get to eat fun little apple muffins in the morning. Maybe that might not be the best way to see things. Okay. So, oh, and you see me. How am I going to get these guys all involved? And so which ones see me at the moment and which ones are going to... That's the issue. So all these Ashina fencers in the dojo don't seem to see me at the moment, but... We take you down with the aerial Ichimonji to just deplete your posture and go for a pretty much instant death blow. So you are sort of a weaker version of the fencer, but you're fast too. Seem a little faster to compensate for your lack, more lackluster damage. So are you gonna go for a Mikiri or are you gonna one, two, three, four, and okay, that did not quite work. Ooh, okay. Oh wow. That was painful. Oh, you got me in the combo and it screwed me over. I didn't expect the rest with the Mikiri coming. Nice, and ooh, that was tough to block, dodge, ooh, my goodness, okay. Slam that over and, ah, what? Yeah. I, I literally got to me, but I got to a late game area. This should not be giving me as much trouble as it currently is. And overhead, yeah, but the big thing is that I don't want to die for real without that resurrective power available. And that said, I could actually, depending on the death blows I got on enemies, could restore a bit. The Ashina guy, the Ashina Swordmaster should be around here. Saza Ejinsuke, I believe, and that would be dangerous to fight a mini boss straight up while running low on health. Okay, I bet we can get a death blow on one of you. And hello, and will that restore my? That will not restore my resurrected power. That's disappointing. So we can get you up against a wall, which is nice, but you sent us back a lot more than I expected. And slam that over and... Oh, but the lock-on did not work. Gotta be kidding me. And dodge. Nice, and the Mikuri worked, and we can... Oh, I messed that up. I ah, pressed the wrong button wrong. Thanks. And can I take you out? And John... Oh, goodness. Okay. Heal, heal, and heal. I'm messing this up. I'm messing this bad. Okay. Hopefully another death blow should be fine. And can I slam down... Go in, move in, and... Slam again, and move close, and... Dot! Okay, there we are, and finally, we press the right button on the thrust counter. That was more than a little embarrassing. 
Ceramic shorts here, and what else is over this way? I Okay, so there are three Night Drone Ninja in here, and we did get the Resurrected Power back by killing some trash mobs. So that's a bit of a relief. So if we die here, we can just run away without having to worry. At the same time, I... Key items, key items, key items. And do I have to use the... I had to use this Sakura Droplet, didn't I? Or one additional resurrection. Resurrected power once more. So that should, in theory, mean a third node. But I haven't seen it. I don't see that. I... Oh, I hate these night jars. These guys are some of the most annoying enemies in the game. They don't really have any good counter attacks. One and Fang and Void is alright, but I just have to get good. It's just pure skill on these guys. But if I can get them to stay away to sort of fight me one on one, they're a lot more manageable. Just gotta make sure that they separate, because fighting them in groups quickly becomes impossible, because a lot of them will harry you with projectiles as well. They're known as the Nightjar Ninja. In Japanese, the original, they're known as basically Eagle Men Ninja. Or sort of men who are close to eagles. Which is an interesting name, because a Nightjar is a kind of bird. It's decidedly not an eagle, but the big thing is that they're essentially very bird-like ninja. They're very suited to aerial combat and taken to the air. That's their deal. And can we slam down with the Ichimonji and get that death blow? Thank you. Gotten a bit more attack power by way of doing it an optional boss before. That's where that Sakura Joppa came from, that Lady Butterfly character. And okay, so actually, you can basically spam deflections when they're doing that spin attack and break their posture down very quickly. I didn't even think of that. It doesn't even require a lot of skill because you can just spam the deflection button. It's actually very funny. So what's over here? An eel lever, increasing my lightning damage. And over this way is pellets to restore vitality. So something should be up top. Got six gourd uses, so fighting a mini boss might not be so bad right now. So there was another staircase over there, and I know one of these spots is going to lead to Genichiro, the boss of the castle. The watch now knows his whereabouts. I'll show castle gate, give him a lot of the sound of scurrying. Tango will see if the rats worry not, and that's mentioning his guise as the Tango of Ashina, sort of assassin type character. So this pink smoke marks the tracks of the Nightjar Ninja. And that is meant to indicate the path over these roofs, because otherwise it does get a little confusing. So past the fencers who were over here before the Nightjar Ninja, and these guys who I just killed a little bit before, there should be a bit more stuff. Okay, so there's a memory with Kuro and an idol over here. So presumably, this should lead to the Genichiro fight. But I'm not doing that right now. I'd like to see as much as I can before that and get as strong as possible. State of this man. Imadono, rejuvenating waters, that is called. Ashina's is secret weapon. So it's slightly different from the fountainhead waters, I believe. Cannot fully die, unable to die at all. It also springs from the dragon's blood, yes. Do not believe it is sacred, not at all. We do eat the dragon's lineage. So Kuro is our charge, the young lord we protect, who gives us the power to resurrect. But it is a cursed power that drains life from other people, and... Okay, so the fight is right there. So is this... What idol is this? This is the Upper Tower Ashina Dojo. So how many idols are there going to be in Ashina Castle proper? Because I figured that there would only be seven, because it's the amount of room there is for, to have them all on one page, but... Presumably after Genichiro, there should be at least one more, and I think there's a Kuro's room. So can I... Okay. Let's sneak around that guy and... Oh my goodness, there's a fog wall? What on earth? Can I even... Oh goodness. Scrap magnetite and pellets. Oh, I'd have to go around the other way, presumably, and use a gachines in order to get him. And what if I... That is not... Void ground versus the lightning. So that's not a wall we can use to escape. And that's just eel lever. Lightning reversal, so we get the tutorial. So just through them, movement impossible, struck in the air, spelled and sent in an enemy, but it does deal some ship damage too. This guy is. Is he here? He's not. Oh, what? Oh, never mind. He was behind that? Oh, you lunatic? Absolute lunatic. Wow. Okay. So we're gonna have to find a way to escape and get a death blow on him pretty much immediately. So let's go back to the last Kami to idol. He doesn't chase me all that quickly, so we should still be able to get out of here. 
Yeah. Oh, what? No? No? What? You're kidding. What on earth? Okay. That was strange. But I'm not going to be able to fight you here. Okay. Let's try that again. It takes some time, but he doesn't move all that quickly. This should be good. Okay. Gone back, and in order to get the death blow, we're going to need to go from the other side so he doesn't immediately see us. We've got two skills that increase our stealth. We've also got these gachi and sugars, these Buddhist candies, as they're literally called, based off of various Buddhist concepts, I think. Like, there's the Akko candy, Akko's candy, I know for sure. Well, I saw that on the wiki. So who's no, who knows how accurate that is? It's based off of Agyo, which is sort of a Buddhist, I think sort of a, some sort of state of being, I think emotion might be the wrong term. I... I don't know enough about these things. Oh, we missed that end. Go for another Ichimonji double. That'll break some of that, but nice. Thanks. Nice end. Overhead. Oh, we missed that. Messed that up. Take, take you out, and... Oh, what? I thought I would be able to kill him before he went for the Mikiri, and I was wrong. That was an embarrassing performance there. Okay, so the Ashin Elite over there, I'm gonna have to go from the other side. Go around the outside of the castle in order to get him. So that fencer chased me all the way up there. That, I suppose, Kenshi might, might be the more accurate term. Can take one down with a stealth death blow. Then, yeah. Big thing is that taking out the Ashina Dojo guy shouldn't be a problem as long as we can get one stealth death blow on him, but getting that stealth death blow will be more trouble than I might like. Okay. So, jumping Ichimonji is a good tactic. Nice. And, oh, goodness. I thought that would be better. So we should actually get that Mikuri off whenever possible. Nice, and overhead or not, you're gonna go for a candy to restore your posture, but while you try to do that, we will simply get you. It is interesting, so those would be the... The blue candies would be the Ungo sugar, the Ungo candies. This is vitality damage, but they use that to restore posture, which is interesting. Because in a way, posture is... Posture is the only thing enemies will ever regenerate. They don't regenerate health. At least in terms of a single health bar. If you kill them and they get a health bar back, that's a bit of a different story. And of course all the Nigers have seen me. This is just great news for me. So let's see what attacks we might be able to use. Hmm, so that attack is an interesting idea to deal with. Big thing is up. Oh, and of course the other samurai over there see where I am. This is gonna be a one heck of a fight. Okay, and slam down and Get over there and just dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, thanks. Ooh, you okay? What, what, what? Overhead and take you out with a death blow. Then the other samurai over here is going to be annoying as well. And oh my, what? No, no, no. Do not get a kill on me. And the big thing is that the death blows we deal also get us health back. So that can be a way to increase our survivability. But it's not a perfect exact science. And oh, goodness. Just, the Nigers over there need to stay away from me. If they interfere in this fight, I am going to probably die. Oh, goodness. I This went about as bad as it could have, and... Yeah, I didn't think I'd have to get those Nigers again. And so you're over here, and I really don't like that. I Okay. Nice, and spam, and... Cool. Take you down, and thanks. Oh, my... What? You're kidding. Wow. That's really bad. And... And of course you got almost all of your posture back after that garbage. Thanks, and... Okay, can we... Uh-huh. Just, we have all of our resurrected power gone, which is really, really bad for us. But I don't have anything we can use to really AoE. We don't have any good AoE skills at the moment. And just, can we... Oh, come on. Uh, all right. Move in, Ichimonji, and double, and... Oh, please. Uh, all right. Death blow or not. Thanks. Didn't get close enough for the Mikiri, and... Ah... Uh, so I'm also playing on it. one of the game's arguable hard mode options, which is Bell Demon, which increases your chance of certain rare item drops, but also gives the enemies a bit of extra strength. In particular, the way it works is that enemies, they move forward one quote-unquote time of day in terms of their strength. Because enemies, in the, there is a day-night cycle that progresses as the game goes on, and once you get to a certain point, enemies get stronger. And, oh, both of the fencers are going at me. This is bad. Really should have gone for one. Or what I could do is also just 
Oh, but you saw me through here. What? You're kidding. How is one? Can I? Uh, the short swipes are really, really annoying to block. And okay, can I jump that? Which is good. And nice and dodge. Thank you. I keep saying dodge when I really mean to say deflect. That would be fair. The secular deflections occupy much the same position that a dodge does in Souls proper. Oh, and since we didn't die or anything, the area didn't reload and those rice mats are still broken. And the homeward idol would also reload the area, but we didn't use that. And we messed that up. Thanks. Thanks. Hard deflection. And nice. And another ore. Move in. Another Ichimonji, but you dodge it pretty capably, which is tough. Nice, nice, thanks, and... Okay, we can slam, and before we get that, and now that all these guys are dead, including the ones in the other chamber, we can try to take down these night jars. Guess we could maybe try using a gachi in to see if we can sneak around and get one of them without detection. But the one at the end of the hall is very, very vigilant. I don't think that'll... Yep, yeah, it just won't work. Well, that was sad. And we used one of our sugars, which shouldn't be too much trouble, but still. Okay, let's kill these night jars. So, I need... Oh, goodness. 20... Okay, nice. And... Ooh. Do a decent amount of posture damage with that, but... Okay, and just take you down. And, oh, my... Oh, what? You're kidding. Really? Really? And you are... How close are you in terms of posture damage? And one, two, three, four, and... Okay, dodge it. Oh, come on. I need to move, move it. Dodge it, dodge it. Kill, kill. Nice. Death blow, death blow on you. Okay. So we're only fighting one at once at the moment, then, which should make things a bit more manageable. If we can get you up top here, should be a lot better. I guess, in theory, I could just try to fight them without having to deal with any more stuff by literally just but, well I could just run past them but eh, that's no fun it's more interesting and enjoyable to actually fight everything along the way and among other things it does give me more money and more skill points which is useful and so do you see me yeah well I'm gonna keep on going the big question is could I get a death blow via a wall cling when are you gonna give up and go away I've got you in at the moment but don't see me there. We can go away, get you to leave me alone. Okay, I think you left me alone. That arrow's no longer there, so you don't see me anymore, presumably, and I almost got you to see me, I think. But the arrow's not there anymore. Could I get a jumping death blow, or what? Let's see, can I? Nice! There we are. Thank you, goodbye. So that ninja's gone, so all we really need to do is go around the rooftops, Go into the other part of the dojo from the side, fight the Ashina Obi. Well, in Japanese specifically, his name is Ashina Ryu Saze Jinsuke, which means very specifically School of Ashina. Or maybe more accurately, Ashina Style. So he... It's not just that he's an Ashina elite, but... It's meant in the sense that most of the enemies you're fighting wouldn't even really count as Ashina School. They're just... Nobodies with swords. No, because most of the foot soldiers you fight aren't exactly using Ashina techniques. And you can see that illustrated by the fact by the, that the Ashina elites very specifically use the Ichimonji, the overhead slam kind of attack. They, they're actual Ashina as opposed to the others, but I might have messed some of that up. Can I grapple onto there or am I SOL? I messed some of that up. Uh, I'm gonna have to get back inside somehow then. And that. We can't go through there. Falling was not good for me. Can I? There should be a grapple point up here, but. Do I see it? Do I see it? I don't. I. Wow, this is really, really annoying. So I guess I'm gonna have to jump back around up the castle. So I don't wanna just lose that because I killed so many really annoying dudes just to fall down. I may be an idiot. I may be stupid. Okay. So getting back inside will take a bit of running past. Okay, no, I should go through here. This is the Buddhist Senpo Monk. So run past these guys. I can also just get a free quick death blow for fun. 
And item, no. Oh, and we got an extra divine confetti. That was convenient. Okay, but getting up over here, running past all these night jars is going to be pretty crucial. But escaping. Not escaping, but getting anywhere, really. I, what? What? You... Okay. I'm getting all kinds of turned around right now. What is even... Oh, my goodness. I... I'm going to pretend that none of that even happened. Come on, come on. It's... Did a bit of driving earlier today to help family out with delivering for some mail for job-related things, for their jobs. And I also woke up early to do a bit of choir singing, so I am in a bit of a state. It is what it is. Let's go over here and thank you. Oh, what? You can get me like that? I Okay. So the woo guy is... Okay, cool. And all right, we can just block that. Thanks. So using the waters is going to be good. We can just run past all these nitros without a problem. I don't think they'll chase me here. So over there is the way back to the dojo where we were before. Just cannot rest. If we rest, we'll be in big trouble. So you're over here. We can take out another fencer. Yeah, but those nitros can't get up here. Even though they do have a comically high detection range. None of these people should see me, which is good. So, just over there, and take you out. We may as well. Just in case, just in case. We're over this way, we can go back and set the dojo, go back on the roofs, and do our best not to die. So we do have a bit of health missing, but if we use our gourds right, it shouldn't be a huge issue. Everyone in here is still dead, which means we don't go over there. That's where the Ashina dojo is. We go through over here past the night jars, where the night jars previously were. And then we kill some other guys. Come on, come on. Right over here. Go down, try to avoid falling off if we can avoid it. Already gone up top, gotten another candy. This isn't too bad. And oh, this is just the other side of that idol over there. That's funny. Okay. So the big thing is we need to get into the Ashina Dojo from another side in order to take on the Elite with a stealth death blow. Kind of the top of the castle, which is cool. And that... Oh, is that another night jar up there? Another kite? Or... Did I actually... No, I fell down again. Never mind. Okay, cool. And just... Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Okay, so I don't drop down at all. Just took me back where I was. Another embarrassing mistake. The Mushin Eigen Classic. At least, again, everyone here is still dead because I didn't rest or anything. So I don't drop down. I just stay on that part. Don't mess this up. Go into the side of the dojo. Use a Gajin to get a stealth death blow on Jinsuke Saze. That should be fine. If I can get that stealth death blow going from the side, he should be... Pretty manageable. It's just one one health bar and not particularly hard at that. So is there anything up here? Did we go up here already? I don't think we did, but there was nothing to get really, so that's all good. So if we go up here, zoom away, the dojo should be around this area. All the things I can grab on though. Let's just see. Are there any items around as well? And can eat it all? Should be around here somewhere, presumably. Given that we've gotten to the top of the castle. And what was that god-awful noise? I feel like somebody must be summoning something. That must be bad. Oh, no! That's Kuro's reed whistle. He said he would call on me from the top of the castle. Okay, right. So this should be where, in that case... He's being capped, and therefore, where we'll fight Genichiro. We don't want to do that in the moment. We want to go around the side of the Ashina Dojo and take out Jinsuke. Which is... Oh! Oh, I did not mean to do that! I did not mean to do that. Never mind. So what though that? Oh, if I quit midway, in theory, it would kick me out of the boss fight. And with us, a miracle. So Emma's been taking care of him to keep him alive. Soka. Soka? 
So we didn't even jump on it, we just jumped close. That was a bad idea. But in theory, pausing and quitting out should we too. Let's go again. Will you not use your heritage to protect Ashina? To give us immortal soldiers to resist the Tokugawa conquest. Shima Chigiri, mortal oath. Fushigiri. But he can't, he refuses. Dekimasenu. Cannot do that. Genichiro don't. But he calls him Lord Genichiro. A significant respect for him. It means nothing. Yaburero. It's his life to take me home. To protect his lord, which is Wagashinobu Nareba. We are his we're his ninja. And there we are. I did not mean to do that. Mm -hmm. I like his stubble. It's funny. Very rugged. Oh much could I say. Ah, the same thing we said before at the very start of the game. The Kusabi Maru. Maru Hodana. Until I kill you. The dragon's lineage can never be in my hand. Uh huh. Maru. Maru? And they got Sue again. And oh, well, there's a wall over there. That's not good. We don't want to do the slide right now. And I, yeah, save the game, and this will kick us out of the boss arena, presumably. Well, I'm going to fight Saze Jinsuke, I would think. So seven gourds should be more than enough for this, I would presume. We'll see what happens. Uh, I do appreciate everyone staying around so long. To the extent it's happened, everyone's presence is always welcome. Okay, yep, it did kick us out of the boss ring, which is good. We need to find a way back into the side entrance of the dojo, which also would be a shortcut to the boss fight. Once we do that properly. This over here, we've got the remnant. It's got to be one of these, one of these windows on this layer. Saw it before. So we go around. Should be around here then. So here we are. The smoke over here to drink our gourd. Then, oh, we've already, aha, uh -huh, it's already trapped us in the arena. So normally he would kind of be a mini-boss for Genichu, unless you want to go around the other way. Okay, cool. Let's just, wait, what? You saw me? How? Excuse me? Is this just not possible to do? Oh, and he uses Ashina Cross. That's certainly something. I, okay. Interesting. And, oh, and it's... Okay, I didn't see the edge of the arena then. Okay, cool. Slam it. Oh, my. Interesting. Let's take you down it. Oh, wow. Okay. Huh. Mm-hmm. It's Ashina Crosses. Nice, nice. Slam down it. Nice, cool. And just... Nice, nice. And... Oh, okay. So as long as we can block his Ashina Cross, we're chilling. But that's the issue. He doesn't have that much in the way. Posture, which... Okay. Come on, come on. Let's drink this and see the flash. What? Ooh, have to see that flash. Running out of what? Ooh, what? Really? That's really, really fast. So we're all out. One, two, thanks. And oh, what? Oh, a sweep attack. That's interesting. Nice. What? Oh wow. So we need to use these pellets then to escape. I huh? I was not expecting this. So blocking him is decent, but we should also use the Akko Sugar then. Attack power for a time. Nice, and... One, two, nice, slash, slash. Slash, slash, and jump it. Okay, cool. Jump it, slam it. Oh, what? No! You're kidding. Really? Come on. So it's that Ashina Cross I need to deal with. He doesn't have any other real tools. It's all he uses. If I keep blocking his Ashina Cross, and it does, the issue is, is that it breaks through vitality, and luckily we didn't have much money or much skill experience on us, so that's not a huge problem, but still, I... Oh, it's certainly something. Okay. Let's use that Akko Sugar, then. That would be nice. And if we had Bestow, we could use Slam and... Oh, what? You can... Flash and one, two, 
Slam and... Oh, what? Again? Again? Really? Okay. So that's... It's all about blocking that. Nothing else and... Okay. Slam down. Slam! Nice. And... Ooh, please. Okay. This is weirdly tough. Can I... Oh, but I... I should take... My shuriken then. I don't use Miss Raven for anything, so I... Come on, come on, and... Hold up your posture. Let's use this a little. Eh, uh, whatever, I... Nice, too, and take it down. Cool. And we can just slam down a bit with the Ichimonji to... One, two. Slash, and there we go. So that actually wasn't bad at all. We got another prayer beat out of that. Yep, there we go. Cool. Did seem to award some other people, so that would be our fifth prayer necklace. Which means I feel pretty comfortable going back to Mibu to take out Ori now. And probably the monk as well. And that would circumscribe... A lot of what I can actually do before fighting Genichiro. Consume these prayer beats, enhance her physical attributes. Gun Fortress of Sunken Valley, commanded by the Snake Eyes, elite force of women. Which does remind me of Princess Mononoke. And the, all the guns in that were wielded by these women under the command of this noble woman making iron. Distant targets, mighty flint cannons, and phenomenal visions. What's interesting is that, and it's not very, very clear. Let me just see if I can use... Hands, Dragon Rot Restoration, Sakura Droplet, Sakura Droplet, Sekiro, Increase Resurrective Power. Oh, we have to give it to Kuro or the Divine Child. So either way to use it from what, the Sakura Droplet we got, this thing we got from Lady Butterfly, one of the optional bosses we saw before, can't use it yet. Because either of the ways to use it, either the NP both the NPCs we can use it with, or locked behind beating Genichiro. Either way, we do have the the other way open now. That's somewhat nice. So we go back to Odin, her fight, use some Divine Confetti, probably an Akko Sugar, and the Kusabi Maru. Ceremonial Tanto as well. Go back to the Water Mill, take her out. That'll be another prayer bead, among other things. So now we've got half of the prayer necklaces in the game, because we've gotten half of the prayer beads in the game, which I would say we're probably halfway through the game as a result. And so we want to use the Piercing Sabimaru, and that should be very good at poisoning her. And the proper combo to use with Piercing Sabimaru is two R2s, then one... Okay. Two R2s, one R1, and then five, I believe, no, six, six R2, R2s. So we should rest to get those emblems back. We have a good number still. We have way more than we could ever really theoretically need, but... Is that Tonto? And... Ooh, that hurt. It should still be alright, but... Devon Confetti, then. Devon Confetti and the Sugar should be good. Sugar, and then we spam the Sabimaru. You're not going to attack me immediately unless I go past you. Oh well. Do we talk to you? Yeah, we do. Okay, so let's start this fight we want to. Or we could attack you right away. Crying, ask why she cries, why naze? Kanashi no des, because I'm sad, yeah. Nanoga, Kanashi, what are you sad about? Sakuza sama? But we don't know who Sakuza is. Fengashami Sen. This big, wide pit. Kanashino this. I'm sad because of that. Well, it's poetic in the Japanese, frankly. To know, but. Never writes me back. No one will tell me where, she, where he is. Another basket, like the guy we fought earlier. Shitene. Gojin. Very polite. Sakusame wa. Izuko desu ka? Where is he? I don't know. Shiranu? A liar too. Anata wo? Utsutsuki. Someone telling lies. Doshite mina? Kakusuno desu ka? Why do they hide him from me? Well, the best way to fight this, start that fight would be by attacking her pretty much immediately. Let's just try it like this anyway, see if we can do it legit. So, getting her in here might be good for us, might be bad too. Okay. So we can block, I guess, and block, 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 and one, two, three, and spam, 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 
spam, spam, and nice, nice. So that'll help out a little, and two, three, spam with this, since he's an apparition after all, and wait, what? Okay. So the idea would be, I suppose, we poison her twice. That should take her health down very well. The damage from the Sabimaru is also good. Then we could focus on posture after that. So shredding her health, because she's very weak to... Sabimaru stuff, because she's Okami, would be a good way to do this fight, but it's not the only thing. So we do have our Divine Confetti effect still active. How much confetti? This is all the confetti we have. That might not be a good thing. So actually, we should still have a little bit left, so let's just use our sugar now. Thank you, and can we just attack you immediately? I bet we could. Okay. Oh, mean, but you know, that's life. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, nice, and let's stay away over there, and use the Tonto, use the Gourd, we got a bit more of that, and the Poison should keep her away, keep our block up for another Subby Maru once the Poison's gone, and all right, two, and all right, one, two, three, four, five, six, and thank you, and one, two, three, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and oh wow, okay. Interesting. So that did not work nearly as well as I expected or intended, so I Okay, interesting. Huh. Oh I mm-hmm. Okay. Huh. The poison's useful, but it's not everything. Can I slash 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 one two, what? One, two, three. And we got the poison, which is good. We're gonna have to use this a lot then. Huh. And just stay out of my way, stay out of my way, and heal, heal. Hmm, a pellet might be good to use right now. A pellet would definitely be good to use right now. You are stronger than I expected, but that's life. Okay, I, alright. Just one, two, three, four, five. So a five hit combo. And just move in and one, two, three, four, jump it. Oh, a sweep attack? Okay, cool. One, two, and... Move in and once jump it. Okay, cool. One, two, and can I get? Can you get a self death on her? I, you know, I probably should have. Sakuza sama. Don't come to me. I will have to kill you or something, right? This instead, Kawari. Hmm. Let's use this then and get our Sabimaru ready and. Oh, goodness. Okay. Cool. One, two, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and... Oh, I did not get the poison I wanted. That was really, really annoying. Okay. Jump it. Can we... One, two, three, four, and we got the poison we needed, which is good for us. Let's use another pellet. I... Probably could have and should have gotten a self death on her, but if this works, if this works, I'm okay with it. If this works, you know, we take those. And just move in and. One, two, jump it, okay. One, two, three, slash, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and we got more poison off, nice. So we can just take you down most likely with a bit more posture damage. Two, three, four. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay, cool, just slam down with that there and- Oh, goodness, I- Okay, cool. We're close. Very close. And slam down, dodge, 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 and- Ah, let's try that again. And move in, and one, jump it, okay. Slam, and goodbye, Odin. Sorry. Goodbye, apparition. Uh-huh. Yokata? It's good. Sakuza-sama? That man was sick. Presumably that would be Jinzaman Kumano, so call me. Hirono this day. So Jinzaman, and okay. Life Shadow, Vitality upon. Oh, more! More healing on a death blow. That's really nice to have. That should be good. And now we've got 21 out of 40 beads. So we're getting closer and closer to victory. And. Hello there. Sokomi Yoru. Shinobi. Shinobi. Oh. 
Ah, give me my thanks. Eva. Finally figure out where the music was coming from. Hmm. soja. Shamisen playing woman. Brought her to me. And... Oh. Rest me while playing her sweet melody. So once we sent off Odin, she's an apparition, I suppose. She... Went to him in spirit? Maybe. Mm. Selling them before, well, by a peaceful, warm melody. Here she played for coming to me. Kitekuremashita. Was she lonely? Was she looking for a lover? Father, a son, was calling me this whole time. Take this. Jinza's. Jinza, Jinzaimon. Sakuza cloth bundle this little one so that he may live on in peace. Is that manifested? Any possible relationship between Odin and Kumano is unknown entirely. He's very tired now. Is he gonna die? Mo. Nemunoze needs to sleep. And he's probably dead. That's how you know it's a Souls game. Because everyone dies at the end of their quest line, even if they get a good ending. Okay. So we can go on past here. There wasn't even a. <clears throat> There didn't even seem to be a breakpoint, so to speak. Didn't even seem to be a... That's the big question. So how many treasure carp scales do I have? I have four. So if I got one more, I could hopefully get, actually, Floating Passage, which I could use on the Corrupted Monk, among other things, just to apply damage from Divine Confetti. A spamming snap seat to stun the monk and then using divine confetti combined with combat arts just to deal more damage. Oh, more lumps of fat wax. Just cheese that fight would make it easy. And then we'd get Mibu breathing technique, which would allow me to go a lot of places. What's interesting is that I don't think we can actually get to here, get to that grapple point from below in the water. So I guess it's just there for an emergency in case you fall off at an inopportune time. So what is past here? We can see some of you. Any of them gonna grab me? The big thing is, when I see the danger icon, frankly, that's my cue to just dodge and avoid getting grabbed, but this is, and who is that over there? Is that a priest or who? Oh, we can eavesdrop. Head priest, and I did not mean to do that. So where can we eavesdrop on him? Can't eavesdrop from over here, so... How close can I get before I can no longer eavesdrop? Let's kill this guy. I have no interest in... Oh, and now the eavesdropper is gone. Well, now the eavesdropper is in combat, so if I want to hear what he says, I should kill these other guys first. Diagro him and see what happens. Oh no, the guy is in there. So we kill all these guys now, and then we can eavesdrop on whoever's in the house. Okay, that's different. And yep, good amount of health back on death. That's really, really good. I think, I'm not quite sure whether it's making the difference between full and not full there, but it's still good. So he's drinking. Let's see now, if we bring him Fountainhead Water later, should be able to get some dragons from Saka. It's all been liquefying. That's the priest in there. Can I even get in that house? That's the question. You can see a little inside, but don't get the impression that it's actually a place I can go into. I go don't go under the floorboards, maybe? I think there might there should be, frankly, another sculptor's idol somewhere around here. Get away into Okay, I'd have to go around the other way to get in there. He is the head priest who encouraged them all to drink the infested fountainhead waters, which contain these immortality-granting centipedes, which will make you immortal, but also infested with bugs. And oh, the corrupted monk's right here. That was quicker than I expected. Okay, cool. So snap seeds will stun her, and then so we don't have that right now. Then I guess we could use the umbrella, maybe. But big thing is going to be. Let's be taking that out for now. The Tonto. Let's get our snap seeds up and three times we can stun her with this. Let's use this confetti, then use the snap seed, and 
Thank you. We can move in and... Oh, goodness. Oh, that'll damage you, too. Wow, okay. Dodge it. Okay. Hammer down with that, and use this, and cool. Nice. One, two, three. Oh, but it... To put your posture damage, that's interesting. Uh, nice, and... Okay. Can I... Ichimonji, and... Dodge, 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 dodge. Oh, wow, that was a lot more effective than I expected. Okay. So let's use another snap seed. And the others won't have any effects from then on. Oh, goodness. Okay. Huh. The confetti's good, but it's not everything. And I... Okay, cool. Slam, slam. That's attacks with a little fear of counterattacking, which is good. And... Okay. And... Cool. Just dodge. And, okay, thanks. So... Jumping would be good, most likely. And... Your posture isn't really all that breakable. You have to get your health down instead. And so illusions are nice. Not nice. Oh, wow. Okay, that came down a lot faster than I expected. And jump it. Okay, Mikiri, we could have done that a bit better. So the Divine Confetti right here. I was not expecting it to happen like it did. I Okay. Thanks, thanks, and thanks. Oh, wow. Okay. Huh. Healing Gord and... It's the only thing we have. Wow, okay, cool. Dodge. One, two, three, four, and... Thank you, and... Thanks. Okay, nice. Take that up, and... Dodge, jump it. Thanks. Heal. Oh, okay. Wow. Alright. Which means we should... Thanks! Thanks, and... Okay, cool. Slam. Get our posture back, which is really useful, and... Aw. Okay. Cool, and just to jump in, and... Slam it. Okay. Oh, whatever. I Okay. And can we drum in and slam hit? Thank you. Nice and... Okay. Huh. Need to use our Ichimonji to... Ah. You're stronger than I expected. Okay. Ichimonji down to break you, but the posture damage there is less than I wanted or expected. Not nice and... Okay, cool. So that five part is not great. And cool. Nice, nice, nice. And Divine Confetti is crucial here then. Okay, we should run. We use those snap seeds a lot more profligately than we should have. And pellet over here, sure. Just nice and whoa, wow. Okay. Dodge. Okay. One, two, three. What are you gonna dodge? And ah, oh, come on. Okay, cool. Only one more gore. That's not good. I I just wasn't expecting this fight right here. Cool, and dodge. Oh, what? Oh, you have to perfectly time that deflect. That's right. Okay. Cool, and run it. Dodge. Oh, right. That was a Mikiri counter instead of a... Dodge. Okay. Slam, slam. What? You're kidding. I... The issue is that we're out of confetti. That's making this harder. Nice. Two, three, four, five, and nice. There we go. One, two... Three ends. Can we? Da oh, a oh, right ends. What can I? Da okay. Come on. I Interesting. One, two. Illusory corrupted monk is very painful and nice. Okay, all right ends. Come on, just. I need to dodge out the way of that then, and I. I'm gonna have to just dip. I can't survive this then, and I did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that, but I. Come on, don't come in. Don't come in too fast, and just steal the way of what? No. You're kidding! Really? Really? What? And you got me on the ground? You've got to be kidding. Really? Really? Hate this. Give me unseen aid, please. I'm begging you. Okay. And... Thank you! What that does mean, though, is that I need to get... I need to go and kill some guys in Ashina. Back in the castle, because I don't have enough confetti now. Can't believe we used all that confetti on Odin and the monk. That's kind of silly. Odin took a couple, the monk took a bit more. Synopsis, but not the dojo. The antechamber, that's right. Back to the upper tower, antechamber, and cool. Hmm, mm hmm. All right. See how this works. All right, then we'll just use our Mibu possession balloon, and that should put us in a good position to farm a bit more. 
A bit more confetti for a funny fight. It's good that we didn't lose those skill points because we had a decent amount. Time goes on, it's going to be harder and harder to get to the next level. Especially since we're going to be going back to earlier areas. We've already gotten pretty much as far as we can get in terms of just being late, I suppose. In terms of the game cycles. Okay, cool. So, and no balloon and no confetti. Great. Okay, cool. Die. So approaching kind of diagonally from the back, sort of back and side, still works quite well. Unless we don't run, we're not going to get their attention. We can probably afford to just walk. And more confetti. Just a pellet? You've got to be kidding me. It's nonsense. Okay, cool. And die, die, die. And there we go. We can just take you down to and die. Ooh, did not mean to do that. And now we just got to go back and rest to respawn everyone because getting those guys over there is simply not going to be an option. We need to stick the ones that we can death blow as easily and quickly as possible. One thing about this game is that you honestly want to... Before a hard boss fight, you honestly kind of want to grind to the next level a lot of the time so that you don't waste the skill points you might have on you at the moment. But that is, of course, a lot easier said than done. Okay, cool. Get you. The old woman will almost certainly notify some of them, which is not good for me. Okay, finally, divine confetti. Divine spaghetti. Another kill. Can't pretend this is the most engrossing thing, but that's what happens when you use up all of your divine confetti in a game where it's uh, an important but very hard-to-get commodity. Okay, so we go back around, we rest. Farming runs short enough that we should be able to get a couple more kills before it runs out, because the there's no skill that increases the duration of the balloon's effect, but it does last a minute and a half, which is good, and if we don't go for the other guys in the other part of the dojo, this is 20, 30 seconds. It's no real trouble. I also use this to farm Scrap Magnetite, which is an upgrade material, which to be fair, we actually do have about enough of in terms of what we need. It's really the later ones, the Adamantite Scraps, the Fulminated Mercury, and the grave wax that we need, which we don't have access to at the moment. We won't be able to farm them until a good deal later in the game. And we're getting to a level where the upgrades we need start requiring those. So we got two divine confetti. I'd like to get up to five, which is the most you can carry in a given life, so to speak. After going to rest at a sculptor's idol, or of course, you know, die to get more after that. So let me do a few more runs, hope we get bit more confetti along the way, then maybe actually, in case I die again and don't get Unseen Aid this time, because that was really, really clutch. Unseen Aid allows you to forgo the usual penalty of losing half your money and experience progress towards the next level on a true death, so to speak. But, excuse me. I could use some of the Sen, especially since I don't have any coin purses left, I use most of them on upgrades, too over at the sculpture to get a little strong. That said, I... If I have the Mortal Blade, maybe I could do, do well. But the question is... Piercing... Actually, that's right! I could use the Sabi Maru on the monk. It would break her guard, because I don't really have any other uses for spirit emblems in the fight. It would allow me to largely stay away and avoid dealing with a lot of her more annoying attacks. It's a silly way... Oh, we forgot to rest. That's right. I'm an idiot. So that'll bring the guys back, and yeah, you know, world gets shrouded, and world gets reloaded. It is interesting that unlike Souls games proper, it doesn't purely obscure everything during that time, but that's life. Also, if anyone here is enjoying the show, there is a fan cord with a link down the below. Things might be a little bare bones and lackluster now, but I do intend to get a model upgrade suit and maybe some art comms. So we should be able to get a good degree of stuff. So he doesn't see me right now, but those guys do. So let's just slide on in, get you and... Can we, wait, no, what? Can I, oh my goodness, I messed that up badly. How did I mess it up that bad? Well, it was because of the slide. I should have... No, you still go for the slide even if you release the run button. That's actually very interesting. It's not good, but it's interesting. But it's mostly kind of a schedule chord, so to speak. Shows off when I'm next going to be streaming various things. The reason I'm kind of rushing through Sekiro right now is because I intend to 
play the Elden Ring DLC more or less when it comes out. Or, or is in start Elden Ring when the DLC comes out. So there is a decent chance, in my opinion, that some things in the base game for Elden Ring might end up getting changed when the DLC comes out. It's what they did when Bloodborne came out. They did a few tweaks and additional features for the base game. It was just an additional multiplayer covenant faction, an additional... Let's try to get one of them. See if that guy drops, because he's not a fencer proper, but... They added NPC summons, which did not exist in the game before. They also added... And, oh, so that guy is a fencer, even if he fights a little differently. So he also drops a confetti. Let's do a couple more runs and see how this works. Well, actually, I do think we kind of have enough. This should be everything we need. Okay, so getting the water mill is a little more complicated than I might like. Getting around the side in order to get to the other side of the river by the big priest house... That's the question I really have, and are you still sleeping, or are you... He's definitely dead, right? He's gotta be. Okay. But using the Piercing Sabimaru should allow me to poison the monks, because the monk... You fight her by getting her vitality down, rather than her posture. He's got one death blow bar, the Oystery Monk does. So the Sabimaru combined with Divine Confetti, I could get some combos off. It's a snap seed for a free opening, and that would be pretty nice. And, oh, right, I could use the Tonto. That's right. Frankly, healing is not something I really need on the hotbar. Frankly, I don't really need any of these on the hotbar. And down here is... How much will I get back? Oh, wow, almost a fourth of my current HP. That's really, really good. The snap seed over there is definitely something I want in my hotbar, frankly, so I can use it when I can see enemies. The rest should be fine, so it's a little under a fourth. Maybe, I think a fifth is probably an accurate statement. What? Oh, wow. Okay. You just toss those terror bombs at me. It's kind of crazy. So, let's just use that homeward idol, then. Let's go back to the last sculptor's idol and try to survive. Okay, cool. Hmm, mm hmm. So we'll have poison in areas, was this poison? Some are even immune, and that is... What are we talking about, Shuahagi? And, oh, he's just gone now. Up to stuff behind. So I guess it took a couple of reloads, maybe? Interesting. That's the end of his quest line, and we got his special Jizo statue. Okay. Cool. Basically cut that spirit emblem from ourselves. Mechanics of that are interesting. Okay. Big thing is, there should be stuff off in the side, but... Presumably... We would need Mibu breathing technique to really go there. So I may as well wait until after I've killed the monk. Eh, I think I'll check it out anyway. Whatever. Come on, come on. I just... Do not want the terror bomb guys to just take me out, because they have a good chance to. Slash, slash, and can we defo you? Cool, cool. Your posture is very, very broken. Nice, and can we defo? And we're immune to this terror cloud while we're in a defo state, which makes sense. But still, one, two. Wait for that to go. You know, I wonder the mechanics of why they can literally, you know, throw clouds that inflict terror. Suppose the best estimate would be that it sends ghosts at us. Who knows, really. So we can go over here and it's kind of past the corrupted monk, but to get to the other side, I... Huh. What can I grapple onto? That's the real question. And can we get up here or... Does not seem to be the case at the moment. This seems to be locked off for now. Until we get to... Past Corrupted Monk Illusion, I presume. Yep, I can't do anything there right now. Hmm. -hmm. Allow me to simply go back up this way then and come back later once the water is more accessible. The me and Mibu. This Mibu is basically life born of water. Let's use our Divine Confetti. And then we can use... Oh, we could also use an Akko Sugar. 
spamming down her, her gauge would be a nice idea. Here's a snap seed, and then just go for the Slubby Maru, and one, two, one, one, two, three, four. Oh, okay, all right, and come on, snap seed, and one, two, one, one, two, three, four, and oh, we're, is she even poisonable? I can't even tell. Well, whatever. Okay, one more snap seed, and there we go, and one, two, and wait, what? Huh? Never mind. I get the impression that she can't even be poisoned, frankly. That said, the damage dealt here is actually really good, anyway. So, have our, do we have our Akko effect still? We don't have our Akko effect up right now. It only lasts 30 seconds, after all, so... Come on, come on in, okay. One, two, one, two, three, and dodge, okay. But uh, the posture damage is good, but I... Hmm. Some problems. Nice! And can we... One, two... Oh, please. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's just use... Now that those are useless to me, and I also don't even have any more. Let's use a pellet, then. So we've got half of her health out, which is nice. But we can confetti off, I suppose. And nice! 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 And Wait, what? Okay, cool. One, two, and just dodge. And, all right. Cool. Need... Doing Gordon. Dodge! Okay. One, two, three, and... Dodge! Jump! Oh, I jumped instead of Mikurin. That was dumb. Jump it! Oh, what? Ah. And then I dodged instead of jumping. Ah. I'm an idiot! I'm an idiot. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Jump it! Do oh, what? You're kidding. Really? Do okay. Nice, nice, nice. One, two... Okay, cool. And... Dodge! Okay, nice. We can get a few free hits in, and... Alright, I guess not. Huh. Combine confetti effect is crucial for this, but I... Dodge... Oh, what? That? Okay. Weird. She is supposed to be a post Genichiro fight, but still. Uh, three, four, and... Dodge, and... Okay, cool, and... Jump, and... Alright, we need more divine confetti, then. Okay. Other pellets up, and what are you doing? Dodge, and slash. We need to be dodge, and dodge, and jump, and oh, you okay? Slash, and jump, slash, 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 and dodge, and dodge, and oh, come on. All right. Dodge, at least this is pretty good, but still, I... Ha. Huh. Just dodge, and really... Really? I, okay. Slash, slash. Just the piercing nature of some attacks, and also not other attacks, is very, very annoying. And, cool. Dodge. And, really, really, alright. This dodge. I, ah. This is really, really bad. Come on, just, this should be time enough. Okay, you're kind of stuck over there, and can we, can we, goodness, what? No, you're kidding. You were doing your spin attack! That should have been more than enough! Really, really, really? Okay. Come on, I- alright. Alright, and- thanks. Alright. And of course I can't- I can't cancel the idol if I'm already using it. It's the dumbest thing ever. I hate this game, sometimes. Just the fact that the monk blocks pretty much everything, that you have to- Poise her down. I mean, vitality damage her down. I... I feel... Sabi Maru is not going to do anything here. It's not worth try even trying to use. I feel like at least one kind of axe upgrade would be good, but... I want that Mibu breathing technique. Because beating the monk gives you the ability to dive underwater. Which makes a number of un otherwise unavailable things available. You lost so much just there. So annoying. So much experience was lost. Okay. Oh, I should just use the flame vent. That's right. Let's upgrade our prosthetic. Can we even buy right now? That would be worth buying. This umbrella... Long spark, but I don't have the finger whistle or the 
divine abductions. So, so many things are still totally unavailable to me. Kunai, no, I. Hmm. All right. There we are. Big thing is, in terms of oil, I have. Do I have any oil even? Am I just out of. No, I have three things of oil. That is worrisome. Because I'm going to have to just torch the monk. So in that case, I think the best thing to do would be to go to... Hirata would be the best place to farm oil if you're in Bamboo Thicket Slope. So the reason I need oil is that the Flame Vent is the, probably the best way to deal pure vitality damage. But... Its effectiveness is severely diminished if you don't have oil to use it with to increase enemies' vulnerability to fire damage and the burn status. Okay. Hello there, hello. And die, die. Thank you, take you out, and really, really? Okay. Hmm. We should hopefully get some oil from some of you. And slash slash and... These guys, since they use so much fire, drop a lot of oil. So we got a decent amount of oil. Nothing crazy, but good. Come on, two, and... Really? I can't hit any of you? Really? Okay, whatever. Come on, I... Alright, and swing down with the Ichimonji, and that worked. It's nice being able to just dominate these guys like I'm doing right now. But ten oil is the most we can hold at any given time. So it would frankly behoove us to... Get as much as we can right now, and okay, I know you're gonna run if you let's chase you. Hello there, hello. And slash one, two, and die. We don't need to fight the Taro, we need to fight oil guys. If you drop oil, that's what we need. Thank you. So a single running hit just takes you out for a death blow. Give us oil, give us oil. Thank you, the rest are coming, but don't think those guys are up oil, presumably. How much oil do I have now? I have... Six. So if I get three or so every time, that's a decent. And I think I'll be able to do three of these runs before I run out of... Two of these runs before I run out of the spirit balloon effect. But I'm going to keep going even if I run out of the effect until I get ten. And that should take out a Woosery Monk. So the Oisuri Monk is... Slam and kill. Again, she gives the breathing technique and also an important item for endgame. Unlocking one of the endings. So... Well, actually, if we can kill, we don't exactly need any of that, do we? So now we have eight oil. That's good. Die. That's just a quick way to get a kill, but oftentimes it's not necessary, is it? Thanks, and... Oh my... Okay. Cool. Jump, slam, and... Take you out. You're a bruiser who I can't just kill in one hit, so it's a bit more necessary there. Oh, they're high. One, two, and there we go. We got that death blow. The marker showed up before. Did one more slash before we could actually get the death blow on. That was strange. Well, whatever. Oh, goodness. Very least, we still have a lot of resistance, both to burning status effect and the damage alone, so we're chilling. Thanks. Just point blank me, why don't you? This should be all the oil we need. There's one more guy on the other side of the bridge. Effect's gone, but there's one more archer, so I... Thanks, thanks, and... Let's just kill this guy real quick. See if he drops more oil, even without the balloon. And, okay, nothing. Just some sand that we'll probably lose, frankly. So, let's go back to... Mibu. And use fire to kill that. Well, not kill, but to annoy that monk. Hmm. Snap seeds are useful, but at the same time, don't give me all that much. Okay, cool. It is interesting that Hirata is last. Because out of all the areas that I've unlocked as of yet, Hirata is the only one that's actually truly optional. All of the others you have to go through at least some point to get any of the endings. But Hirata is entirely optional. So let's use... I try using Okinagas. Yeah, I think that could be a good idea. Big question is how long we'd be able to hold it down. And we have to press it once and then keep it going and... This will... 
occasionally consume more, but I probably would prefer to use hit and run tactics with the big flame gouge to just whittle her health down, even though Okinaga does have the continuous ability. That would be more for mob clearing, which I don't want to waste my spirit emblems on, frankly. Okay, cool. So we have the Ceremonial Tanto for a few more emblems, which will be useful if the fight goes longer than I might like. Have the Gourd, we have our 10 things of oil, which is all the oil we have. But I think this is going to be the la one of the last enemies who actually really... Well, eventually I'll be able to get the Mortal Blade, which is kind of effectively... It does the same thing as the Flame Vent to a certain sense, which is vitality-focused damage. But you don't need oil for it, and it's also just better, especially against bosses. So I think I'll be okay. Cool, and before you terrorize me to death, I'll just kill you. Thanks. Die, and another death blow, and the buff we got from Odin is very, very nice. Also, if I really wanted to, I could farm skill points from these guys. Would be a little silly, but I probably will do some other farming eventually for upgrade materials. Certainly possible. The big thing is, is that... Okay. I have a note to pad document open a lot of the time where I marked out what I need to do. Dragon Spring Sake from Priest. Gotta remember to revisit that guy in there because I know he's got an actual quest line to do. So over here, we can oil up the monk. Hello there. Hi. And just one and boom and... Oh, that didn't even hit, did it? Two, three... Five ends. Boom, and... Oh, is she immune to fire? The monk's immune to fire. Oh, wow. Let me, let me just check that out real quick. Is that... Am I missing, or is she actually just immune to fire? Monk illusion. Illusion, and... Let me see. Deathbow, and... Is she immune to fire? Fire immunity... Has light axe and uh, more posture damage, deflecting more effective. So we need to get her health down, but interesting. This is going to be something for sure. So we wasted a couple of those, but I should probably use the axe in combination with the axe in combination with Fang and Blade. That would probably be my best option there. We've got how much the only divine confetti I have. This darn thing had better work. Okay, and then we have snap seeds, snap seeds, and do we, oh, but we're out of snap seeds. That's right. Right, okay, cool. Thanks, thanks. Slam it. Okay. Slam it. Nice. Jo oh, right. Uh, oh, I missed. I missed. Did not mean to do that. And one, two, one, two, and. Thing. Ooh, I, oh, timing was tough. Camera angle for this fight is really bad, too. Okay, cool. And dodge and dodge. Oh, dodge. And, thanks, move in. And, and we jump it. Okay. Oh, goodness. I, okay. Dodge and okay. Can we Ichimonji with this? Can we? Slam, 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 slam. Oh, what? How is the deflect time? It was really, really troublesome. Okay. Slam, slam again with the confetti and dodge. Oh, really? Okay. What? Oh, come on. I. What is this fight? You've got to be kidding me. Maybe I should go back to Sunken Valley. I would get a lot more strength there. Because running out of confetti, running out of a lot of things is really, really not good for me. Once she does, I need to bait her into doing that big multi-spin attack and then we can dodge. Ah. Okay. Then I can maybe actually escape the stupid place. Dodge and really, really. It's a hard boss fight. I was not expecting to be this bad. But the big thing is just wasn't expecting her to be completely immune to fire, among other things. And I definitely was not expecting her to. One and two, three and oh, bad, bad. It's just, I'm not in a state where I could actually fight her legitimately. I don't have the pure strength right now. Hmm. 
we need to do is wait until she gets in close, but it's all about posture damage, and we just don't have a good way to deal posture damage to her. I mean, maybe I could have tried the Phantom Butterfly Kunai one, but even still, it's just so... Even when guarded, but the damage dealt is so minimal. Actually, that's not horrible. We may we may be in for comical amounts of cheese. It I don't think I would have enough spirit emblems for that though. Even if I used everything with Tonto. It's The Phantom Kunai from Lady Butterfly would almost certainly be better at what I'm trying to do at the moment. Do we just need to spin, spin, and there we go. Last coming to idle and that should be good, and we're... What in the goddamn? We were so close. We were so close. Okay, whatever. I... Hmm. I need to be really, really far away, but... It is escapable. That we're not even trying to win, we're just trying to escape. Which is really, really funny, frankly. Okay, cool. If you're a big spin, and... That was not it. Hmm. -hmm. So if we worry over here and then run as far as way to the other side as possible, we can escape. Actually, we can just... It's right. I forgot, you can just you can just quit out. Okay. Right. That's how you leave a boss fight in this game. Right. It won't kill me. If I'd done that, I wouldn't have lost what I lost them. Well, whatever. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so in that case, I, I'm just going to go to Sunken Valley. Should make me stronger. That said, there aren't any other bosses that I can actually fight that would give me an attack power upgrade that are available before Genichiro other than Corrupted Monk. There's just no other way to really do this. Let's go back to the temple. I just want to see, I want to be really silly, could I kill her with Lady Butterfly Kunai? Mm-hmm. There's a damage from range, which is nice. Is that the prosthetic upgrade the tool and what would I need for I can get Phantom Kunai. Nice. Is the magnetite, the wax, and the scrap iron. Guard to Phantom Butterflies fly out after throwing. Swarm dance charge for to release more. That is good. Okay. And I think the cost is a bit higher. But if we're using this for pure damage, it should be... Yep, exactly. It should be better. Can use this in midair. I'm using. Can we? Yeah, we can. Interesting. We charge it... We cannot charge it in midair, though. Interesting. And it's not homing in on anything in particular. Nice. And lots of butterflies. So if we use the ceremonial Tonto and just stay away from her... And I presume that... Okay, right. We might want to use Yasha Riku Sugar. Make me a lot less durable. But the Shuriken do scale off of attack power. So I could use that for a risky strategy to just try to rack up as much damage on as possible for range. It would be an interesting idea. Hmm. And he's still here? Wait, so sometimes he disappears and sometimes he doesn't. It's actually weirder. Okay. Use our Yashariku, which is basically a blood red Aku sugar. Get a few kills on these enemies in order to get health we spend on that spirit emblem back. We have our gourd, and then we will simply spam Kunai on her. As it'll go through guards, and that should be useful for us. Presumably. Yeah, so basically, if she kills us, well, not kills us most likely, but, you know, gets us, kills us once, we just quit out to escape. And that's how we avoid incurring Dragon Rock. Or I could be funny and try to make the fight go through with decreased health, but, and basically nothing on my side, but that would be as silly as it sounds. So, no, 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 what? Okay. 
But we just got so much health back. That is going to be... Again, it's just so useful. Very glad that we went to Mibu early, if only for that. Okay, Bloom of Soul, which would be for emblems, which it's not like we're in a position where we have to farm for them proper. So we'll be alright. Let's go over this way and keep on trying. If we use the Yashariku. When she shows up and then just spam Kunai and cool. You do not really close gaps. Oh wow, this is really, really good, but oh she's sending them away? Oh, that's really weird. I dodge. Okay, cool. Either way, we can use a lot of these for good vitality damage. So I can... Before you spin, we'll do that. Dodge. Mm -hmm. Thanks. And go over there. And spin. Cool. And out of the way of you. And another one. And it's the Tanja we need. Oh, it missed. It missed entirely. Great. Okay. So we need our gore to use a few more of those. The Tonto again. Then we use our Yashariku and... Oh, goodness. Okay, cool. Thanks. Healing gourd and... Yashariku, sugar, and... Cool, and... Charge. And... Yeah, but it just... That was profoundly strange. Okay, come on. Just out of the way of you. Come on, come on. And we need more ceremonial Tonto, so there's not much we can really do right now, is there? We get you down to half health, which is somewhat useful, so we can see if we can do the fight normally after that. I frankly don't think we will, but once we get you down to half health, we can posture break you, which is good at least. Okay, ceremonial Tonto. Then we Yashariku again, and spam our funny butterflies. Cool. Nice, and do that, and that should be about half health, which is nice. And, come on, just ham hammer down there, and, oh, we miss. Annoying. So now it should be Akko Sugars, probably. Presumably. Dodge, 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 dodge. Okay, cool. Oh, but we posture broke. That was not great. That was less good, and, come on, just run out of the way. Healing Gourd and probably an Akko Sugar. This is tough. I have a lot of things to deal with here. We don't have our Divine Confetti, but... Your Stamina... Your posture Regen is going to be a lot less trouble to deal with now. Okay, cool. Just... Don't... Okay, thanks. Or not. Come on. Cool. Nice! And... Excuse me. Slam. Nice! Oh, uh, what? Tell me all that was tough. I... Dodge. Okay, cool. Slam, slam with the Ichimonji. So we deflect one attack and go for an Ichimonji on you and slam down and thank you. Nice and jump it. Okay, I. Ugh, stupid me. I'm an idiot. Dodge. Okay, cool. And slam down, slam down. So the health damage was a good idea. Two, three, four, five, and cool. Slam and take you down with that and. Need the guard break for sure, but I jump it. Okay, cool. Send that down, down again, and I need to figure out what attacks I can actually uh, punish reliably. And this is a really bad position for you to be in for me. Might be great for you. And good. jump it. Okay, slam, slam, and oh goodness. All right, cool, cool. Pellets and dodge. Okay, cool. Slam, slam, and just what are you gonna dodge? And Slam, slam, oh, oh, what? No, no. Okay, cool. Slam down, dodge, oh, no, 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 no. Heal and just jump and slam down and really, really want. Okay, slam, slam. Nice. Okay, cool. We know what we need to do more or less, which is good. Now all we need to do is slam it, slam, 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 slam. Okay, nice, nice. Just get that and what? No, no. Uh huh. We were really, really close, though. I could go again. I shouldn't. We got really, really close to the early Corrupted Monk kill, though. And it was those Phantom Butterflies that really helped out most, frankly. Hmm. But, hmm. 
So effectively, it's a matter of... Well, we're weak right now. Using the Tonto in conjunction with the Ashodiku sugars and other stuff. And actually, the anti-posture damage sugars would probably be good too, especially for that multi-sweep attack. Let me just see what else I could get in terms of skills. I... In Ashina Arts, oh, Flooring Water takes three. And it doesn't mean an enemy with a sword. That was a mistranslation. It reduces your, the posture damage you take when an enemy using a sword attacks. When you block an enemy's attack with your sword. Which, the important thing is, is it means that any attack you block with your sword will incur less posture damage to you. But, it will not, affle not affect blocking things with the loaded umbrella. Which is quite relevant, actually. It is interesting that they limit the use of the Ceremonial Tonto. It's effectually, effectively the same kind of thing as Blood Bullets from Bloodborne. In that, you know, it's extra uses of the sort of special tool power per life. But, in Bloodborne you can just use it as long as you can have health. This is one of the ways you can really spam guns if that's the strategy you want to use. Without that, it's a lot more limited. And I think a lot of it is because a lot of surf, a lot of prosthetic tools are... I think over-tuned might be the wrong wor word, but... They're strong, and the game is balanced around them being strong. If there was really a way to just use them semi-infinitely, at least as long as you had health... It would make the game very, very different. And a lot of the strength of... Prosthetic tools would probably have to be decreased to match. We can reliably heal off all of that damage. It's really, really nice. Okay. So we just gotta make sure that they all hit her. So when she's relatively still, that's when we'll use it. Big thing is, we can't use the Ceremonial Tonto at all right now. It's just funky. Cool, just... Come on. And one, two, three, four, five, and... Charge it up. Get more butterflies. And do oh, alright. Wow, that was really, really bad. Okay, cool. Let's quit. That went interestingly. I thought we were in a better position than that. Hmm. Sekiro's Balance as a game is a lot more very interesting compared to Souls. In the sense that it's definitely a very aggressive game in certain senses, but it's sort of defensively aggressive. Because oftentimes the best way to fight, fight an enemy is to get up in their face and block. Because in Souls, there's a lot more variance in Souls proper, variance between you know, standard offense, standard defense. In Sekiro, generally, it's a bit more in between in a very weird kind of way. But yeah, if you're going for a kill based on depleting posture, oftentimes you want to do it by blocking their attacks to deplete their posture, or rather than, you know, attacking them directly. There are Ichimonji, especially, combat arts that are good at specifically defeating posture. Of course, you can get a good amount of posture damage just by attacking them, but at the very same time. It's a different kind of game. I don't have any... Hmm... Any of that, but... No Divine Confetti, but this should still be okay. In the end, the goal is to... Get her down to half health and then use Posture to kill her, rather than... Actually killing her with health damage alone. Because she doesn't... Her Posture regen is good enough that, unlike a lot of other enemies, getting her down to half health does not actually guarantee... No posture regeneration, but still not as bad. Okay, cool. Death blow again on the villager. We're gonna get close to another skill point, probably. If I hadn't died and went one time and lost stuff, we would have gotten another skill point already. Big thing is, I'm not sure the next thing I should get in my tree, because Nightjar Slash is probably the obvious option, but it's not quite what I want. How many Yashariku? These are all my Yashiriku sugars left. This is going to be a tough one. Okay, cool. Spam, spam, and cool. Just thank you, and 
Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh, alright. Thanks. Cool. And that means we need healing badly. Very, very badly. And cool. Just thanks and dodge. Thank you. How much can we... Cool. The butterflies will phase through, which is good. Thanks. And alright. Cool. And one... Oh, but the Yashiriko is gone. That's right. So we need gourd seeds, and then we need... The Tanto. Then we can use another Yashariku, among other things, to increase my strength, my damage. Okay, cool. Pop that, and... Alright. Thank you. And we got good amounts of attacks. Should get you close where we need you to go, and... Dodge! And... Okay, cool. Uh, we can't use the Tanto yet. Can we, actually? No, we can. Very, very barely. Cool, and just out of the way. Oh, we can still use it even with that up. Just in a very different kind of way, and cool. Alright, so now you're at half health, which is very, very good for us. That's gonna mean no more kunai, so now we just get you down normally. Use some of the terrain in the arena to keep you out of the way, most likely. Now that we've gone back to full health. More or less. Or we can use that pellet, most likely. I think I might stay away until that pellet's done healing me. Healing effect is good, but it takes time. So I should use this when I'm down to run away, so to speak. Get up to full this way is good. Other times, I just... I can't rely on it to save me, so to speak. Which is not all that fun. And let's just use that Akko sh Actually, the Ungo Sugar might be better. If we're just blocking. Vitality damage taken. Actually, that's more relevant. And just do- Oh, okay. Cool. Actually, a pellet would be good here, most likely. Do oh, thanks. Okay, cool. Nice. One, two. Dodge, 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 dodge. Cool, cool, and... Send that down on you, and Jimonji, and two, jump, and slam, slam, and we're doing well for ourselves. The Ungos is actually very, very good, then. I can... Okay, cool, and we slam that down and get you doing okay for ourselves. And dodge, 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 okay, cool, and oh, wow, okay, I did not expect that, and I... We don't have the Ungo blessing anymore, which is dangerous for us. Slowly depleting her posture, especially now that we have Wes to deal with in terms of HP damage. And, oh, what? Okay, cool. Slam, slam. Jimonji's good, so dodge and can I mm, dodge? Okay, cool. Slam that down and thanks. I mess it up. Mess it up badly. Cool and jump it. Can we move in and oh, that Mikiri was painful. Slam, 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 slam it. Okay, cool. Jump it. Slam down with an Ichimonji, and oh, I did not expect that. And oh, what? What? No, 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 no. Jump. Okay, cool. And Ichimonji again. Ichimonji, and just. We need the. Um, go sugar. That's all we have, and the only thing we'd have after that would be. Ako and Gokan. Posture damage. Hmm. Alright, cool. And then we can slam down on you and... Okay, we're in a decent position, presumably, and... Nice, and... Dodge, and... Okay. Jump, and... Oh, no, I... Really? You went for... Mikiri? I was not expecting that from there, and... So we... Dodge, okay, nice. Slam, slam. Gotta kill you with posture. Jump, and... Slam down, and... Okay, we got you at a good break point. We're almost, we're in a good position in terms of nice and overhead and, can we, okay, jump it overhead and, nice, okay, cool, need all of that, dodge, 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 okay, cool, nice, and slam, slam, and, oh, all right, we, we are close, we're really, really close, that Mibu, Mibu breathing technique is going to be mine, it has to be, slam, slam, we're close, slam, 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 oh, and we kill both the deflection. Goodbye, illusory corrupted monk. And Shinobi Goro Shi. Shinobi Goro. There's no Shi. Memory corrupted monk. Permanently increased attack power. Watch over the cave entrance deep in Mibu. 
Breathing technique, dive underwater, breathe underwater indefinitely, developed by the founder. To join the procession, must master the technique without the divine dragon cannot be met. Should progress time to noon. There we are. This is really, really nice. And here, there should be another item. The shelter stone. This wedding cave, but... Probably go in and get it. I might like to... Well, for one rest. Yeah, but getting her health down using these kunai was good. No, I would have used fire, but for whatever reason, she was immune. Wedding cave door, and... Let's see... Answer attack power using Corrupted Monk, and that will mean... Attack power is 140 now, as opposed to the base of 80, while our damage is... Attack power is 4, which means a damage base of 140. Starts out at 80. Sustenance, Mask of a Fierce Guardian Deity, forms nebulous appearing as if in a dream. What reason could there have been for guarding the Mibu Village Cave entrance? Attack power enhanced, and... Skills could we get right now? For aesthetic arts, we do need Nightjar Slash. We also need Projected Force, if we want to get Living Force eventually to get our way to Empowered Mortal Draw, which is something I do want. Some more capacity, leap in with a Spin and Slash. That, that's an idea. I will need this eventually, and there's nothing else that immediately sticks out. Scars, Blood and Scars, Spattered on the Prosthetic Permanent Rust, Cuts and Scars, Death its Cause. It's very interesting that there's one that just costs more than the other. You can lock them both at the same time. It's kind of silly, frankly. Projected Force, that would be good for the Umbrella, but I won't be... Oh, well, I should have used that on the Umbrella if I'm going to be fighting one of the Centipede mini-bosses in Sunken Valley eventually. That was a very, very cool fight. Learning to block her posture was very, very good. I mean, learning to... Blocker attacks was very, very nice. And the world should have progressed to noon now. So we've killed one of four important bosses in the game. It's the Wedding Cave. We also have the Mibu Technique now, which should... just unlock a lot more areas and things, which means I can go back, among other things, and get some more prayer beads, too. So what's in this palanquin? Oh, in the valley, offer yourself to the serpent, one of those palanquins, and... Big. There are a lot of these stones, but only one is glowing. These are basically kidney stones. A big. Big rope. I forget the name. I think they're Shire. Shelter stone, altar deep within the water dwellers' village. And the bodies of those have long drank from the waters. Step into the marital shrine. Yep, there's kind of a bower over there, that palanquin. Fragrant, auspicious stone. Sought the divine air for immortal severance. Shelter stone, auspicious omen, sweetly sent over a bridal offering. Palanquin awaits with open arms. Oh, and they're centipedes, I presume, down here. So in that case, what I want to do is, among other things, explore some of the water present in Mibu. Phantom Kunai came in handy. Getting her vitality down halfway at the start of the fight was pretty much the only reason we were able to manage it at all. So now we can, among other things... Oh, do not see me, please. Go in the water here in Mibu and see what it might show me. So, oh, we've already eavesdropped on him, so presumably we won't have any kind of new dialogue, but... Hello, hello there. Die, die. Right through you, right through you. Want me to kill you. Thank you, and oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Alright. Then we can hit you a few more. And you're close to death. The death blows aren't crucial, but we may as well get them. Thank you, thank you. More healing and... More stuff, alright. So do you have anything new to say now that we've done this, or... Solving liquefying, so nothing new. So what do we have to press in order to dive? Right trigger, movement, water indefinitely. Dive, surface. Underwater dash. Okay, cool. That's fun. We also use our sword underwater as well. All these. Carp guarding something. Okay. And you're over there. And that was easy enough. This man-eating carp. Precious bait. Ah, slimy, resembling horns juts out of it. These look like the phantasms from Bloodborne. Master loves ring the bell and drop the bait. 
So, how do I get to the other side of Mibu? Other side of the bridge over here. Maybe I have to go through some other way, or I... I'm a bit confused, because clearly this bridge over here is going to be the way I get there, but there's no obvious grapple point or anything. I... Huh. If I... Interesting. And those rocks are... Presumably, I need to get through the house somehow, which doesn't appear I can get on top of the house, which would otherwise be the most obvious path. Maybe if I went this way? No, no. Or actually, what if I went... Can't go in there. That doesn't work either. So how am I going to get inside this house eventually? Assumably we will open with further quest progress, but... Let's mark that down, Mibu House. And House 2. This is the guy I give the Dragon Spring Water to to get the sake, but I also need to mess around in his house. Like a real snooper. So there's a lot of wood under here. So let's go over that way and jump down. Okay. Dive down here, and what will we see, if anything? And this is... wait. Okay, no, that's just more waterfall texture. I thought that might have been something hidden, but it was not. It was nothing of serious note, one way or the other. And hello! Oh, a treasure... treasure car? Hello? Running from me? That's not good. Underwater treasure carver. It's different, it seems. But I... How far did you go? I can't imagine you would have disappeared entirely. It's not like I could sneak up on you in any meaningful sense. And let me just see, though. It's certainly possible that it might have gone away somehow. Sort of dive and grab it. Yeah, you have to rush in and hit it there. Sort of rushing attack. Master of most precious things in the world it could be worthwhile. So you normally do a swing, but if you rush, you'll do the stab, and that's how you kill the carp. You can't use items or tools or much else. You can drink that. I think we can use Divine Confetti underwater, though. Pretty sure. And this is the mill. The big question to me is... How do I get to that south of the house? Well, I'll come back eventually and know for sure. So for now, I guess I can just chill. Okay, dive and... What all might be under here? Cool, I can see. And those are... Oh, man-eating carp. Great. White coin purse, and it's offenses. This is, oh goodness, give me another white coin purse. All these carp, oh, red eye carp, okay, what, okay. Did not mean to do that, and can this, and we should get the carp with red eyes, Bibu Village Pond, and the eyes that are red count become masters, like the ideal number of skills, and complete creatures that have everlasting eyes. Dojun wants those to improve his procedure, but we're not helping him. Those would be for his quest line, but we are not helping that evil guy. We're not that kind of, that kind of evil. We'll kill old maids in the Ashina Castle, but that would be too far even for us. Okay, cool. Thanks. If we get under you, we can hit you more effectively. So where are the rest? These man-eating carp. Oh, okay. Dosh. Okay. Don't seem to be all that aggressive, actually. Maybe only some of them are man-eating. Maybe some of the others just got sick of the taste. So what else is all down here? And oh, there's something in a chest. Is this going to be gray wax or something? Maybe a prayer bead? Ah, it's a prayer bead. Okay. So we're close to our sixth necklace, which is nice. This presumably would be basically all the Mibu water. Actually, there's a bit more over here. So I want to see if there's anything else I can dive into. It doesn't seem like it. So we went through the Mibu water. Hirara, Hirara Estate has some water too. I'm gonna mark down everything there. And oh, that. I forgot, it was so long ago that I actually saw that, but that's the Dragon Spring. That's the Dragon Spring. Okay. 
So mark down what I've said in Sekiro. We talked to the basket man, we went underwater in Mibu. Now I get the Mibu Headless. We did get the Gourd Seed from the Buddha statue and the Prayer Necklace from the Buddha statue and Sunken Valley Gourd Seed and the Depths Prayer Bead. The Ashina Dojo. Seven Senpo is two abandoned dungeon entrances. But the Hirata stuff I need still need to do. Outskirts and after the ogre. Headless. Centipede guys, the apes. Then we can go back to the second valley, but after that the only thing I can do is I can really do is go to Genichiro. But going down here would lead me to the Dragon Spring is I have the Dragon Spring up there. I should check. Makes sense, but it says Dragon Spring might be street notating the time rather than the actual location. So they talk about Dragon Spring pilgrimage, and this is clearly not water. Mm hmm. A little muddy. It's because of the rain. Go down the water over here, and oh wow, that counted as a pitfall. Funky. Okay then. So let's simply go down here. Mm -hmm. Take some of this for myself. Dive down here, there should be more carp and presumably more items. We weren't able to get anything here at all until we got Mibu technique. So the loot here would presumably be more in line with stuff we get now than stuff we got before, presumably. And, oh goodness, I, okay. Thanks. Dash it. Okay, so they do just disappear if we act silly. Should do our best to sneak up on them, and we could get, among other things, the floating passage tax from one of the pot nobles here. And we, it's not like we can really sneak on them. That sucked. That sucked. Okay. Hmm. Let's show back up over here, and we can figure out where to get you. Wait. Really? Really? Okay. Can't use tools underwater or anything. Hmm. I know that loaded spear thrust type can be a good way to take down treasure carp if you can reach them. That might be the way we actually have to do it. Jump and stab. Okay, cool. There we go. We got what we needed. Now we have six, I believe. Forty or so in the game in total, so... Hot Noble Hunger Naga should be over here. Is you perhaps? Kono, Koko no Onushi, guy over there. Seals were already hand handsomely, and we can get the Floating Passage Tax. Graceful Aggression Ashina Sword School, heretical due to its foreign origin. Interesting. There we go. Divine Grass is not something we need. Don't need that. Mass Fragment eventually, but. Floating Passage is fun, and it's the skill Tomoe. A lore character in this game who people thought might end up being in DLC that did not end up happening. They just gave us boss battle gauntlets. One of which I will do. The one you unlock when you beat Genichiro, because that would give me, among other things, the Sakura Dance skill, which I could use a bit later for, for among other things, Lightning Redirection. What is this? Is this an item? This is... Oh, just a random treasure carp scale right there? Huh. Okay. I did one of the treasure carp just beach itself or something? I don't know. So, to get to where we want to go, there's another river in Kyodata State actually past the Bamboo Thicket Slope. So just go to the thicket slope and do stuff there. There we go. Cool. Mm -hmm. So we are and remain chilling. I guess if we wanted to be really funny, we could actually. Because we have... We could just use the balloon on our way in order to... Grab a bit more oil. It's an idea. Oh, and right, since we killed the monk, we have a little bit more attack damage, which allows us to insta-kill those guys. Nice. 
Eh, didn't get the death blow I wanted. That's fine, I guess. Cool, cool. One, two, die. And thanks. One, two, and that works too. We've gotten a good deal stronger. Thank you very much. Nice. Seven. All of those guys are gonna... Oh, goodness. All right. Die, die, and... Right, we need to hurt you before any of that happens. Before you run away. The water over here is our next objective. Thanks, thanks. Dodge and kill. Get more oil, maybe, and... Oh, just gunpowder. But Demon Bell might be helping with this, too. The wiki says it's rare items. And oil is not exactly rare. But... Hmm. Go up over here, get a stealth death blow on one of the shield guys. So my axe, and... I want to see how fast I can take this Taro guy down. Get in over here, and... Well, what if I attack you from behind? We can take you out almost... Okay, it is top. There we go, cool. It's Taro guy. See how strong you are. Nice, and... Cool. So, slam down with the Ichimonji, and that's good. One, two, three, and... Nice! And we have to go in, to Put that down, and... Oh, the jumping death blow. I wasn't expecting that jump to do it as much as it did. I was expecting that jump to even happen. So we dive down in here. There should be some carp, presumably. Somewhere. Not right here, but a bit farther down. This should be all the relevant water areas in here. Hello, hello, and not mean to do that, and you see me? You do you? Do you see me? So if we go in here from the sneaking location, well just gonna disappear. Great. And respawn somewhere else, presumably. Probably have to go away a little to make you respawn, but it's gotta get all those carp. Then, are you back yet? You are back, okay. Use these to disguise ourselves, to hide a little, and treasure carp should be right over there. Cool. Nice. And oh my. Right, you have to do a dash stab. There's no other way to do it. Otherwise, it just... The range on the horizontal slash simply cannot hack it. That is more than, than a little sad, but... I understand it. I understand. A little. So do you... Wait, what? Do you see super behind, or if we get you against the wall, it works too. Alright, then. So they didn't drop a lot of experience, because presumably it's because... Is. Oh, but we can't go under there. We have to find another way in. Hmm. What if we use this grappling point? Could we get across on that other side? Because I know when we went to Hirata before, when we got to the fire part with Lady Butterfly, we tried out a bit of that river and jump over that wall if you're on this side, but it this requires some precision. And I... Hmm, not from here. It would have been from farther in. Jump off the side, jump over the barrier, and get through. Okay. And this is on the other side of that barrier, so this is... A place we can check for more carp. Oh, interesting. Oh, it's just man-eating carp. Fun. Oh, goodness. I, okay, alright. But you don't seem to be all that aggressive. That's okay. Hello, normal, non manning carp. I'm glad to see that you do not have a taste for human flesh. That relaxes me a little bit. So down around this way, there might be something more. And, okay, just another normal carp. Presumably one of them should be treasure, right? Maybe. Here is... These are just completely normal carp. For now, at least. Okay. This way, there's anything? No. I mean, it was cool that they always had a treasure carp and some fish down here, but... I... I'm a little disappointed, frankly. It is what it is. Okay. In... Ashina Reservoir. Water pool. I did not mean to do that. One, one. 
Wrong one. Trichorp underwater in Hirata in the river. Now that we have water, there's some stuff in Senpo. There's a pond in Senpo that I want to check that should have a prayer bead in it. Over by Temple Grounds. There we are. Can be even closer to finishing out the game. I think, I wonder whether I would need maybe one or two more sessions to finish everything. Hmm. So the final encounters are hard, but even still. Thank you very much. Goodbye, dogs. Dog Perry. Jump! Take you down, and thank you very much. Cool. Take you down, and it's this water pool over here that we need to get into. Oh, we got multiple treasure carp? That's funny. And can we... Thanks, thanks, and... Okay, cool. Dodge. Okay, another treasure scale, and... Cool. I wonder if those were there before. Can't even tell, frankly. Let's just dive down here, and... Okay, this is a surprisingly big cave, but... It's bright enough that I can't really see. But we could never get in, at least, during New Game Standard. Oh, it'll come out... Later this afternoon... Or evening, maybe nighttime, depending on how long this goes and anything I might need to do in between now and then the schedule. But I do put them out on Sundays. Usually I want to try to work things out with other people I occasionally stream with. So we got another prayer bead. So are you asking that about for the sake of fan art and maybe wanting to, you know, be the next one on the schedule? To that I say, don't rush yourself, but I think... A change of pace, would, so to speak, would be appreciated. Well, whatever it was, that knowledge is there for you. Senpo Pond after Armored Warrior. There are a few other ponds. There was one in Ashina Reservoir. Let's travel over to... Back to the reservoir. And that's the last one there right now. Interesting. So there was a water pool where we start... It's no problem at all. Thank you again for being engaged, for chatting, for offering to make art. Your contributions are, as always, very appreciated. We will simply keep on going over here, and oh, goodness. Thanks. Oh, okay, and oh, wow, oh, goodness, goodness. Please, please, I'm, I'm trying way too hard to do this brute force. But, it's so much back from that death blow that... Come on, thanks. Dog death blow. It is, of course, a little mean of me, but that's life sometimes. Hello there, hello. Let's just stab you. Oh, so this could be a decent way to actually take the Tauros down. Possibly. Maybe. So get some of that. Run over to the original starting area. And then, okay, so it's, right, it's not morning anymore. Now it's noon. So there's water pass here, eventually. Some of this leads to the abandoned dungeon, but it's not quite where I want to be yet. So if I dive down here, will I find anything of actual note, or find an item? Just a Mibu soul balloon. Okay then. Cool, I guess. Go up there and... Cool. So we checked out the starting point in Ashina Reservoir. Some stuff in the Ashina Castle moat and behind it. And then in the abandoned dungeon, there's water by the first idol over there. Also, a water pool over in Sunken Valley that I'd also like to check out. So we'll teleport over to the first Ashina Depths idol, which is the abandoned dungeon one, because it's all part of Ashina Depths. Um, it's kind of interesting how many areas under the same... Oh, but actually that... This must be the smallest area then. Because I don't see that having any more... Any more than two idols. Unless there's one behind Dojun, but I don't see that happening. Okay. Gotten past here, and... Oh, that was the wrong one. I'm supposed to go to the first idol, not the... Bottomless hole one, because the bottomless hole one is... 
for getting the depths. This one... It was unlocked after the Shichi Men Seven-Faced Warrior. We dive down here. See more stuff and... Are those multiple treasure carp? That's crazy. Come on, come on. Okay, nice and... Cool. Oh, that's just a normal carp. Okay. It's not man-eating, but it is not treasure. Keep on going in the water down here. See if there might be any treasure carp and treasure carp scales to be found. Oh, there's some items down here dropped down with this cage. Light coin purse, light coin purse. And, oh, if we... Interesting. That's different. Somewhere we can go. When we accessing through the water, I... This might be related to the evil doctor. Uh-huh. I think... We might have our guy. We might have our position. So let's go up over here. Let's see what else. And then, got a grapple point. And I... Can't do an underwater grapple. We have to rise to the surface entirely first. Yubu Bowen of Soul. And then... Okay, we got... A wedge to Klingon, and is this... This is his room. That's really funny. Pacifying agent, and... Dosaki's note, disciples abandon me for Dogen. I'm willing to dirty their own hands, left me for that hypocritical clack. Oh, so Dosaku was never... Only a figurehead and last disciple. No, oh, oh, no, Dogen was the good guy. And frankly, the only one who actually makes anything really work, at least prosthetic-wise, because the red-eye stuff is... silly. Even if I die, research must continue. Finish the procedure for Ashina's sake. It's very bloodied. Suppose it implies his death. Oh, hi. Oh, well. Gonna comment on the fact that I got through here? Details of the document I gave you. Nature, as we know the better. Well, sorry. I'm not helping you. I might go back and kill the evil doctor eventually. That said, you know. There's enough blood to shed in this game. I don't really need to do that now, do I? It's just the other upgrades I could get from my various tools. That's the question. What else might I like to try to obtain? Any more water in here, or... Should be at least one more item, presumably. Got a carp, and... Oh, well... They, they can be aggressive at times, but it's not the only way they act. Either way, it seems we've exhausted all the possibilities here. It got us to where Dojun was, but this was the way to Ashina. I mean, way to Simple. Simple. Let's use our gourd. And we should have just Ichimonji that guy, but whatever. Oh, and yep, things are messing up from a loading perspective in this area because of all the areas that can be loaded here at the same time. Ledge hang there, which is interesting. Not as if there was anything truly special from diving down over there. Alright then. And cool. Hmm. So this gets too simple, but we'll be okay. Not like that, not like that. Go to the last coming to idle. So you got the water in the abandoned dungeon. So the only thing left would be Sunken Valley. Also the Ashina Castle moat, but I think I'll leave that for last. I also need some more Divine Confetti to take them out, so... Also, I... Oh, I'm actually very close to getting Projected Force, which... Would be fun to use on the... I actually see something. Travel back to... Lapidated Temple, I could get... Upgraded Umbrella, they could also do fire damage with Projected Force. Which, I don't predict to really have much trouble with a Centipede Warrior fight. But it would still be nice to get a little stronger. And the... Oh, hmm. I don't have any Fulminated Mercury, so I can't use that. That's a shame. And it's not just that I don't have the materials, I also don't have the prerequisites. Sufficient funds and required items. 
Don't have any of those. We need a lot more scraps, a lot more mercury. Eventually, I do think I'll try some farming there, but more magnetite. And this is just magnetite, but weaving flame would be nice eventually. Hmm. Cleave and rush, cleave. Corkscrew rush. So it's cleave, then ru rush, then cleave, rush, then cleave again. Okay. So it turns into a crowd control weapon. Either a single target or a crowd control weapon based on the level, though to be fair, probably. Still probably the best option just because of the added fire. But you, only, you can only get six Lapis Lazuli per cycle. You need ten in total for all the upgrades. So I need to go into at least one new game to get that, but I'll probably be saving. Well, my, on one hand, definitely saving it for my own playtime on my own time, but beyond even that... Probably be going for the bad ending on New Game Plus. Because, among other things, it... The bad ending gives you a memory and a combat art. She can't get otherwise, and the wiki seems to suggest, though I'm not exactly sure it means that, that you can only get two sets of memories, essentially, on standard New Game and then New Game Plus, and then New Game Plus Plus slash New Game Plus 2, or whatever you want to call it, and from there on, you don't get any more. Which makes some sense. Okay, Wedding Cave door, but not there yet. So the door over there, presumably, that would go to the fountain head. That priest door that we saw earlier, but we can't reach that yet because it's locked behind certain endings. But locked behind, choosing to not end the game early by getting the bad ending. There's a water pool over in Valley that... I should also evaluate... Evalue... Evaluate... Marm, dodge, and kill. Oh, we could have gotten a stealth death blow, but whatever. Thanks, thanks. Take it down. They give so much experience compared to so many other things. I should definitely be able to get projected force for the centipede fight. Which, again, would be very, very useful. Oh, and we have to... Oh, we have to really hug the wall. That's annoying. Yeah, but once we beat Genichiro, go immediately fight... Pretty much a lot of bosses. And then once I've beaten the relevant bosses, it's basically going in the fountainhead. So I feel like next second row would basically be probably fountainhead and endgame, and then I could do demon souls a bit next week, because I Elder Ring DLC comes out in a little under two weeks. It comes out in twelve days. Friday the twenty-first, which means that ideally I could beat Demon Souls before then, and it's not the Demon Souls remake, but just the emulated version of the PS3 version, which allows me to use a few fan modifications by way of the fan server that runs it to mim mimic the network features. In particular, the game has a kind of hard mode, sort of, but you can't really control it all that deliberately without a lot of silliness. But the fan server allows you to basically brute force it so that it's always in that mode, which would be quite nice for me. So this, where does this lead? Where did I just go to? This is where? Oh, another headless! Okay. That is certainly something. I... Huh. Okay. Alright. They're one of the few enemies in the game that you simply cannot get stealth death blows on at all. But, let me see. Let's get this item then, and... Lump of Grave Wax. It's not actually Divine Confetti. This is... Okay, Divine Grass. Let's go back to the last Kami to Idol, and... You're very slow, which is some small consolation. Okay. So that's what's over there. That water pool contains a Headless. I think I'll deal with those pretty much last thing before Genichiro. Like I said, I'm going to do everything I can before Genichiro can do before Genichiro, before Genichiro, but that Hedalus is going to be the death of me, literally, in more ways than one. Because those guys are really, really slow, they're one of the few mini-bosses in the game that you simply cannot get any kind of stealth death blow on, which makes them very, very aggravating. 
And you can try to go with go near the gun spear. It won't work. Okay. Do we really, really want projected force? Go down there and Hello then, hello. And slam, slam. Take you out. All we want are your materials. I mean, not your materials, the skill points we get from killing you. Should get more when we go down over to this side over here. And take out you. There's a random gecko, that's funny. Let's get the stealth death blow on the gecko. Sorry, sorry, gecko. And that poison would often give us. If we had bestowal ninjutsu, which we'll get from Headless Ape, that would allow us to get a poison effect on our weapon, but among other things, it's it's expensive, it's kind of overrated. Frankly, there are a lot of things in this world like that. And okay, cool. Nice, take you out, and cool. Oh, interesting, and can we slam me? Oh, well, all right, and how many more are there? I, ooh, I still have a lot more vitality. So taking these guys out should allow me to get what I need in terms of... Oh, wow, okay. The skill points I need back, so dodge and kill. That and big gun guy is really, really annoying. Thanks, and dodge. Can we charge that up? Nice, nice. What if I charge that up and slam, slam, and... Oh, wow, okay. So just dodging that simply does not do the trick. Makes sense, though. These guys are still tough. Thanks, oh, goodness, okay. Never mind, oh, shotgun, thanks. And... Give you down, oh, my goodness, okay. I need to change out a number of the items in my inventory for one. Wow, okay. Cool. Alright. I don't need Yashorikus in here anymore. Tonto might be nice, but... Well, to be fair, I just need to make sure that everything is in the right place. And we slam that down. So you're doing a bit of reloading, but... Nice, and... Can we... Nice, and... Swing that down, swing that down again. And swing, swing, and... Can we... Oh, that just missed entirely. Okay, cool. Goodbye. So that will be our projected force upgrade on that umbrella, which I can't get any of the umbrella upgrades yet, which sucks. Shinobi arts and midair combat art is really, really useful. That was okay. That's good. Decent. Decent. I don't really need that. Though it will mean I won't see all the tutorials. We'll use projected force while guarding, blocking projectiles, and discharges it, but just projectiles or attacks in general? That's the real question. Just slash reversal, and... Oh, oh, is this... Formidable, going unprepared, Senpo Bell, so... Badger should be over by Senpo now. Right, I should mark that down. By Senpo. Okay. Should be a centipede guy over here, and now we have... 23 prayer beads in total. So we do have most of them. So to jump down and take out, well, we should actually be using the Piercing Sabimaru. We take out the Snake Eyes Shirafuji, I believe, because it was Shirahagi over in the depths. So this should be Shirafuji, presumably. What is. So what, where would this take me? That's the question. This would. To nothing of note, that's just a way to survive if you die, I guess. So where's the next... It's down there, we just gotta avoid getting shot at too much. To stay constantly on the move, we should be in a pretty good position. A Buddha statue, oh hello there, hi. Snake Eyes Shirafuji, so if we reestablish stealth somewhere, sneak away, let you forget about me, we can... Don't want to get hit by that attack. Shirahagi used that, and it was really annoying. And... It was self death blow on you, and then use... So where do we go? Okay, down here is one option. Antidote powder, and... Oh, the sunken valley plant. Oh, thanks. Cool. So, oh, what? All oh, right, and... Dodge, dodge, okay, and... No, 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 you're kidding. What? Okay. Cool, just... 
heal, heal, and dodge, dodge. Okay. Send that down, send that down. Oh, what? No, no, no. I. Okay. What in the. Goddamn? Really? At least I don't have a lot of money on me. And I basically just got a skill point. That was impressive in a very unpleasant way. And, oh, somewhere in the outskirts. You've got to be kidding me. Dragon Rod has started. Moralizing the dead, service in the ocean outskirts. Unseen aid and the info broker cannot remove himself from compassion. Well, how many... How many droplets do we have? I know we had one. Dragon cough healed. Sword of health, cool. So it should be in our key items, presumably, which I think, or quick, or... No, it would be in quick, I think. So I think we used our last one. The last dragon droplet that we had, which means I can buy some from various characters, but... Well, that was tough. That was a bit of a struggle. And cool. That just, it's a second chance in case we miss the first time. So it seems. Let's keep on, oh my, okay. I got stuck in a place I wouldn't like to. That's not good. So to get to Shirafuji, I, hmm, let's take you down and mid our combat art and just dodge, dodge, okay, cool. One, one, two, three, and dodge, death blow and thank you. Thanks, all right, and where are you shooting from? This should be, yeah, that keeps me safe, but where do I even go now? Don't see any, oh goodness, oh, what? You've got to be kidding. So it's up there, okay, cool. All right, and heal, heal. And if we go up that way, we can get, what? Hopefully another idol, but I, oh, come on. I really just do not see. Okay. Oh, you're not gonna shoot me over here, I presume, which is good. But finding a way to get stealth off. And that... If I manage to get the Ichimonji off, but the, there's something wrong with my input. I can get rid of that one on the side, which would presumably help some things, but it's all about it. Reestablish stealth. <clears throat> kill the others. It's cool how they're just around that big Buddha statue. I think that's... Might be Bodhisattva Valley, maybe? Not quite sure. Just keep on running and jump and go for that grapple point instead so we don't get stuck on the tree. Okay. Then we try to kill that gal using the Ichimonji double and just one, two, and can I... There we are. We didn't die this time, which is good. So we can heal and just get that. That won't get me there, which is nice. Thank you, and then we can... Go around, escape. This is troublesome. But really, I just... There's gotta be another grapple point over... Okay, it's over there. That's where the other grapple point is. And there was also a... Oh, interesting. A walk around wall. That's how that was supposed to work. So what else can I find and how? Just gotta make sure that we don't get hit too much. The snake eyes are... Oh my god. What? What? Okay, cool. And I... Block over here, and this is a good time. And just keep on. What? What? No, no, no. Come on, come on. Dodge. Keep my sword up. Keep my sword up. And, oh, what? What? No? What? Huh? Huh? Excuse me? You're kidding. That made no sense. Whatever. Okay. I'm just gonna. At least that didn't kill me. That was dangerous. But all these gunfighters down here, I. Should probably try to. Mmm, posture is. Don't break my posture, please. And I, mm -hmm. It's gonna go down. We have to drop down. Drop down and. Oh my goodness. I, okay, cool. Drop, drop, drop. And grapple, grapple. Thank you. Go down here. That's good. And. Who will be able to hit me through here, if anyone? Hopefully nobody. I, oh, someone over there. That's not good. So where are the shooters? Where are they? Can't cling to that, but over here we can see somebody. Okay. Uh huh. All right then. All right. Some of you, but okay. This is. Hey, what? Okay. All right. 
Thanks. Oh, what? What just happened? That was stupid. Okay. We need to use some healing then. Have a good amount of pellets. But just get to an idol somewhere, probably. Let's jump in. Get over there and... Where are you? Where are you? Okay, you're over there. And just jump in. Slam, slam it. Oh my goodness. Do oh, what? You can dodge, 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 die in. Thank you, death wall. Cool. You're up there. Alright, and jump. Okay, nice. Over there, and take you down. Thanks. Look, Shuriken could be somewhat useful here. We'll just grab Magnetite, that's fun. Need that for that spear upgrade, so. Go back and deal with Shirahagi that way. That would be useful. All those shooters are not exactly the most fun to deal with. Somebody over where? We took out three, and the range at which they can hit is the craziest thing. Found them, frankly. Oh well, oh well. And what all? What else? And who is. Who sees me? Does, oh, someone's up there? Okay. In that case. This is the gun for it, I suppose. And you are. Where? You're over there. Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. Oh wow, alright. And what was that? Mine attack? Were they just left behind her? What are you, what attack are you using? What weapon are you using? Okay. And okay, we got that from there, so. Oh my goodness. I alright, just get up that way and figure out how to deal with you, okay. Oh my lord, okay. Scrap magnetite. Take some of that and oh that hit me? That hit me? What? You're kidding. Okay, die, die. Hmm. There's got to be an idol over here. Will allow me to attack Shurahagi from behind and make things work easier. And wait, did that? Huh? Okay. Cool, cool, and just nice and oh, but there are more over that way. That's not good. Okay. So there's one more person who I need to take out before I can really be free. Black rings of gunpowder and all these explosions. Meant to alert people or oh well, oh well. One die. And you don't see me, though, or you do. Okay. Huh. So where am I supposed to go in the, in the gun fort? You go down here, which is nice, but... Go on sugar. Go down this way, we can get some stuff, presumably. Down here is... what? It's basically just a drop down for the sake of stealth, or... I don't see anything. That... Worked okay-ish. Huh. Pellets are still here, but... Hmm. Mibu, Mibu, Mibu. Mibu Village. That's where we were. Now we're in Sunken Valley, which in some ways is actually worse. Oh, oh my goodness, I was not expecting that end. Slam that down on you and... Oh my lord, okay. I guess the big thing is, could I actually get it way into... Right, and... Okay, cool. Thanks. Nice. And can we get through here, or... Big question is, could we get up and try to find a... Oh, never mind. That won't work at all. Oh, goodness me. Goodness me. Run to a spot where I can just leave. Okay. Leave that homeward idol. Okay, and just run through here, then, and... What can I find? Oh, we, we did find a sculptor's idol here. That's fine. Okay, good. That means working our way backward through the gun fort. Killing Shirahagi and... Poking through its contents. Fun. Scrap Magnetite we got might give me more upgrades, ideally. See what happens. Key items, upgrade materials. We got enough that we could probably get a spear upgrade. Could be nice. Spiral spear especially will be good, but... Fun! Okay, cool. Let's just run as far away as we can, see if we can reestablish stealth on you. This is down here. This part of the valley. It's just spirit emblems, but it's a way to hide, which is good. Cool. So we want to do it like this. Eventually, there's going to be the way to the Guardian Ape. We're going to have to find another way through. Hello, then. 
And we can take you out this way. Do not want to deal with the big guys. At all. It's way too annoying. Hello then, pellet. Yellow gunpowder, fiery vigor, heavy cold purse, and get up there and shouldn't hear me. You did not hear me. That's good. Snap seed and how many? Three snap seeds. The only time I'm not gonna need to use those again, am I? Probably not. Okay. Can't think of anything. And you would alert people, but we're gonna stop you. Sorry. Okay. Then we can. Kill more Gunfort people. Thank you. Not sure if that's supposed to be a man or a very muscular woman. Because it was mentioned that the snake eyes are a kind of women. But that doesn't necessarily mean that every single one is a woman. Oh, so we could have jumped across there from that side of the bridge to get over to this part of the Gunfort. So this is an alternate route that we could have taken. And probably would have been smarter in the end. Well, whatever. Can we... There's an item up here, and presumably... Moon goes Blessing. Stealth Death Blow on at least one person. There's firecrackers over there, presumably for alarm purposes. So it would probably behoove us to avoid them. Though frankly, I don't even have hooves. So... Over that way, and... Avoid stepping on those things and alerting the shooters. So we'll just do that and take you out before anything else happens. Hello there, hi. Goodbye, and let's step on down. Before any of that happens, we'll just... Huh, this does not look to be all that workable. Go around this way, I... I think we're just kind of stuck with that. That's sad. Maybe if we grappled over, we could kind of jump and- Oh, my- Okay. So I guess that's only just for startling. It doesn't actually have a sort of purpose in terms of damage or something. And we can go over there. We can get over that way and go over down and shoot and stab another one of these. Snipers. So if we take out all the snipers, no one should, in theory, intervene during our fight against... Snake Eyes, and then we can just use the Okami Poison Weakness to absolutely obliterate her most most ideally, hopefully. Also use this way to go down and circle around as well, okay. With all these fire spears, okay. How then do I want to over here? That there is something, but should be more over this way, and I. You're over here, hello. Slam it, oh my goodness. Slam down, slam down, and take you out with a death blow. Other one should be coming up before any of that crap happens. Yo, uh, wait, you hit me? How do you hit me? That makes no sense. Okay, whatever. And Uchimonji, and kill again. Thank you very much. Cool. Then, and then, and then. Anything on the top there, or...? No, nothing. Sad. Kinda sad. Should try to jump down over here, then. And over this way, or... What if I... Went down? It's just a way to grapple back up, presumably. Then to get back up top, there would be... No, this just goes over this way, so if we want to get back up to the top of the area, we need to... Go up the ledges again. That makes some sense. Then we go and we ambush. We have all our gourds, which is good because we made liberal use of stealth. Take out Shira Fuji. Shira Hagi was last time. And unlike Shira Hagi, Shira Fuji is decidedly not immune to lightning. I mean, poison. So we can use poison in combination with the gachi and sugar and a sneak, sneaky death blow to take her out, hopefully. We'll see what happens. She should not be able to see me from here. Let's pop our gachi in. And this should be fine. Shouldn't need any other Buddhist sugars for this, but yeah, we'll see what happens. 
We need the first for the stealth death blow anyway. So we hug the vault, we can sneak up on her, presumably. She's not like one of the Ashina elites where you just can't do it to just deal with them spamming Ashina across at you. Oh, okay, so let's do this nice and slowly. And there you are, right here. Let's go around and can we just get the stealth death blow? Nice, there we go. Then as soon as you get up, we will spam one, two, one, one, two, three, four. Five, okay, cool. Nice, and spam that. Oh, okay, cool. I was not expecting that. Cool, so we can just poison you again soon. Soon, 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 soon. Okay. That posture damage is going back down, but I'm okay. Should be fine, and just dodge, dodge. Okay, right, right, right. I keep forgetting about that annoying part of your move set and all. I, okay. Just. Dodge, and cool, and all right, so one, two, one, one, two, okay, we got the poison off, which is good, cool, and the damage should be all right there too, so let's just poise you down, and do okay, all right, and what, okay, cool, whatever, this is something we can recover from by way of using this tactic, and can we slam, slam, and all right, thanks, just dodge, and Dodge and dodge. Okay, nice, and we got you with the deflection death blow. Cool. Get a prayer bead from that. There's prayer bead, and we have four prayer beads. So that's 24 out of 40. Go back to the last commune to idle. We are doing quite well now. Genichiro should be a stomp. I almost feel bad for him. Almost. Effective on their descendants as well. Inhuman Okami warrior women. So, we can enhance our attack. No, not attack power, but our physical attributes. Thank you. Nice. Centipedes will seek out a weeder, changing names out of loyalty. Chiefs are known as long arms for their large talon like weapons. Vitality and posture increase. So, we saw a good amount of that before. Saw so one of those guys in Sampo. One of the centipedes. So, is this just gonna kill me? Probably. We may as well try it just to see, but... Yeah, okay. Right, right. The classic. Grapple up onto the sound of the bridge because of the little snake icon there. Let's rest. We can get one more prayer beat, presumably, from some guys in here. Hello, then. Hello. Uh-huh, we hear one of the centipedes. Hi. Second Valley Passage, and we can sneak up on you quite well, presumably. And then, let me just check to make sure. Let's see how... Martial Arts, Projected Force, Colorful Death. The effects of the tool in front of you. Using the tool while guarding. Stores energy by blocking projectiles and discharges it. Okay, cool. Use this for... Damage. I would, oh, what? Oh, hi, I guess. I was expecting a bit more in the way of. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, 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 eight, and. Can I. Dodge! Okay, alright. I did not want that to happen. Okay, what? What? No, 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 no! What? What in the goddamn. Okay. That was really stupid. Okay, alright. What if I just quit out here? Would it put me inside the arena or. Because this isn't technically a normal boss. There's a fog wall, but it's not a normal boss. You can very much see it just trapping me. So in order to sneak up on him, presumably I would need Gacha Eating. Or maybe you just can't do it and you have to try to... Let me see. So the fog wall's gone. That's good. So that is an option. Puts you near the entrance. Gets rid of the fog wall. Let's just use that and... Oh, okay. So, projected force only works on projectiles, it seems, which is sad, because it means I'm not going to be able to use it on him. Yeah, okay. It's still going to be a good idea to take him out, but even still. Zergachiin. Short but adept assassins. Hello, hello. Let's see if we can 
Sneak up around it. Oh no, you just can't get a stealth up at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and what else can we do? Jump and swing, swing and slam. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nice. Oh, but we use so many points. That's whatever. I okay. Dodge, 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 jump it. Okay. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong. Dodge, dodge. And, okay, cool. Slam it. Slam you down and just. All right, and heal. Okay, cool. One, two, and jump it. Slam down and get you. And we need one more. Nice. Take you out. Cool. Goodbye. Yellow gunpowder and another prayer bead. Twenty fifth. That wasn't so bad. Big thing is, and I guess it would be mandatory. Scrap magnetite. And then, can't open that because we don't have the key here that we would get from Kuro. Go below the floor for something. Oh! Dyed red Japanese Aurelia weaves. Aurelia. What does that remind me of? Oh, it's maple. It's, it's maple. It's a maple fan, like a tango. Large vortex of wind, prosthetic tool, spiriting only those it catches. You're an eight-handed fan, once a spine, twice will never return abducted. Head to Mount Kongo, Sembo Temple, report virtuous deeds, which is actually immortality-related experiments on children, so not not quite. More yellow gunpowder, fun. Got a good amount of that already, but haven't gotten any fulminated mercury yet. This is going to be the next place we go, then. And Oh, you gave me some money. Not a crazy amount. Okay, so... Fighting the three headlesses, actually, yeah, there are four headlesses I have access to right now. Might want to fight at least one of them. Either way, we can go to the temple and get our second to last prosthetic tool, which is nice. The divine abduction. We have the upgrade materials, and the large fan counts as an upgrade material for this purpose. Let's go over and take that out. Put that in. Something. Present the prosthetic. Fit new tool. And there we go. Divine Abduction. Rolling winds. Using it. Divine Abduction. Release around the enemy. Face the other direction. Whose side of you would be vulnerable to a death blow. And some enemies are simply insta-killed by it too. Oh, and we can get that now. Just scrap iron black gunpowder. Double. Twice in succession. Quite quickly. Taken again. There was no coming back. By an abduction, gathering maelstrom. Released twice. Interesting. That's okay. Now we can get Long Spark. Flash of gunpowder in all directions. We should get. Doesn't need magnetite, just needs yellow gunpowder. And sparking axe, we would need more adamantite scraps for that, but that would be fun. That takes. Cleave type would be good. Don't have the adamantite for. I mean. Magnetite for Spiral Spear. Yeah. Well, I guess if I'm grinding Divine Confetti, I'll probably get a few of those. And then Fulminated Mercury and Adamantite Scraps necessary for that, too. It's a fun idea, but not right now. Well, Gunpowder, Scrap Iron. Kind of list them in order to an extent. And, yep, these require all sorts. Grave Wax and... Wow. Hmm, so this takes the most, which is funny because it's actually kind of a bad upgrade and arguably worse than normal flame vent. Let's use one coin purse and then there are also a couple things I wanted to check. That being, there was a door in Ashina outskirts that I couldn't open and I'm wondering what I might be able to do for that. The cleave type to see. I want to try some of those. See how they work. Thank you. Try that spear. That was good on Snake Eyes. Very, very good. Rust and Cleave, but type is weirdly uncapitalized. Hold RT. Cool. Rush with the spear. Thank you. You can see the See the attached horn for armor stripping. Let's try the cleave type. Powerful cleaving attack. Disrupt strength and cleave. Oh, and this is also a lot cheaper than the axe, too. 
Well, the axe actually originally cost two, three spirit emblems, which is just crazy. Nothing could really justify that. So around here, that's the chained ogre should be where I... There was a door that I couldn't open, and I'm wondering if I was just bad with the grappling hooker. Well... Hmm... There is a hut over there. Which is interesting to me. Though among other things... It's a question of how I'm going to get there, if at all. And... One of those would be a grappable point, and if so... What did I miss over there when I went there originally? So, so if I could have gotten there before, I'm an idiot. Slam, slam, and you were strong. And do oh my goodness. Okay, whatever. One, two, cool. Okay. Hmm. Go down to this one over there. Can I? No, it doesn't seem like it. Feels as if. Something down there, though, and I... How would I get over there? Something occluded. That area over there, and this hut over here is also... Simply does not open. There was this door that did not open from one side over here. A hut over there, and... It's very funny, because this is literally the start of the game. Also, it's not morning anymore. It's noon now. Time has continued to pass. Once we beat Genichiro and then either monkeys or guardian ape, it should turn to nighttime. I believe. Evening. And nighttime comes a little after that. Because it's down here. Some stuff. Then you can see over there, there's... Oh, interesting. I... Huh. I will take note of that. Presumably there would be a way to just... We just have to absolutely send it with the jump. It's certainly possible. Because very clearly it's... There's a way to get up there. It would be through this. But... Maybe it comes from Sunken Valley. It's also a possibility. So can I... Oh, we were close. Interesting. Do I have to jump from somewhere else to get there, or...? But there is a gravel point. Hmm. I'm wondering what specifically this goes to, and I just can't reach that. Hmm. That ledge over there is... And there's a cave over there, which... Where would that come from? Maybe Sunken Valley, I presume? Maybe. I... There's that, so I could... Hmm. Anything down there? Or what? If I jump down here, would I find any kind of... Grapple? No. Nothing. Okay. So what in that case would be... That breaks down, and it actually makes me slip a little. What if I... Okay, it'd be really funny if you lingered there too long, you'd lose your footing and just fall. Wouldn't be fun, but it would be amusing to an extent. Stop hugging the wall. I think it's gotten sick of me. Okay. We're there, and... What about this side? Seems to be... Hmm. Maybe over there with the... It's getting quite confusing. Over that part, maybe? I... Seems a little suspicious. But, jump it. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. I didn't even jump. Okay. So if I jump over here, I can... Jump and... Can I... I can't reach that. Okay. Alright then. Give me a bit more over here, see if I can find. It's not the mob, but... So what in that case is here? Can't imagine it be an item I missed, but... 
There's nobody here. Oh, presumably it would be for... Austrian outskirts revisited. Which happens much, much later in the game. That it would be a path we can go to later, and that'll be a way we get to the end. But for now, the only thing that really comes to mind is... Getting a bit of divine confetti, and I guess maybe some scrap magnetite along the way from the Austrian fencers. Because that would allow me to, among other things, take out the various headlesses. At least ideally. Can't imagine it would be all that simple. Okay. Actually, the dilapidated temple would also have... Got that letter from Ishan talking about killing the rats over in the castle keep. So we can talk to her about it briefly. Oh well. Dono? Yoku maidaremashita. Let's talk. Cure was achieved. Alleviated this regret. Oh, but we can't talk to... Oh, well, I guess we would only get the dialogue from Emma if we'd never talked to Ishin before. We could just say if you haven't talked to Ishin, and I guess they mean ever. It's kind of crazy. So, Ashina Castle, Antichamber. This is where I need to go. That is more than fine. So, we'll pop our wealth balloons, I mean our possession balloons, and that should allow us to get the divine confetti we need and want. So, we don't have any right now, and if I don't have them for the Ooh, the fights, I'm gonna be in a bad state. But also, I... Let me actually check real briefly. What could I get using the Lilac Umbrella? I mean, how could I get the Lilac Umbrella? Because it's a really good anti-apparition upgrade for the Umbrella. What would I need for that specific upgrade? Oh my saw. Synthetic upgrade the prosthetic tool and okay, so the lilac umbrella actually right it requires malcontent, so it would require the finger whistle, which we literally do not have it yet. We would need to kill Ganesha first because it would require killing the guardian ape to get the whistle finger from its belly after killing it. Okay. Mm -mm. The scrap magnetite will come around. Frankly, maybe I should use the adamantite for... Not for the piercing sabimaru, but for the... Well, actually, the piercing sabimaru was very, very useful for Odin. So I don't know. Big thing is... That flame spear would be very, very useful for... Fighting. Well, any loaded spear would be good for... The guardian ape... So once it's headless, you can pull out the worm on its worm in its neck for extra damage, which is ridiculous as it sounds. We don't have the donation divine abduction yet, which we could use for faster farming. You can have a special version of the fan that literally makes enemies drop extra item instances when you hit them with it. But that's not something we have access to right now. Okay. Also, Virtue as a Deed from the Temple Retreat would give us more item drops, but we're focused on getting Mortal Draw because we need to avoid dying. Okay. Cool, cool. Then we can go over there and kill one of the Fencers. Fencer over there, and... So three so runs should be more than doable like this. And still get that one death blow, which is good. Come on, come on, and before you break these, let's refresh everybody. And we didn't, we got one Divine Confetti, and it seems that the weird looking fencer actually dropped them more aptly. It's curious. Big thing is, I'm not sure how I'm going to take Headless down. Divine Confetti is useful, so I'd probably just be spamming. Ah. Spamming sword attacks, but I guess the question is, would I be spamming weapon arts, or... So I could try using something like Floating Passage, so I don't yet have Ashina Cross. Oh goodness, you. Come on. Ruining everything. Okay. 
And do you see me? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. The one Divine Confetti we have right now should be more than enough for the Underwater Headless in the Ashina mode. Other than that, we should be okay. Don't presume that anything else will particularly be an issue. Thank you, thank you. Die. I'm begging you to die. Okay, thanks. That and a pellet. Not even a... Okay. Whatever, I guess. The only thing is how much we have to wait. Okay. Wait for you to turn around. We have to wait for the woman to come over so we don't get you at the wrong time. Annoying. Whatever. Thank you very much. And no divine confetti. Oh, we, a lump of fat wax from you? Oh, that's interesting. One, two, and just do dodge. And can we let's try that again? And we got a good amount of damage from the. Okay, cool. And dodge, dodge, dodge. And, oh, goodness. Okay. Slam, slam, and. Okay, nice. And dodge. And, Ichimonji, Ichimonji again, and can I- Okay, cool. Come on, just dodge, d gra jump it, jump, jump it. Can I- Ichimonji again, and die, die, and- Oh, goodness, that was bad. And our effect's gone, so... I guess we're just gonna go to the moat. That's fine. So in the moat is going to be... The Underwater Headless. Which, we can't use the Divine Confetti directly underwater, but... Can use it above water, outside the water. That should be... That was a funny jump. Wait, how would I get over there, then? There's the other part of the moat. That item. I don't see that quite. Huh. Oh, whatever. Find a way up there, and... Oh, interesting. Let's jump it. Can we... No, we can't. Never mind. Come on, just please. Headless is there, but doesn't see me. Oh, it's in the middle of the moat. Fun. And, uh, what? Huh? Okay. So we stay still, and so we cannot afford to take any kind of, wait, what? 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 what the, okay. Cool. Cool. Just get that, get that out of the way, and cool. I did not expect that in the slightest. You were more annoying than I ever expected you to be. Okay. So we gotta kill the carp from above, because as soon as we drop underwater, Headless will see us. And that's not good. Also, the purple gourd would be very, very useful, because it would help us reduce terror buildup, and also just... Okay, come on. Die, and... Come on, just... Next one is over here, and... Cool. Oh, goodness. I, okay. Thrust it. Die. Okay, cool. Nice. So, getting up top... How would I do that most properly? Go over here and... Maybe jump from... Around the ledge side? Huh. Jump it. Can we... We cannot do that. Annoying. Okay. So, there's an item there that... You know, I presume we want to get, but... Hmm. Oh, Mr. Monk. Whatever. I don't really mind at this point. So to get over via grappling would be... tough. Can I just get up here then? Do that, but... Can I ledge grind? I can ledge hang! Oh, that's fun. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. So what might be over here other than whatever that one item is? And that part that I can't actually get to. Nothing else. This is a way around to... Sort of plateau with all the monkeys. Leads to Sunken Valley eventually. So let's see. It's down here. Oh, or we could have... Gotten here from the other... No, that wall's too long. I mean, too high. This is just all we needed then. That's just scrap iron, whatever. Okay, cool. Cord and... This is our confetti. Alright, cool. And if we go down the water, we can... check out underwater headless. Oh, we need to use our... Oh, but we can't use the gourd underwater. No, we can use the model purple gourd and... Thanks, thanks. Okay, cool. 
And just dodge. Oh, wow, okay. Interesting. Alright, okay. Oh, and use that, so. One, two, three, and dodge, dodge, okay. Dodge, stab, 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 stab. And how did that miss entirely? Makes no sense. And one, two, three, four, and I. Am I not locked on at all? I guess not. Okay, and I could. Okay, nice, and. One, two, three, four, and dodge. Okay, nice. Whirlpool attack. That's wonky. And just the normal attacks you do could. We'll just take you out this way. They did not expect us to do what we did. One, two, three, and dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. What, 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 what? No. No, no, no. Okay, come on. Wow, alright. Oh. Huh. Okay. Cool. And that's gone. Our divine confetti effect is gone. Well, alright. We can sit you down normally, I guess. Cool. Thanks, thanks. Dodge, dodge. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I. That's gonna be a funny laser beam, and now we need to use our. To use our. Model purple gourd for that end. We'll end, alright then, so. One, two, three, and dodge, alright, and cool. Move in and take you out. One, two, three, four, and dodge, alright, and. Kubinashi, Kubinashi. Catalyst, and dodge, dodge, okay, cool. One, two, and death blow. That's our first headless kill. Kind of silly. Okay. Go by Ungo Spirit Bolt. Reduces vitality damage taken. Spirit arms used repeatedly. Lost his mind defense of the state. Muni met with a swift beheading. Lifeless body sunk to the bottom of the moat. Fun. Heavy coin purse. Heavy coin purse. And a heavy coin purse. I'm sensing a theme here. And there's something over that way. I know that some of the things in the moat are going to be Yashiriku. The crazy one. Other items in here, presumably, and also another, the sort of intro moat, so to speak. The earlier portion of underwater here. So this is Mibu Possession Balloon. That's not nothing, but it's not amazing. Okay. Let's see something. Right, aquatic life, life born of the water. So, in other words, my translation was accidentally something from the game straight up. Didn't even really think about that. Well, whatever. Okay. Hmm. Cool. So, going over to the other part of the Ashina moat should give me everything I need, then. Okay, cool. Session balloon, and what else? So, we're chilling, and floating wagon wheel. It's just, there were three other headlesses in this game. I'd like to try to beat them. We'll see if it works. For that, because there's one over in Ashina outskirts, there's one over in... Well, not Mibu proper, but the wooded village before Mibu. Not really a village, but the wooded area before Mibu, and then... one of that underwater cavern right before Sunken Valley, basically. Let's go right to the start of Ashina Castle. Yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of extra attack power. A lot of extra health. We have six prayer necklaces already and we haven't even beaten Kenichiro. Let's go down here then and so what happens if we dive in the moat? This is an item. Hello. Oh, a treasure carp scale just there at the bottom. Presumably indicating that there was one there that died, maybe? Possibly. Hmm. That up there is... This is nothing of note. But the other seems to be a passageway, which... Might indicate this is another route in. Which I presume might be useful in the case of... Other parts of the game. Once it gets invaded, it use this as a yep, exactly an alternate route in to get around back. 
go down a bit farther and see what's here. I think this might just be... It's just an alternate route to go through. We were able to access everything here before, I think. But, but, hmm. stealth is, of course, always cool. It is appreciated because of that alone. But, we will need to go back and farm a bit more divine confetti, which is unpleasant. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Go over here and travel to have only 15 more prayer beads in the entire game. Travel to the upper tower antechamber. And we need a decent amount more divine confetti. Because I need the ability to actually deal damage to the headless. Hmm. I could wait, I suppose, until I got Lilac Umbrella. But that will be some time. Like I said, the more I do while before Genichiro, the better. I want to see how strong I can get before that. The Headless guys are kind of irrelevant to that objective. Because their Spirit Falls are actually literally just strictly worse versions of the actual Buddhist candies. But, so interesting. A pellet. Thank you. Then we'll <coughs> go around and get the other guy. We run around all the way we can get there. A bit faster by way of actually approaching from behind. And we got Divine Confetti, which is good. Go back, repeat the farming run. Let's get five. I think I'll try an actual fight with the first Headless in Ashina Outskirts. Because the underwater headless are different. There are five headless in total. Two of which are underwater and therefore a bit easier. And three of which are above ground and therefore hard. Because the underwater ones, among other things, only have one death blow bar, which helps a lot. Only one death blow marker, which helps a lot. The other ones also just... Uh, the timing does not get much different this way, so I'll just kill again. Sorry. Sorry. You were simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. And no, it's okay. No, 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 no. Just dodge and we may as well kill you. You're in the right place to do that and dodge. And okay. Oh, goodness. No, never mind. I... I'm surprised that... They saw me. It must have been because the screen broke down. That's sad. Whatever. Let's get five. We'll be chilling. Honestly, I could just pop more balloons, but... The only other balloon I would have would be the wealth one, which I don't really have anything to spend money on right now. I can't buy adamantite scraps or anything like that, so I'm just kind of stuck. They would see me if I went around that way, so we gotta run. Take a bit more circuitous of a route. 102 for the next skill point. It's getting kind of onerous at this point. At this point. Unintended. And will you see me? Yeah, you'll see me. So, that's not doable again until we reset the area. Actually, if we have... If we have one... I might actually like to just go fight. It's over by Demon Bell, and... Bell Demon's Temple. Ashina Cross is a fun idea. So would... So would Floating Passage. Hmm. This will lead me to the Headless over there. So if I'm going to be using... Jorsash is a fun idea, but... Floating Passage overwhelms. Name is Tomoe. Dancing consecutive attacks. Big thing is that I do need Ashin to cross eventually, but... And that would actually be pretty good here, but... Not what I've really got access to right now. Okay, die. Thank you. Cool. Big damage. Then we need our Divine Confetti for this fight. 
flip on the wall, and the heddle should be right there. The unfortunate thing is that there's literally no way to... Literally no way to sneak up on it and get a stealth death blow. You know, they don't even have eyes, so... It's not like we can rely on them not being able to see us. It's not part of the equation at all. Okay. And this guy should be a bit easier than the others if... Well... Okay, cool. And you're right there, so what if we launch it? Wait, what? You're- What? Huh? Really? Really? That's nonsense. I- Okay. Just spin, spin. Thanks, talk you down. Right, right, terror. Forgot about that. Stupid. I knew I was forgetting something, and it was the gourd. Forgot- Stupid gourd. Damn. And then we can try this, I guess, but... What if we- Floating passage, and... Thank you, and... Alright, thanks. What if I... Hmm... Right over here is actually pretty good, but I... Hmm... That's tough, and... Oh my goodness, the grab attack is... That was vile. Okay, cool. Hmm... Let's just heal that up and... Try to stay out of the way of you, and... Grab attack is actually supposed to be pretty easy to dodge, but if you suck like me, well, I guess not. Escape route leads to Demon Bell. I guess we'll take the escape route. Hmm. So guess who needs more divine confetti just to survive? Me. When it seems that leaving... The buff might have just expired at a very coincidental time, but it feels like... Okay. So, the Hall of Illusion should be up there, though to be fair, shouldn't really be anything up there, really. That's where we got the esoteric text, but the Buddha statue in that hall over there will teleport us to the Hall of Illusion, which I guess isn't really actually in a place at all, but... Door that does not open, which presumably would open to us afterwards, but this is getting silly. The timings on the Headless' attacks are annoying, and... Having to manage terror build up constantly is also annoying. Alright. Five things are confetti and then I'll be good. Just gotta remember to actually use the model gourd instead of letting myself die to terror. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, the money divine abduction could be fun for farming. The thing about it, though, is that eventually you gain the ability to just buy divine confetti from merchants, from any merchant, actually. I'm called the Dragon's Tally Board that you get after killing the non illusory version of that corrupted monk we saw. Oh, nice. They're having mercy on me. Okay, cool. Go for the final fencer. It's probably something I should only do. The last out of the three runs. Then I'll just rule the area. Oh, that's really, really good. Because if any of the screen breaks, which the fencer will probably do trying to chase after me, I will get spotted on my way, and that will make things significantly less easy. Let's get our confetti back, and we might get scrap magnetite from somebody then. Maybe it's possible. Move quite slowly, frankly. Yeah, but we do have a quick route to Genichiro from the idol now. That we killed. That Ashino weed over there. Scrap iron, which we definitely don't need. Go over there and... Thanks. Go over this way and... Three should be fine. It's just... I want to have to spend as little, much, little time as possible farming, but... I think... One might be enough for the first Headless Fight. It probably wouldn't be, though. I definitely need at least two for every other Headless Fight. One for each phase, at the very least. Just, I had so many when I first fought that Shichiman Warrior. I just wasted them all because I was trying to wait for the anti-air death blow instead of actually fighting in any kind of normal way. Okay. So we could maybe get Spiral Spear from all this, but I'm going to hold my breath. We do have three of those now, which is good. Also, we're on our way to another skill point, which is also cool. Thank you, sorry. Pick that up, and there we go. We got another skill point, which means we're in a 
It's a position to Oh well for stuff. We got Nigro Slash, but it's not good. But I have more scrap iron, you've gotta be kidding me. I don't need that. I don't need that. And we can take down that fencer, and did we? Can we? More scrap magnetite and I Oh I forgot that was this is floating passage now, not Ichimoji Double. And one. Right, right. Two. Yeah, I. That's Ichimonji fodder. Well, I could have just switched it anytime I felt like. I just didn't really feel like it. Oh, Floating Passage doesn't even cost Spirit Emblems. I didn't notice. That's cool. Let's go back to. Simple. And do that. Big question is. What other combat art would it be good with? Honestly, I could just go for Ichimonji's. Hmm. Well, mmm. No, though. So the way you're really supposed to do it is use health damage to take him out that way. Oh, what? I did not intend to use Splitting Passage there. It's fine, but. Get good old Ichimonji back. I don't want to confuse myself. Yeah, but the big thing is, kill Headless is by getting their health damage down, not their posture. You do have a posture bar, but maybe when I got him to half, but it's just... You can deal health damage incredibly effectively to them if you use Divine Confetti, which is really the only way to fight them. There's really no reason not to. Okay, cool. And you're right there, and just dodge, slash, slash, dodge, okay. And thanks. Okay, now you're right there, and okay, cool. Nice, and can I dodge? Thanks. Oh my goodness, your timing is crazy. Okay, cool. One, two, and you're gonna get rid of one of your effects, which is good. If we hit you enough with Divine Confetti, so thanks, thanks, all right, cool. And we can take you down. Cool, and- Oh, nice! So that stunned you as well, which is good. Duh, ooh, what? Huh? Really? I wasn't paying attention to managing my terror bar. Well, whatever, okay. Just out of the way, then. Dodge. One, dodge. Ooh, and I- Ooh, my goodness, that, that was really bad. Okay, let's use that gourd. Thanks, and just out of the way, then, and- Hello, then, hi. Hit and... Do okay. Thanks and... Oh, goodness. I, okay. Thanks and... Okay, all right. We need to use that gourd again. Little purple gourd and... Cool and... One, two, and... Two, oh, my goodness. All right. Huh. Bad, bad, bad stuff. Let's use that divine confetti straight from the inventory. Uh, these are hard fights. I... Even this one is really, really tough. And cool. Nice, we got our first death blow off, which is good. So let's simply... Charge and... Oh my goodness, and what can I... Mm, I should use another... Model Purple Gourd. Okay, cool. Or not, or not. And I can't do any spinning or anything. I mean... As long as the spin's going, so I- No, 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 Right, right, as long as you have that, you can't do anything. Right, right. You have to dispel its effect to... Dodge! Okay, cool. And thanks, all right, kinda, and... Thanks, stay out of the way, and take you out. Thanks, cool, cool, cool. Dodge, deflect, and take that out of the way, and... Get, dispel your effect, and... Where's your terror now? Where's your terror now, and dodge, dodge, okay, cool. Now we need to... Use our purple gourd and cool. Nice. Okay, alright. Dodge, dodge. Timing of all your attacks is so ridiculous. Well, now you're dead. Now you're dead and die, die. So we finally killed that Headless. Cool. Alright. Alco's Spirit Fall. Ruined form of corrupted heroes who once fought for their country seize the power of an inhuman spirit by laying it to rest, risk going quite bad unless something is offered in return. Yeah, spirit emblems. Okay, so that's two out of four of the Heddles is down, but we're going to need more Divine Confetti for the others. I, that said, I'm not really sure that fighting the 
one in sunken valley is so good of an idea because it's far away and the Mibu one is not that far away from its sculptor's idol but it's also just really really hard okay so it's in Mibu as opposed to oh this is you know this is where this is how you get there okay cool I did not see that I was too concerned with Running past that headless the time before. Ah, uh, okay, cool. So I want to see what's behind here then. So what is actually in this area that I could have gone to and then just didn't? It's a way back for sure, but- oh, Gecko! Alright. I guess if you wanted to be funny, you could use this as a way to get to the Chained Ogre if it was too hard for you before. I guess. Okay. Gotcha in sugar. And then, you know, I can't imagine that there'd be anything all that impressive in here, because could have gone here before, I just did not see the way in. In my infinite wisdom. And in here is antidote powder, and divine grass. So that was it, that was always it. Okay. Cool then, okay. Hmm. Last coming to idol. I think there might have been another way through another door that I missed earlier, but I'm not entirely sure. Maybe. Mm. Alright. I feel like we might be able to get another upgrade at the temple. But I do definitely need more Devon Confetti. As of now, I have one. That is, I did not mean to use that thing. Yeah, now I really need more. Okay. Got our cool sword, though. So, we can... You know, nothing new. We don't have access to any of that yet, but... Can get our spiral spear. We have just enough. What else might we want, though? Eh, no, not that yet. Fire Spirit would be really, really good. Eh. Delays, blinded, more posture damage. Lock is cool, and we have the materials, but we don't have all content yet. Don't have the mercury for that. I mean, the adamantite for that. The mercury or adamantite for that. Hmm. We do have most of the available upgrades, at least. Spiral Spirit, even through Guard, Quickscrew Rush. Okay. Should deal more damage, presumably. Got our Spiral Spear. Shelter any time. Instead of Cleave Tap, we have Spiral Spear, which is not weirdly uncapitalized. So let's... And... Oh, and it's got that Spiral Effect. That's fun. The others presumably would not. They were just normal Spears. And... Cool. That does seem to have a bit, maybe a bit more of a visual effect on the thrust. No, nothing all that new. Alright, just a normal spear, and we did it. Yeah, that's the same between all three, but spiral spear is going to be different. Gouges and rends. That was nice. So the big rush is going to be... Uh-huh, okay, cool. That should be useful on the ape eventually. Now we just need, we need more Devon Confetti. There's no way around that. So, it lasts for a minute, and within a minute, any given headless. It will either be enough for a health bar, or enough to just kill me outright. So I'm not exactly worried. The thing is, I should take that off. To avoid the potential of accidentally using them when I don't want to. Or shouldn't. Alright then, and Blood Smoke might honestly be good here. Big thing though is just eventually I will be able to buy Devon Confetti. To run. Oh! Basically, Devon Confetti. And we can't even put it on there because we have none left. It. Increases your damage severely against apparition-type enemies, which were 
Orin, the woman from before who we use, the poison dagger on. It allows the headlesses that we've seen before and the Shichimen warrior from that one time last time. There are two more Shichimen warriors and three more headless is. And it severely increases the damage we deal with them. Additionally, beyond just increasing the damage we deal, there's an initial damage reduction if we don't have it. So it applies basically doubly, more damage at base, even on enemies that aren't apparitions. So sometimes you can just use that as a damage buff, but frankly it's expensive, especially during a first playthrough file. And it also allows you to ignore the damage reduction of apparition-type enemies. Apparitions also generally tend to have a sort of magical battle aura that increases their fighting capacity. For example, the Shishun Warrior... If I recall correctly, and I'm not sure if I remember this entirely correctly, when he would do his big, sort of big projectile attack, he would have an aura up, and the Hadalus just slows you down completely when you're, it's, when you're in its vicinity when that aura is up. So the big deal with that is that if you hit them enough times in decent succession while Divine Confetti is up, it will at least temporarily dispel their aura and allow you to fight a bit more unimpeded, and it's especially important for the Headless because the Headless just prevent you from dodging or dashing. And you can block, but the Headless also very specifically have very awkward, awkward deflection timings. As you can probably see, they attack very slowly and idiosyncratically, which means that the Warriors? No, no. Those were just gun people. The Shichimen warrior was the guy with a big purple aura, a mask, and a spear from yesterday who I fought in the abandoned dungeon. He was going the way to Ashina Depths. For whatever reason, nobody is dropping anything. This is weird. Oh, come on. I, can I? Yes, and I can still get that death blow. Good stuff, but I don't get any items. Yeah, yeah. It was an interesting fight, and... I wasted a lot of Divine Confetti because if and only if you have Divine Confetti up, you can get a special, what's known as an anti-air death blow, where if an en certain enemy is well in the air, and it's enemies that jump around a lot won't be vulnerable, because I guess in order they're just used to jumping around and don't expose themselves to a death blow while they're jumping, but also just for balance reasons. But certain enemies have certain unique jumping attacks, so that if you jump up and get in the air too, a death blow marker will appear and you can just kill them instantly if you have the entire death blow skill, which I bought from a merchant in Ashina Castle around here a little bit before. So, hopefully, I'll be able to get some of those off, but okay, that's gone and it's just scrap iron. No divine confetti, that's ridiculous. Huh? Well, the big thing is we got our balloons, we'll be chilling. And a pellet. Yeah. So there are two more headlesses that I can access right now. And both of them are grounded, which and those are the harder ones. The ones that I haven't accessed yet are the There's one in the Fountainhead area, the Fountainhead Palace, which in the original Japanese is actually the Minamoto Palace, which is to refer to an old Japanese sort of sub-noble, sub-royal noble family. And they all dress like even older Japanese people, in the sense that this takes place during the Sengoku period, and people dress like the Sengoku period. But in the Fountainhead Palace, which you only access if you're down the path of one of the better endings of the game, so just not the bad ending, the people there dress like they're from the Heian period, which is much, much earlier. Which I believe was also before the establishment of shogunates in Japan, too. I believe that Heian was before Kamakura, which also means that it's also before the idea of Samurai as well. Because... The game Ghost of Tsushima, which you may have heard of, takes place during the Kamakura period, which is when the idea of a shogunate is in a military ruler of Japan, beyond just this quasi-religious and royal emperor, to start taking shape. And really, we're just not getting any divine confetti. What's up with this? But, essentially, the game has to do with basically, to the extent that's accurate, which is not, it's not entirely, I would say. I mean, based on what I've read and heard, I do need to play it myself. I might have complicated feelings on it based on what I've heard, but, you know, partially, it's not something I know for sure, and also just, 
it's still a good game that I like to play. It got very good reviews, but it came out around the same time as Sekiro and another game called Neo, which was also, it was actually a bit more of a standard Souls-like than Sekiro, actually. It also took place during, I think, around Sengoku Japan, so it was a very direct comparison there. But the big thing is that Neo was made by Team Ninja, who made, among other things, the newer Ninja Gaiden games, and Sekiro, of course, was made by FromSoft. But Ghost of Tsushima was made by Sucker Punch, who is a Western studio. And I think, based on what I've read, the big thing that really stuck out to me when I heard it described in, was that there is a haiku feature that they shield, basically, is reflecting real Japanese poetry. But it doesn't, and I don't mean it just in a sense of, you know, it's not Japanese poetry if it's not Japanese, it's in a sense of the spirit and the style of haiku can be translated in, into English, but the feature which was supposed to let you basically compose haiku in-game just didn't. Because they were all very sort of philosophical and ponderous observations when, generally speaking, haiku, to the extent that they can be philosophical, are almost entirely a metaphor and really have to do with natural imagery more than anything else. So it simply did not really... It did not understand. It did not understand itself in its own context. Which... The combat is still generally quite good. And it apparently still does a good job of portraying a lot of historical aspects that takes place during the... Mongol invasion of Japan, and you basically play as one of the first sort of proto-samurai fighting off the Mongols. But it also tends to deal very uncritically with an idea of quote-unquote samurai honor, which, without any kind of interrogation of the concept or complication, which, you know, I think it's kind of similar to how there are a lot of Western people, myself included, Frank, who like a lot of series like Berserk or like Zelda that use a very Western aesthetic, but are still not really Western philosophically. Basically use Western imagery to represent a Japanese cultural reality. Unlike Sekiro and Neo, and Sekiro is a lot more serious. Neo is a sillier game, for better or for worse, but Ghost of Tsushima tries to be serious, but it's not sort of evaluating and sometimes frankly criticizing J Japanese culture from a Japanese perspective, but just basically being, we are Americans and this is what we think Japan is like. And that's not something that's bad, and it's not something that people should be forbidden from doing. It's still, by all means and accounts, supposed to be a very, very good game. But it gives you very, very different information and a very, very different kind of perspective, I would say. That said, like I said, I'm still almost definitely going to play it. It is on PC now. Sony has gotten a lot better about porting games they made to PC, and interestingly enough, the people who made Neo went on to make what was at least an attempt at making a sort of more serious, maybe I get, I feel like Souls-like is a bit overused as a term, but a bit more serious of a sort of Japanese historical action RPG in the form of Rise of the Ronin, which, unlike Neo, which takes place sort of around during the Sengoku period. Rise of the Ronin takes place during the Bakumatsu period, which was basically... It was the end of the Bakufu, or military government of Japan. Sort of right before the Meiji Restoration, when Japan got both its emperor back and democracy. And, you know, sort of... When Japan really, really, really started getting influenced by we the West, its technology and its culture, and just... It's interesting. And also, it is just supposed to be a very interesting game, too, so... Cool, and just... Thank you, thank you, and Can we... Slammed... Oh, no, no, Ichimonji, no Ichimonji. I... Oh, but the feature's already gone, so... It's not that much of a point to this, and... Thank you, cool. How much divine confetti do we have? Now we have... Let's see, we have... Two divine confetti, which... Should, in theory, be enough for... Sunken Valley Headless, I... I'm not gonna risk it. I need at least three for the fight. Okay. Let's go over and use another balloon. You know, and this does make me feel like kind of a lunatic, because 
If I just went and fought Gunichiro, I could get to Fountain Head Palace very quickly. Relatively quickly. Kill Trumunk, though to be fair, Trumunk would also take extra damage from Divine Confetti. So I'd only have to grind for that, but it's just... The more I fight before Genichiro, I've done almost everything you can do at all before Genichiro other than killing those two remaining pebbles in the world. Because I've gone to the end of the Corrupted Monk's Cave, I can't go inside the Priest's House because that would go to Fountainhead, presumably. And you can't go to Fountainhead unless you progress towards the other endings, and... Yeah. And Death Blow on you! Through your Mikiri, and... Oh goodness, whatever. Go back, we rest again, and... Kill these gods another time, and if we, have, if we have three, we should be good. The real question is... Do I have enough strength and enough sauce, so to speak, to beat Mibu Village Headless at all, no matter how many Divine Confetti I have? It's going to be stronger than the others, both in terms of health and damage output, and I should be using an Akko Sugar, that's right. I forgot to use an Akko Sugar on the other Headless, and that would be very, very useful for me. Just increase my damage, damage and health. If I want to be really fun, I could try using a Yashaviku, but the Headless are strong enough that... Having my health half by having a Yashiriku Sugar Act, it would probably be unwise. And can I- Oh my goodness, I messed that up. I messed it up badly. They saw me, I'm- I'm an imbecile. Honestly, I just- I probably wasn't going past fast enough. Sneaking past instead of just trying to run past is probably actually the exact opposite of what I want to do there. Okay. Because so I don't think they broke any of the rice paper mats. Any of the rice walls, but- yeah, they didn't break anymore. Okay, we got another Divine Confetti for three, which means... Should be in a... No, we have, right, we have four now. Okay, cool. And... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Cool, and... Dodge. Oh, please. Let's kill one more of you, and... Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, and... Oh, goodness. Dodge. No, one more Ichimonji. This should do it. And... Kill. Hopefully get something. Oh, you don't see me yet. That's cool. And just scrap iron, and then we can kill one guy, and the buff should be up by then. It's actually a relatively quick fight. The fact that we deal more posture damage is also helpful. With... So we're doing about... We're doing 75% damage than we would at base. Because of the memories we've gone from Lady Butterfly, Yogo Oniwa, and... Corrupted Monk, Illusory Version. So, we should go back to Sunken Valley. The, Really annoying thing is that it takes so, so long to get over to the Headless. So they're all the gun guys, but that isn't really the problem. Pursuit of Virtue, Fist and Discipline, defeating Buddha's enemies. Well, the only Buddha enemy we saw here was the Miss Noble from before, and frankly, I think anything would be overkill for the Miss Noble. And before you shoot me, we'll do that, and... Oh, what? No, no, no. Never mind, and just- oh, please, uh, okay. Slam down and take you out, and oh, that was a bad start to this. I- I'm gonna have to go back, because I- Starting out with any bit of missing health is- I don't need to do that. I can just keep on going this way. The big thing, though, is that all the headless is- You can stun them up to three times with an item called the Malcontent which is an upgrade to the Finger Whistle, which is the only prosthetic tool we don't have right now. And that makes the fight significantly easier, but I don't have access to that yet. And to be fair, it probably would be a good idea to, again, like I said, come back, find the Headlesses later after getting Finger Whistle the Malcontent upgrade, which is the one that also allows us to get the Umbrella that lets you block terror-type attacks from apparitions. But like I said, it's just... The more I do before Genichiro, the better I'll feel about myself. It's more interesting that way. And yeah, this is one of the sort of other signs of the snake chasm. The giant snake was before, and just out of the way, and to we dodge? Okay, nice. So you don't track as well as the snake eyes, which makes sense. You are just standard enemies, so we need our anti-terror gourd. We need our... Divine Confetti, and we need our Akko Sugar. And that should allow us to kind of burst down the headless before more garbage happens. 
maybe, if I'm lucky. But just in general, I need a lot of... What? What can I... Oh? What? Why am I not able to... Okay, that worked. That was weird. Okay, so we gotta see when he'll see us. He can't sneak up on you. We know that for sure. So let's just use this gourd and then use Divine Confetti. Keep these all in the inventory so we don't have to worry about switching on the hotbar. That would probably be wise. And Divine Confetti. And then Akko Sugar. We'll have a lot of power and a lot of bit more resistance for this. So we'll move on into this headless and take you out. Slam and wait, that did not work at all. Never mind. One, two, and ooh, okay, all right, and thanks. One and dodge, okay. One, two, dodge. Ooh, all right, and this should be do okay, all right, and really, really okay. Well, the damage on that was good, but I one, two, and dodge. Okay, cool, and oh my goodness, and of course I died. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah. Okay. I, uh, really need to keep in mind the terror stuff. That was really bothersome. I, I'm gonna have to leave and come back. Very least, I've got a lot of remaining divine confetti and sugars, and if we hadn't died of the terror there, we would have been fine. Hmm. <laughs> the timing on its attacks are so... Yep, and every time that happens, we have to start back over here. If this fight doesn't work, I think I will just go get Genichi at all because I'm not getting meaningful more strength from this. That's a thing. And just swing, swing. Thank you. Because the Spirit Falls are, like I said, just shortly worse versions of the Sugars. That they don't last as long. Well, actually, they do last as long, but their effects are usually diminished, and as opposed to being free, they cost Spirit Emblems. That said, can use them infinitely as long as you have spirit emblems, whereas for the candies are limited to three. Until you rest it in idle again or respawn or whatever, and But no fight really lasts long enough with enough sugars. Except for maybe some of the ex some of the true final bosses or extra bosses. To really necessitate or justify that. If we keep track of our terror, we should be fine here. But it does mean having to go away, and that is aggravating. Come over to here, we should be good. Headless won't see us until we get a little bit closer, so the closer we get beforehand, the, the better we can max out everything we have. Let's use our model purple gourd. We also have the pacifying agent, which I think is actually a bit more effective. We do also have, <coughs> oh, excuse me, so many of these that I really shouldn't try to be <coughs> sparing with them, frankly. There's no reason to. And just <coughs> run in Akko's candy. To find a way to... Akko's sugar, I mean. So, just out of the way. And can we... One, two, three. Dodge. Okay. Cool. And, alright. Take that out. And dodge. Do Ooh, alright. And, cool. Alright, we need to... Out of the way of that. And, cool. Can I... Pacifying agent. Pacifying agent. This is tough. Certainly tough. And move in and. Thanks. Ooh, alright. Can I move in and take you out? Ooh, alright. And my healing board is right over there. And cool. Oh, what? And we can't even go anywhere because of stupid. What in the goddamn? I can't do this here. This is not within my current capabilities. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and it's just, without Malcontent, they really, really suck. There's no reason for me to fight them right now. Hmm. Alright then. I think in that case, we can just go back to the castle. Get the dojo, go straight to Genichiro. And this should be fine. We have 25 prayer beads. We are in more than good of a position. None of the prosthetic tools. Actually, maybe I could draw the flame vent on him, depending on how much I can get his posture down. It's going to be the major question. 
Cool. Maybe if I want to be really funny, what I can do is <clears throat> get a death blow on a couple of enemies after using a Tonto. Get that health back by death blowing them, and that could be funny. Okay, cool. Just for the sake of having as much many resources as possible during this fight. Slam it. Okay, nice. And oh my goodness. Cool. Slam it. Okay. Die. And we'll just run away from you. We don't need to deal with you. We just want to get more things through our flame vent. So using this on Genichiro should make him significantly more manageable for one. Because we aren't... Wait, what? This was... No, no, there's actually not another floor to that. Even if there are stairs, so... Here we are. We can actually fight Genichiro now. Great, after seeing him a bit earlier. Should be fine. Will the cutscene repeat? Yeah, well, okay. I guess we can watch this again. It's a big, asymmetrical Japanese Yumi bow. Well, Japanese bow or Japanese Yumi, because Yumi means bow. Hmm. In Japanese, she doesn't say miracle. That would be more like Kiseki. She says it's mysteri something mysterious. Hmm. It's time to take down Genichiro, then. Fushi no Chigiri. Undying Oath. Can do that. It is interesting how he maintains his respect for Genichiro even as he rejects him. Torimodosu? Alright, let's do this thing. Take my sword out and... Still is... The fact that Wolf, that Sekiro is based probably around 30. I, I still really, really do like that. Definitely on the older side as far as video game protagonists go. At the start of the game, he's even rusty too. And Genichiro is, you know, besides being bigger, he's most likely younger too. Never be mine. You know, it makes him an underdog by being older and a bit more beaten down. I do. Thanks. And oh my. Okay. Cool. We got Faceu again. And can we slam down? And okay, this is very good. Jump it. Thanks. Oh, that did not do what I thought it would. Well, you know, if you just do that, we'll just posture break you down. These Ichimonjis are better against you than I would have wanted, frankly. Oh, whatever. Ooh, alright, but we have a lot of damage. Oh, is that a Mikiri? That kick? That's the question. I'm not really doing a lot of sweeps. Flame that would be good against you, but you're blocking and not taking any. Thanks, and ooh, timing is tough. Wait, what? You have a Mikiri? That's interesting. Okay, cool. All right, all right. In that case, we will oil you up and cool. Flame vent and boom and oh, we're not, we're not. Thanks and boom. Great stuff. Cool. We can just focus on blocking you down slowly. Then this is not nearly as bad. Hmm. Let's get down to half health. We'll focus on more stuff. Oh wow. Okay, cool. Cool bow and all right and flame vent and. That did burn you. Okay, cool. The more we use our flame, the better. Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. And dodge. Okay, I did not mean to do it like that. But there we are, and that burned you down. Cool. Going gourd and just. Alright. Oh, that was strong. Can we slam it? Alright. They're just. Nice. Jump it. Okay, can we bring you down to the Ichimonji then? And. Thanks. Thanks. Ooh, alright. Ooh. Surprising that takes so much to counter. Well, you're not supposed to be... You're supposed to be doable here, but we're already... We're kind of cheesing here. Oh, but I... Right, right. 
That counterattack is... Grab is tough. Okay. Cool. Slam, slam, and down. And... Well, I mean, we can just keep hitting you. You're surprisingly methodical. And can we... Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Interesting attack. We will use some of this and dodge. Okay, cool. What if we slam and hit? Ooh, you can anti-air that. That's crazy. Slam, slam, and... Thanks. Jump. Okay, cool. Oh, no, right. That grab was... Counter a jump. I keep messing that up. Whatever. Cool. Oh, and you're using floating passage. That's funny. Well, whatever. I... Mm. One, two, three. Ah, oh, never mind. I... Okay. Let's... One. Jump away. And... Right, we, we keep falling for that. We need to jump away. Okay. Whatever. I... Okay. Thanks. And jump and take that out and we one, two, and first death wall. And second phase of the fight will be a bit different. I believe. Not finished yet. Become a shinobi and Oh no, that's basically three. Three death woes then. If we have to do it like that. Never mind. I may be in for it. Most likely. And can I you bow, we could punish that with a other stuff. And will this burn? That will successfully burn him. That's good. This is how we need to do this then. And actually, quite frankly, I I used up way too many too many healing gourds. But the flame vent strategy is definitely going to be crucial for this. Just. In terms of vitality damage, Ichimonji is not a vitality damage focused art, and it doesn't have any piercing ability. So just burning him down with Flame Vent is going to be my best option. It's a shame I couldn't get those Heddlesses, but doing that without malcontent is going to be hell. And I don't feel like that. I simply do not feel like that. So we need to, not like that, go back to the last commune to idle, and then we can... Nitro again, like I said before, what I want to do is actually use a ceremonial tanto and then death blow some nearby enemies just to get the health back for the fight. This will also mean, among other things, being able to get... Oh, we'll also have a lot more attack power, because we're going to get a lot of memories really, really fast after beating Genichiro. So we don't have that much oil, which means either I'd have to farm some oil, or it would suck, or... Another good way to get them. Okay, cool. Thank you there, and... Alright, and... Oh, I did not mean to get that. Whatever. Thank you. This should be more than doable, but I'm... Oh my... What? You're kidding. Come on, and... Slam, slam, and die. Maybe the old lady outside might be a good... No, no. We'll, we'll just go in with slightly reduced health. It's better than going in with significantly reduced health from the Tonto, but... Big thing is, we don't have all that much oil. But if I use it right, use it sparingly, don't need that many. This should be exactly as much as I need. Oh, I missed? What? You're kidding. Really? Okay, I didn't think that was a, an option. To miss with the oil. Whatever. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. I am having fun here. I suppose, but I... Um, you get that oil on you, and not burning anymore, but if I don't hit you close up, you won't actually get what I really want from Flame Vent, which is big point blank damage. Yep, the immediate damage is important too, not just the dodge, dodge, okay, cool. But also, I might want to save this for later on in the fight. Dodge, 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 okay. Jump, jump. Okay, cool. So now we can get emoji on you. You're actually not that bad to fight. Once we can keep hitting you, but the lack of uh, block pierce is really, really. I should have just dodged through that, right? Yeah, I should have. Really? Okay, cool. Because the vitality damage we're doing is just chip at best. But I. One. Okay. Dodge. Okay. Slam. Get our posture back and. 
one. Can I slam, slam on you, and one slam. Dodge it. Thank you, slam down. Oh, what? You're kidding. That was funky. Going toward it. Dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. And slam you down. Man, your posture's coming back at a weirdly, annoyingly high rate, and I slam it. Oh, my goodness. If I just used the Ichimonji immediately from where I was, I would have been fine. But I. <clears throat> dodge it. Come on, just. Oh, my. Okay. Just. Oh, you're kidding. Did I. Okay. Take that down. Go for the Ichimonji end. One, two, and slam you again. Fight pretty methodically, but I. Thanks. As long as I keep attacking relatively single mindedly and aggressively, I can. Right, I keep. Ah, oh, right. You have to dodge away from that attack instead of. But it's it's not a sweep and it's not a Mikuri thrust, so it's weird. It's really weird. I. Okay, cool. Just get you. You're not even reacting. One. Jump back and. Okay, cool. And. Grab, grab. Okay, cool. That thrust is annoying and I. Yeah, you're not doing much. I. If I'm gonna use Flame Vent, I should save it for the final phase, which is gonna be. More of a problem, but we did get that back, which is nice. Nice, cool. One. Dodged. Uh, okay, cool. And. Slam it. Ooh, alright. Thanks. One, two. Actually, spread that posture pretty well. And then we can keep advancing. And Okay, we weren't quite close enough, but. One. One. Okay. Oh, but I. Mm. We have. Tomoe is going to be tough, so I need to be prepared. Second half of the fight, so I... One, and one. Use this combat art. Take your posture down. And one. One, two. Two straight lines. One, two, I... Probably, honestly, could do with one use of oil here. I, okay, cool. Dodge. Okay. Uh... Let's go for something we could- oh my goodness, I was not intending that. Boom, boom, okay, nice. So that should take you down at least a little, but I can- okay. Slash, slash, one, while well, you're burning it- oh goodness, I- okay. Perfect deflection would have done that better, presumably. Just we make sure we can deal with the right attack and- okay, we can take you down. Posture is decaying a bit slower as a result of the damage we've dealt, so I guess we're just gonna keep on using this attack until. Oh, alright, cool. Oh, please, okay. Come on, just dodge and. Dodge and. Can I... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And. One, two. One, two, and. Dodge, okay. Slam that down and. Yo, okay, what? Okay, thanks. And, oh my goodness, I. Okay. Before we do anything else, we should. One. Jump in. Thanks. Slam that down and. Thank you. One, two. And jump, jump it. Ichimonji and. Yeah, you're not really resisting. Fine by me, but it's fine. Now, once you get to this point, you just kind of... It's kind of a sitting duck. Okay. And... One, two, and... One, two. And you got a counterattack. What? No, no, no. And... Come on, please. Like, all right. Annoying, annoying, annoying. And can I... Move in. Go for that. And... One, two, and... Dodge. Okay. And... Crush you with that. And... One more. Now that health back, we have one remaining gore. That's not good, because there is a phase three to this fight. A different lord. I just try to change your lord. Zaregoto? Zaregoto dato? Zaregoto dato? Heresy? Protecting Ashina, Ashino Mamoru. Tamenada. Shikare de Aru. Starting to do lightning. 
that black on his arms is the rejuvenating waters. Tomoe no kaminare o misetero. I will show you. Yeah, this, well. I will show you the lightning of Tomoe, which is a bit different, I suppose. Jump it! Okay. Thanks. Oh, but you didn't even hit us. Okay, whatever. So let's oil you up. And can I dodge? Oh, what? Oh, we, we could Mikuri that? I wasn't even trying to Mikuri it. Okay, let's... Let's flame vent this. Some lightning reversal will be pretty important, but I... Jump it! Okay, cool. Oh, we didn't even get hit by the lightning to reverse, though. That's whatever. I dodge it! Okay, cool. Nice, and flame vent. Nice, cool. That's another bit of oil, and cool. Do okay, alright. Dodge, dodge. Thanks, this is basically just for fun, and... Oh, wow, okay. Shock, damage in a stun, absorb it, deflect it back, charge in a lightning reversal. Oh, alright, cool. Strict by a lightning attack in midair, just dodge it. Thank you, and... Cool, boom, and boom, and... Oh my goodness, okay. Dodge, dodge, oh, what? Dodge, oh, what? Really? Really? We were doing so well, too. Shikarada. Kill you as many times as it takes. Alright, cool. Do oh, what? Now we're just dead. I didn't think that would be... Okay. Tracking on that is ridiculous. Give me Unseen Aid, please. Please. Oh, whatever. And... Oh... That really sucked. Okay. Well, third phase actually isn't all that bad. So we kind of fumbled at the end, and we used pretty much all of our oil, too. It's not good. Hmm, well. Use a couple flame vents on him anyway. And frankly, phase three is gonna go fast enough. We'll be fine. Presumably, and. Okay. Boom, and okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Cool. Boom, boom, and there we go. Nice. So we can... Mm, but the timing on that is not generous. Okay, cool. Slam, slam, and... Okay, you are just... It's slow enough that you can definitely just... Just dodge and... Hit around, and... Yeah, we can... Okay, well... If we don't see anything immediately, we can try something like that, but we, it has to be immediate. Dodge it. Move in. Slam, and... Thank you, Genichiro, and... One, two, and... Dodge it. Hit with another. Uchimonji double, and... One. Dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. And... Crush. You with the overhead, and... One. And... Oh, please. I, oh, what? No, no, no. Ah. Just an annoying attack to deal with, and oh, really, really, and come on, I, okay, cool, cool, and one, two, and mm. that's a punish, and we can just go anyway, and just one, dodge, it. okay, cool, should be good, and there we go, cool, that went well, we're learning this fight, thank you, Genichiro, oh, we just sort of quit after the first time around, as soon as we got that first kill, instead of trying to send it. It's just all the stuff we lost was hard to deal with. Boom, and... Oh, we need... We have one more thing of oil. Right, so... Boom, boom, and... Okay, nice. There's a trade, but... A worthwhile trade, and... Oh, come on. Poison on that is painful. Dodge, dodge, ah. Slam, and... Oh, goodness. And can I... Slam down, slam down, and just... I... Yeah, yeah, you weirdly don't counter as many things as I would expect, but... And slam. Just... Okay. Just waiting, trying to deflect it. Not really working, but I... Dodge it. Okay. Slam that down. We get that timing on, but I want to... Ah, really? Really? I... So that's something I need to deflect rather than try to do another way, and just... Okay, and that's a weird attack. That thrust is... wasn't a thrust, but that was actually a sweep. I dodged... okay, cool. So I need to just... oh, please, I... okay. You're not gonna get any health back now, which is good, but... One, two... Nanny... 
posture back now, which is good for me, but two and one, two and okay, one, two. Thank you. And we can just keep going, I suppose, or dodge out of the way that end. Dodge, okay, cool, and please slam, slam. It's the kind of thing we needed to flack, really. Thanks, and there we are. Power of Ichimonji double. Let's watch the funny light scene cutscene again. Watch the other one twice. Basically, I think what he said was more basically, I want you instead of you deserve better. In a very literal sense, but guess they figured it might sound a little weird. I don't know. They were cowards, frankly. Zarigoto. So the tone way he mentions is all she was the maker of that spark that floating passage technique I did try using a bit. The big thing is she's a reference to Tomoe Gozen, who's a famous legendary Japanese female samurai. I wonder if he summoned that lightning anyway. Well, whatever. Dodge. Cool. Just slam, slam, and jump. Ooh, alright. I cannot afford to do that. Dodge. Okay, cool. One, two, and. Come on, just jump. It. Okay. Sweep. What if I. Burn you? Okay, cool. That's good. Lightning will also deal very good vitality damage, so. Two and jump, jump it. Okay, nice. Oh, but I didn't. I'm supposed to jump instead of a. Can we? Uh, to jump for lightning reversal instead of a. And jump it. Oh, I thought that would have been a lightning instead of a. A lightning's got its own icon. That's right. So, the Kaminari Kanji. And nice. And there we are. Cool. Big damage on that lightning reversal, but the chip damage is a little troublesome. Okay. Oh, interesting. You're stronger. And dodge. Okay. Oh my goodness. You're punishing that. And oh, grab attack? Really? Really? Okay. Whatever. Alright. Come on. Just let's do this again. And okay, cool. And slam, slam, and what are you gonna do now? One, two, and let's go for the lightning attack, please. And what are you gonna do? Jump and. Thanks, lightning reversal on you while you're vulnerable and invincible. Just one, two, three, four, and can I slam again? And cool. Let's go with the lightning again. Thanks. Two, three, four, and dodge. Okay, cool. And charge that again. I want to get the. Really, really, you're. It's basically poise three, and. Alright. I. Uh, okay. I want to kill you with a lightning reversal. Dodge. Okay, cool. Go up. And. Cool. Three and. Just. Jump and. Cool. Slock and. There we go. Get shocked. There we have it. And another additional. Oh. Third. Oh no. Mmm. That's good. that's done. Beat him. Cool. Memory Genichiro co-dictates the wolf's for vengeance on Genichiro. On Ashina Genichiro. Backstep death bowl activated afterwards. Spirit emblems. Praying blood of a victim to smoke. Or take surprise. Get your stealth back. Shinobi kills a source of strength. And that could have been a level up. Performing a backstab after a backstab when the other icon appears. Spirit Elmas perform. Oh, hi. Okay. Entry oh, you just, as you weave, something else shows up. This would be Kudo's room in here, but we didn't go the right way, did we? Okay. Hmm. Hello, Emma. No harm. Exclamation mark, or... And is that Kuro? Now the rejuvenating waters. Ah, so the red eye type stuff, or the fountainhead is—is is he infested, or 
This land is my everything, yeah. For the sake I will. Oh, he's red eyed now! We'll stop the game. So, to kill the Undying, we need the Mortal Blade. So, actually, well, the other Red Eyes, we just had to kill them twice. It's a one time resurrection. We could just kill them again, but. Soreja. Goodbye, Genichiro. See you later, I guess. Huh. So, eventually, Ashina will be overrun with. Shinobi. More ninjas. Oh, and we got another one, which Emma's in here. What's a blood here? Classic. What if... Yeah, I definitely can't get to the top over there. Can't imagine there... Well, it's not even an ending. That's not the end of the game. He's the halfway point boss. It... Arguably, you can come here later, you come back here later to fight more bosses, and that allows you to do another end. I wasn't delaying him because this was going to end the game. I was delaying things because I just wanted to last, last as long as possible. Okay, so there are eight here. They can be, there can be more than seven. I was a little confused. Born a peasant, taken in by the Ashen after his mother's death. Exactly, Genichiro, illusory for son. Brink of defeat, took to heretical arts, mess with the lightning of Tomoe. Heresy may be the key to saving her. Okay. Got a bit more attack power. And also, do we have the... No, we don't have the gauntlet for Genichiro yet. Which means we can't unlock Sakura Dance. At least not right now, because there are boss bubble gauntlets that you can do, which will eventually unlock... Oh, so Kudo's here in... Wait, is this not the... Is this the dojo? This is not the dojo. Wait, so did I see... I guess I just didn't really see this. This should be Kuro's room. So eventually we'll have to do a bit of eavesdropping to unlock some more endings. We eventually also want to talk to Ishin. So the Mortal Blade, which is kind of like this game's Master Sword in the sense that it's a very deliberately supernatural weapon that can, among other things, kill the Undying. It's something we're gonna get. Hi. Oh, and another idol. Aruji, my lord. Umo, let us go. Leave Ashina. Okamiyo. Man to become undying, he wants to sever it. For you. Hi. Wish to save you, but drained other people, given another chance, but. Dayana, but. Shinato, you know what? Yodomi, Umo. Chikiryo. Dragon Rot, Immortal Earth, Rejuvenating Waters, Stagnation. It's a very Shinto idea. Essentially, stagnation bred by the dragon's heritage. Stagnant water is a symbol of disease and evil in Shinto. Achieve this aim of the impure of impurity. Help Kuro. Oh, obey the Iron Code, but that's not something we want to do right now. Break the Iron Code. Ah, so we'll break it later. Cannot. Divine heir. Oh, because it will require killing. Father entrusted. Time to come back to life from this. Two, three. Which cannot be counted. I'm that bad. It does not matter. Mamoru Sura Tamana. Seek of protection. Fushi. Ego Nishimbaritaka. Bind you to eternal on death. Yeah. So, so the Batazio Mortal Town? Kind of a grunt of agreement. Alright. So what else do we need to do? And oh, uh, what would Kuro... What would she say if we... See to Kuro, what would she have said beforehand? But less for than before. Hmm. Yeah, what would... What would she say? What dialogue did I just miss? One slot is available for selecting ninjutsu. You can put that there, not that I really need it. It's an interesting idea, but this is... I believe that's Fog... Kiri, presumably. Let me see. Emma Sekiro. Her dialogue would be... After... Doesn't say anything. 
just talks about the sake. She is actually a boss during the bad ending. And first encounter, Ashina Castle, after Genichiro. Right, right. Last, long last I managed to fill my master's orders, giving my thanks. Who do you serve, Ishin? Doctor in the service of Ishin, why did you help me? Note, Ishin does not desire to use the dragon's heritage. Try to help Koro escape. The message on the wall was your doing. Do as it concluded. And go see Koro. Okay, cool. So that means, among other things, I can go and get the Divine Blade now, once I've talked to Ishin. And there's just another idol over here for some reason. Just to get to Kuro a little faster, I suppose. I've heard tower Kuro's room, and yeah, there's important places. Oh, just to teleport right there. But it's, yeah, they have a upper tower Kuro's room. Castle tower lookout, just at the end of Genichiro, and then for Kuro. But it's just, they didn't really need two, did they? And some Mortal Tiles, good place to start. Look at this. Mortal Severance text, but in this form, several places are, places, pages are missing. Little Severance, Fountainhead Palace, we'll get Sanctuary. <clears throat> Tears of the Divine Dragon. Holy Dragon, the Divine Realm. How should I Dragon Tears to sever it? Shikashi? Senkyoto. Incense Burner over there is Person of Interest. Severance Text. Okay, so we have one ingredient already, the Shelter Stone. Got after the month, but we also need another thing from the Guardian Ape. It's gonna give us the key to Second Valley. This? Another divine air living here. That would be Takedo. Little Severance. Takedo. Reverend Sayamado Takedo, legendary prince of Japan. To him, where is he now? That a long time ago. Nakanade de Hisashi, that a long time ago. Turn to the Divine Realm, a room of the Fountainhead. See what's behind. Key to reaching the Divine Realm, my belief. The truth together. Interesting. How we begin our search? Tucker's books remain. See so collected, search for them. Now we'll get ingredients. Sever the ties, talk to Ishin. No one will be him, come with me. And where's he going? I know there was a... That over there is a shortcut back to the castle, I believe. So it's, I mean, back to the shrine, I think. And not within the citadel, recuperating in a watchtower. But the path is closed, hell is a little. Get in. Niger path. Shinobi won't be a problem for you. Smoke signals should be able to reach Ishin. Reach the roof. That must be somewhere different, or... Mm. Sever the ties, mock towers outside the keep, measure smoke signals, and trust the task to you. Well, it's interesting that since the Night Jaros, at least in theory, are supposed to serve Ishin and the Tango, the fact that they fight us, even though we're technically kind of allied with Ishin, is a little strange. And this is where. Where did we just go to? This is the. 100. Oh, there's a... Oh, shit, no, outskirts. I didn't even see that there was a... Huh? This must have literally just appeared, because I do not remember seeing this at all, ever. Okay. Alright. Separate watchtowers. Entry is not allowed. Well, I got Aruji. Our lord. Over here, then, and... Suddenly, divine heir. You saved him. And here with me, with my thanks. Shade lighter, and then need something. Hmm. I can carve what shows me have faces of wrath. Carve what I see. Then the shinobi can abandon the shinobi prosthetic. Another who wants her, I'm sure it is fate. Or she's a cup of tea or alcohol. Well, that'll be later. Okay. The time when you shelter anytime. So once we get. Shelter stone and special flower from use this to eavesdrop eventually. Do a bit of eavesdropping and get to an alternate Hirata estate where we can do a super boss fight, one of them. So let's go back, go on the roof, find Ishin. He'll tell us to go find the mortal blade. We can fight another boss, get even more attack power. And among other things, that would allow me to 
Oh, but actually, Mortal Draw wouldn't be amazing on the Headless, presumably. It wouldn't take into, the account, take into account the effect of Divine Confetti. But I do have a little bit more damage now as a result of this, so... Nightjar Ninja, so where is he then? Maybe over here, or... What watchtower? Oh, it's this one. Okay, cool. It's that easy. Alright, hello there, Ishan. And what can we get if we go down through here? This is... Oh, this is... Ah! Uh, it's from there, too. I don't need that. Oh, hello, hello. Peloton... Oh, my goodness. It's the big thing is... Like, the enemy's gonna come into a place where enemies can't go. And, alright. Cool, and slam. Hit, and... Very, very good. That absolutely obliterates them. Okay, and... Oh, never mind, and... Slam, slam, and good stuff. The attack power increases are very, very helpful. But he's over here above the night jars. That's fun. Hello, Ishin. Wish to ask. Party on friend socket given by Ishin. Bodied flavor, too drunk too quickly. Bewitch. And we almost snapped him out of it. Grandson, stopped at that for me. Follow the code my father taught me, the iron code, protect Kuro. Okiteka. To Fukuro no Segare, our son, boy found during the rebellion. Hirovareta, shovels by you here, Kokume Iro. Bonds that tie us is like the Ashin Rebellion where Ishin claimed the land. Sekiro. It is interesting that. The name Sekiro only comes from him. He's the only one who calls us that. The severance severed the ties of immortality. Fushitachi, how it can be done in the ties of immortality. Fushigiri, Undying Cutter. Kagi, ki, kira what you're after. Fushigiri, kill one who cannot die through normal means. Let's on Genichiro. Shinarumono, the undead. Fushitsuki, yeah, the insect infested. Or should be in simple, heart or head wouldn't die. The centipedes of immortality. Oh, the tango mask is right over there behind the screen. Quite fearful. Makoto de Areba. It's true. Monster such as that need the mortal, but oh, you can see how emaciated his chest is through his open kimono. Immortal baby thumb. Where he seeks seven times, you can't die through normal means. Skrnis, Simpoji, Simpotable, however, cannot be drawn. Yukenuto, undrawnable, kills whoever draws it. Hearsay, but with the power of resurrection, we'll be able to wield it. Exciting. It's your clothes, you have to go through the dungeon. Shut up away in the mountains, they are... Performing experiments on children to try to become immortal, as one does. No decent roads, but the dungeon. Simple. However, cannot be drawn. And that second one felt like a different person entirely. Okay, cool. Fuchitachi, cutting immortality. The battle, and in battle, plans are desires, shrink angles, negai, wishes. Hmm. Hesitation, you'll be swept away. Hesitation is defeat. Keep in mind. Hmm. This is the famous thing. Mayoeba Yaburiruzo. 
Oh, and there's another stool to lean on. Turn the times, okay. Another time then. Hesitation is defeat. So we'll see him again later. It's very interesting because he's kind of kind of like the game's Gwyn from Dark Souls in his own way. But not in an antagonistic kind of way. We do. There are ways in which we can fight him. Some of which are more pleasant than others. Big thing of sneezing. Oh? Where is Kuro? Oh, there's an item in here. Hi. Gun for Tron Key, made to be open, should any strangers, guns are feared. And so the Okami snap victims at great range. Hello. Death is awful. And return. Must tell you're back. Aitaka? I did. Mortal Boyd? Fushigiminada? Is the key. Kagi. So the order's a bit different, Fushigiri. Undying Cutter, yeah. Shinanimono Kiru. Slice, kill the Undying. Shikani? Undying Dragon's Heritage, to get rid of it. So that one is severely shortened. Aroma the Fountainhead. To the Vine Realm, relevant information. Flower. Sakura drop it right, another thing for resurrection. This is for you. Whatever. Moshia. Sakura Shizuka. Undying Poise is broken. Remains in place of the Oath. By Takedo, seems likely. So, so had Lady Butterfly get it to assist you. We'll give that, should be so kind, of course. Wakata. So we could also give that to the Divine Child of Resurrection, but. Now this is. Ruin, Dragon's Heritage. Sumete no Tomoni Ikiru, and Zanu Hyo. Yeah. Chodai Tashimas. Hmm. And now we've got a third node of resurrective power, which means. Yeah, open your eyes. Well, it would be good to open your eyes, basically. And boon by Takaru. Use it. Do well with it. Flower. This. Bring in flower note. Tomoe gathered the fragrance arrived at the palace of Tomoe. Deep rejuvenation in a deep pool. White and deeply fragrant flower. Takaru sama. Takaru, divine realm. Through Ashina, white lotus flower where it pulls deeply in the sunken valley. Place where in deep valley, yep. Yeah. Sunken Valley may be the place, should fall into there. Woods of the castle, White Serpent Shrine. Explore that place, no path, man can navigate it. Find that bloom, search the Sunken Valley, White Serpent, right, right, right. Stone, this is for you, and we have it already. Document written, Fun had aroma, I see. And stone in a sacred village. For the village, it would be... It would be Mibu, and we got that already. Ah, uh, and we got special dialogue because we already got it. Concern of the Fountainhead. Another Koishi. Scented stone, been enshrined. Now I guess we could get, as the book described, get the flower to if we'd gone straight for Guardian Ape. But we'd still have to go here to get the key. Some inscription. Scented bridal offering. Interesting. For the snake or that on Goshire? So is this a came door of solid rock? Was it headed? No way to know. Kurashiku? Can't leave the divine realm. Found head incense referring to Okay, cool. I've been counting on you. Oh. So we got that key and oh there's another way out. Not that most of these really make a difference. So we already went through the gun fort. We can just go there to get the Sunken Valley Palace passage pretty much immediately. And you, Ishin, thanked me. Defeating Genichi. Kitakoto. Rejuvenating sediment. Concentrated part of the water. Soft for yourself. Resilience in flesh. Standing fatal blows. Dogen researched to its uses, but stopped. And then the dungeon guys, like Dojun, went over, burned, and destroyed. Senior apprentices able to salvage some of it. Dojun. Crow's mm, thoughts. And sever the ties. After you've given me. 
farewell for good. Conjon, Sarah in the castle, speak to me whenever. Moved here as could give her gourd seats too. It's as if West Road, if only a little. See the wishes met. Hoshikachi. Okay, the desire. Thank you. And this is. Read, Wolf found something open the library. Meet me there. So that's just telling me to go there. Apparently, we have Sakura flowers. Sakura flowers. Hmm. Let's go over and. We can't do any gauntlets yet. Presumably, we do have to beat the game first. What's interesting is that the gauntlets put you at 14 attack power, which is as much as you would get from beating every boss in the game, actually, on the true ending path. Or the true ish ending path squirrel. So we could go to. We could go and fight the Guardian Ape in Sunken Valley right now, but we wouldn't be able to actually kill it for good. We would need to. We need to get the Mortal Blade first from Senpo, but we can just go here. So I believe actually there shouldn't be anyone left here. Hmm. I'm sure there was a guy right here who gave us sacred text about being infested and blessed by the worm. He's no longer here. Oh, and blood smoke is indicated under the sword, I suppose. Inspect this and it'll teleport us to the Hall of Illusion. Fight a boss, the folding screen monkeys, which actually... In Japanese, and we tap the bell. Mm. Namu. Japanese, their its name for the boss fight is basically seeing monkey, hearing monkey, speaking monkey, and then comma, and then nothing. It's a reference to the three wise monkeys of speak no evil, see no evil, do no evil. And oh, halls of illusion. But there's always there's a four who people forget about the do no evil monkey. And this is a puzzle boss. And you see the folding screen monkeys indicate... It's basically... Sanbiki? Three monkeys, yeah. There are three monkeys. Tetsuwa Kadaka, empty panel. But, because there's a fourth hidden one. <clears throat> there's a monkey that can see, a monkey that can hear, and a monkey that will run away. And or that will work the others. Track them down. So Paul Bell... Oh, we got that bell there. Five prong... Oh, I see three prongs used repeatedly. Monkeys and wolves return to their initial states. Caught in the folding screen, screen will not escape, whether it is rung or not. So the big thing is... So pretty much immediately... Can probably... Get the fourth one, which is invisible. It's the doing monkey. But the whole... Hear no evil, see no evil, do no evil thing is not immediately obvious for... Oh, we touched it. And... There's one gone. Oh, we could have gone... Oh, and... It's basically hiding. You see a bit of its health bar goes down with each one. So this is a puzzle where... It's a good thing we have stealth. There are all these trails. That's not good. Where are the monkeys? I said, I feel as if... Getting them with... Gouging top could be a good way. They're gonna summon things. Will this damage me? That won't damage me. Okay. But the big thing is that hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil is not as immediately known because it is a Buddhist concept to Americans or English speakers. So presumably they changed the name to folding screen monkeys so that people would be more, you know, knowledgeable about the whole folding screen thing. And oh, you have to actually. Oh goodness. Okay. Some of these apparitions. Oh, oh who's three monkeys? Alright, cool. So we have to sneak up on them somehow. Can't see all that well. Can't do much all that well, but... Hmm. Let's have to sneak up on you and... Oh, come on. Summoning an illusory monkey and going over that way. I. Alright, whatever. Slam. Slam. At least that just for damage. And then... What are they dropping? Oh, pellets. Oh, so you can keep on going. That's cool. I feel like a... Could I get an aerial death blow on you? Maybe, maybe. I can't even lock onto you. Oh, we'll see. 
feels if this is probably my best option, except for oh goodness, we gotta sneak up on you then. You aren't very good at hiding or seeing me. So you'll alert all the others after this. And I can't get blood smoke though. Yeah, the do no evil is the hardest one, frankly, because you have to know what's going on or sense that it's knocking away obstacles around you, but that should be fun. And then we'll get the mortal blade and we can... I think the last thing I do today might be killing Owl. We'll see. So there will be a boss fight after the whole mortal blade business. And hello, hello, oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, they inflict terror. That's interesting. Okay. Let's take this. Status build up and slam, slam, and where are the other two monkeys? The see no evil, hear no evil. Come on, and ah, oh, please hit. Thank you. Die. Get his health back from that, but go around and see where they are. So there's one that can hear very well, one that can see very well. We just sneak up on whichever one from behind. It's not looking really matter. And, want to be funny, we can ledge hang and find anything of note over here, or doesn't seem so. This is how we get over here, I suppose. Let's go over at the top of that passage. So there are two more monkeys we killed. Probably the two ones that are the most annoying in a certain sense. What happens if I ring that bell? It might lure some of the monkeys over. Deafening, ringer. Oh, it'll make the monkey unable to hear me. Make your ears ring. Oh well. And then that should deafen the hearing monkey for some time. Which. Hello then, hi. And we can get out of here and. Come on. Where did you go? Where did you go then? I don't see you. Went over there and... Is that that monkey over that way? Mm hmm Let's see. I think these candles behind it seems and... can track you... a little, very slightly, and... Hearing monkey or the seeing monkey or... See so you going over there, I should presumably use... The... Poor eyesight but good hearing. Presumably use the... Not mean to do that. Use the bell to deafen purple monkey and I think both of them are over there right now. That's funny. If I do that, I can hit you. Presumably and so one of the monkeys will Oh, never mind. Alright. What if I and oh, it's just a normal monk? Not just a normal monk enemy or can I talk to you? Oh, it's the Halls of Illusion, which to leave, yes. Depicted on the panels, Divine Child's voice will reach you. Purple, seeing monkey, oh, they tell me. Sahiba, Mirazaru. Very attentive, run immediately. Timid, though. Orange, speaking. Good eyesight or hearing. Plus, all of them other run, toying with humans. Green is hearing monkey. Attentive, hard to approach, timid. Okay. Do I wish to live? Mute in Nirvana, how it feels to me. On a mission. I think you're eventually in silence. Pray that you succeed. Hmm. So you're seeing over that way, and. Green was Kikozaru, hearing monkey, I believe. We deafen the monkey with what we have. Let's see, and. Of course you went. That's annoying. Uh, tracking down these monkeys is gonna be obnoxious. The From Software Puzzle Boss Encounter. And you're over there then, are you? Did that move you or what? Hmm. And then you're not here anymore. Oh, actually, you're where? Uh, let's go over that way and... Come on, just... We're there and... Can we kill... There we go, cool. Finally, we got one of you, Hearing Monkey. The only one left is going to be the Seeing Monkey, and I don't know where you are. Just have to get behind it. 
presumably, and... Okay, so a jumping death blow presumably would be the best way to get you. Actually, you're right there. Okay. Chase you down, we should be alright. But I... It seems to me like... The trails don't appear until you... Oh, goodness, not the terror. The trails don't appear until... You can... Oh, my... What? What? No, 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 no. Die, die. The trails don't appear if there are currently monkey apparitions. And... These... Not sure whether they're apparitions or illusions. I think like they might be illusions because they have the outline, but at the very same time, they also have the ability to inflict terror, which is generally an apparition trait. So all we need to do is get. I guess I may as well drink. Model Purple Gourd. Figure out where to get to. Mr. Monkey. Donde esta el? Where is he? Figure out where the seeing monkey is. That gourd there and... Oh wait, is... Oh, if you were this monkey, the seeing monkey here you can't see. But I'm can't be seen above his darkness, nothing can be seen. So if you were that monkey in there, chase the monkey in here. Same as with that bell, we can hopefully get it pinned down. And then, where is... what? Huh? Huh? I just don't know where it could be. Every time it disappears, we got another illusion, but... Don't know where the seeing monkey is. It's gotta be something about that darkness, but... I mean, we could just keep running from the monkey apparitions. No, eventually, their multiplication is going to get obnoxious. Even still, I... I don't know where, you, where it would be. It's not over there, obviously, but... This... This was a good place to where the hearing monkey... What? What? Okay. Fun. We don't need healing here. We just need to know where everything is. Oh, so the ones we get turn around in shame. Interesting. That's what indicates it. But we have... Huh. So, Mr. Mirozaru is... Oh, goodness. It does seem to me like we won't be able to see the seeing monkey at all until we get... Oh, come on. Okay. Come on, come on. And sl really, really? Okay, cool. Come on, just die, 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 die. Die, 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 die. Get that back. We recovered some posture, but the fear is what's really making me mad. Thanks, and another death. And if only we got some experience with this. Not that it really make a difference, but I just it would be all about luring it to the darkness. If I want to be silly. I could try using Mountain Echo to lure them or drive them crazy. It's an idea. I guess I can lock onto them. It should be an option, but until I know where the folding screen monkey is, I just it's nothing I can do if I don't know where where it is. And I can't see any of... I hear monkey screeching and... Okay, so it's basically meditating in there, but if I... Will it go out? Won't be able to see me, but it has poor eyesight. If I'm smart, I can probably manage a plunging death blow on it. Can I? Can I? Die, die! Oh my goodness, okay, cool. Come on. Gotta run, we gotta chase you until you give up the chase. And, cool, cool. Nice, nice, and... Oh, wait, what? Come on, just... And you've disappeared, haven't you? Or... Hmm, if we don't hit you soon enough, you just vanish. So the idea would, in theory, be to get you to move into... You're up there now, so... Cool, and just... Over there, and... Get inside that spot. Hmm... Get you into the darkness area. We can chase you out, but... Oh, and of course there's right. Whatever. Cool. And where is you? Thank you, and I don't have what I wanted. I slash it. Ugh. I can't slow them down. It's ridiculous. Okay, well, whatever. I just get you in here. Won't be able to see me, and 
How do I... Hmm, the darkness is... It's chasing this stupid monkey. Where do I... Yo. How do I get to it? It's clear you're over there. Can I... Hmm. Went over there. So to get you into the darkness would be... Come on. Ah. Uh, you jump so much and so easily. Maybe if I went around the back, because you don't have good eyesight. Darkness is a fun idea, but... This part is not dark. So if I... But you went somewhere else, clearly. So how do you tell so easily when to go where and how? I? Hmm. Do you? Oh, never... What? The stealth is... Ludicrous. How do I... Hmm. I think over here could be... Annoying. So you're gonna go down inside, but... How far are you gonna keep running? Really? Oh. Really? Just... Okay. Should probably head you off over here if we want to get you in the... Never mind. Oh, the fact that there are no grapple points on inside parts over there is so ridiculous. The only way we can do this is to get you... Find a way to push you into the dark part. Where... Oh, and the water here is deafening. No one can hear anything else in here. Okay. So then you went back over that way and... Where did you go now? Presumably, we see footsteps. Did you go up here? Did you go up here? I'm begging you, go up here. You did not go up here. It's all about figuring out how to get the monkeys in a place where their senses don't work right. But to do that is far easier said than done, and this is not an especially unique room. Come on. Me one folding screen monkey. And of course they're chasing me now. So how am I gonna get... This is not a dark enough room to prevent sight, but... It's one more stupid monkey. One more stupid freaking monkey. One they can see me. There's one dark room. One singular dark room. But... If we go up there, can we... Can I get you to a point where... So nothing can damage them other than the sword. We're over here now. I guess you've taken mercy on me. Okay, cool. And slash slash... No, no, no. You're kidding. You're kidding. Get in the darkness. Get in the darkness. I... Whatever. Okay. Then we'll chase you in. Chase you in and then we can go down here, I suppose, and try to get you into the dark part. If you're gonna run over here, we can... We can't catch you properly, but... You won't disappear, but you're basically stuck here. Okay, well, I... What? Huh? Really? Not just... Oh, if we open this, bare form in the wind goes out. Place becomes dark at night. Dark as night. Oh, we opened that. We opened that in. and Oh, uh, that's what we had to do. So there were two options. This just took... Monkeys are trying to get me, unfortunately. No way. Thanks. So we gotta find a way to chase the monkey in here. This is interesting, but complicated and frustrating. And get in here. Or, I guess... Oh, I guess you won't go in there anymore because it's too dark for you. Well, it's over now. Fine. It doesn't say kill the monkeys, it says caught the monkeys because we basically put them inside the folding screen. And there we are, we're spinning. That took longer than it should have, but it's done now. Okay. They were my friends just playing. They also saw the monkey goes to tell us. Oh, well, that you didn't. To guard me, but it was not meant to be. Close your eyes, and this place will be totally closed off. Inner sanctum. Hmm. Where would that be? So we can set Koro, the big guy, here if we feel like it. But it's not one of the better endings to his quest line, frankly. Eh, I don't know. It is kind of like enlightenment. And we've reached 
another part, Divine Child of Resurrection. Let's talk to us. Yes, certainly first got to Sempo. Okay. There we are. Screen monkeys, card of the Hall of Illusions, befriended the Divine Child of Resurrection, backstab death buff, let this realm to remain. Strings are destined to snap. Hmm. So that will be interesting. Use that for some stuff. Oh, we can actually go back to the halls. So that's accessible. But the idol is over here. Puppeteer ninjutsu is something we'll need to use to make the kite go. Let's enhance our attack power, and there we are. More power. Threshold betwixt life and death, departed souls of the divine children, different sway, shelter the monkeys of the temple. Rejuvenation speaks to them as friends. So they were the kids who died in the immortality experiments done by the monks. It's wild. So there's water over here. Don't think anywhere I can dive though. Let's see if there is any. If there are any items. Well, there's one over here. Let's grab that. Just pellets, whatever. Yeah, let's keep on going. You are. That goes back to the holes, but I can't presume there'd really be a big reason to. Nothing pressing I can think of. So it goes up over here. Does this return to that door from earlier? I think it does. Right, there we are, right to the main hall with the infested monks. So this is what we saw before. We were basically right on the other side of that until very recently. I feel like it would be good to check out the halls just to see what's there, but the damage increase we got should help us with the headless. So the mortal blade will be revealed to us soon. Oh well, she could also use the Sakura Dropper to give us more resurrective power. Not you. Not you, eh? Not out this guy. Mortal Blade. The blade that cannot be drawn. Yes. Mm, not one who has drawn it to survive, but the power of resurrection will allow us to survive. Oh, yeah. Let's do this thing. Never mind. It's not weird you to rethink. Good to not do it. Stop, Kimball has many. Does it survive? Let's do this. Muko. Muko. I will draw it. So this guy, Wakarimasu. I see, understood. And it's inside this old wooden case. Kakori. Your preparation is finished. Gaze upon it. Hmm. Oh, oh. Time for an iconic moment. And. Mm hmm. It's red and black. Hurts a bit, but. Did kill us, but. Resurrection. They're not woke to die. They just thought they were better. Praying for us, but resurrective power is gonna come back. Oh? Someone surprised. Anato uh, wa? Itai? How are you here? Right, Curse of the Heritage. It's dragon rot on us. Hmm. I think she said right eye, though. It's an hour right eye. Except its power. Uh huh. There we go. Odachi, great katana, basically capable of slaying the undying. Sin Blade will take the life of any who dares draw it without the power of resurrection. One could not hope to wield this weapon, which allows one to defeat even infested beings. One concealed within Senpo Temple, Blade's inscribed this true name, gracious gift of tears. Uh huh. The serve of the Divine Air, yes. Seek the mortal blade. Find tears from the Divine Realm, sever the ties of immortality. Read right about this. Try to sever it. Which means, Divine Air begrudges the power of the dragon's heritage. Hmm. That's right. Strange fate can be. Hmm. Children of the rejuvenating waters. Stop at nothing to achieve immortality. False dragon blood. Rejuvenating waters. False dragon's blood. 
Many of you, only who survived, the others became the monkeys. Rasio Hokanamina, everyone else. Soka. I don't know if it's right to suffer mortality, but it corrupts the lives of men. I'm sure, there is feelings about that truth. Shinobi, decide to assist you. Your hand and bountiful harvest. Oh, rice. Okay, so spilled from the palm, which recovers vitality. The falsehood, the power of the blood, brings a bountiful harvest. Precious grows richer with each bite, sure to raise one's spirits. Korewa. Komeko. Komeko. Precious. It's better the more you eat it, restores one's vigor. Restore apostrophe S. Welcome here. Oi, chapter infested. Give her that scripture, but also. Spoon's not ready for harvest. More it's complete, so we can only have one at once. So it's basically that special blood from Bloodborne. It's for you. Okay, Tore. So to give it to you by the monk before. Thank you, I will accept it. What's wrong? Still can help to test them. Mm. Plentiful weather your path may lead. So we can use that rice for some things. Big thing is now I have access to mortal draw. Noxious mist, seeping mist extends the range. Blade that cannot be drawn, oath bound of the divine air. Mortal draw. Cut through enemies, extended range, sword attack, spirit emblems to use. Use this in mid-air, it's even better. Let's try the Tonto. Let's test it out without using up spirit emblems. There we are. Uses a bit. One, two. It's a big ink-like slash effect. Very, very cool. Is that again? And if you use it in mid-air, though, it gains a bit more strength. The strength of an empowered mortal draw. And now that we have it, see it's on our back. And it's a good deal longer than the other sword we have. A decent deal about two versus about 50% longer, I would say. But the aerial mortal draw gets a significant amount of increased power for one. Now we have, let's see. I want to see if there's anything else in the Halls of Illusion. The only reason we can really go back is because of Kotaro's questline, but... Either way, we got our cool sword now. How exciting. But all the monkeys have been... chastened. This isn't really anywhere. We can leave the halls through there and... Oh, hello, hi. Well, if you return, no mission's complete unless you leave quietly. Oh, what's interesting is that... So the one resurrective power we know, know that we always have is a bit like a lotus, and the others, I think, might be cherry blossom leaves. All these rooms seem to have... Some of them seem to have a purpose, some of them don't. Okay. It was! It did help things that we got rid of. The doing monkey as early as possible. I don't think there's anything in here, and how far down does that tree go? Kind of disappears into the mist. So it appears there might be some illusory ground there, but I really don't know. Nothing really here, and there was the rushing water room, the bell, the deaf, and the dark room, and the other dark room. And then, of course, the other monkey that just made other monkeys run, but that's nothing all that special. There we are. So let's go back to there and. Among other things, I can start killing those worms, which would be nice. The worm infested guys. But. Oh, but we're our... I can use that puppeteer ninjutsu to make. Hmm. One of those ninjas, the Senpo ninjas, operate the kite for us to grapple on. There'd be no point in there yet, because we haven't seen the serpent again. There's no point until we see the serpent again, because it... Oh, right! Okay, I forgot about that. And the death will use the mortal blade. And... We got another, or... Hmm. Oh, I guess if we hit it with the mortal blade, we won't have to deal with... the normal attack, or maybe it just changes, and... 
You know, I should know that kanji. Looks kind of like demon. It definitely does not say... And, uh, ooh, does not say puppeteer, but I... How do I... Interesting. So how in that case... Do I use the death bone? And do I have to use more to draw? It's possible, I guess, but... Deplete their vitality using Mortal Draw, and then... Yeah, I could try that and see if it works. It's certainly an idea. Thanks, and... Oh, wow. Okay. Huh. This is funky for sure. Slash... Oh, what? What? Okay, cool. And... Slash, slash, and... Alright. Hmm. And... Slash, slash, and... Broke your vitality, but... Can we... Sl Ah, oh, really? I need the Tonto. So we can use the Mortal Blade and everything else we have now, which is good. We deplete your vitality using Mortal Draw, Will. Will that just permanently kill you? We're actually... Oh, we can do another Death Blow on its corpse using the Mortal Blade. So that's the difference made. Okay, cool. Right, we just have to Death Blow twice. Contact medicines there, we don't really need that. So Mortal Draw is good. The best way to use it right now is actually going to be... Thanks, and... Posture, and... Thanks. The fact that we can Posture Break the Worm is so funny. So a Death Bow there, and another Death Bow under the corpse. It's the Mortal Blade, and it doesn't cost any Spirit Elms, no use. Okay, cool. Climbing that wall, and... You know... I feel like killing all these infested guys. Is this not here before? Want gunpowder and just... Thanks, 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 and... Slam it. Okay, one, two, and another perilous attack. One, two, two, three, four, and slam that down and take you out, and then use another mortal blade death blow on your corpse. Boom, boom. Bye, giant centipede. And that contact medicine came too. Hmm. I don't think we'll get anything special for killing all the guys in here, but I feel like I'd like to do it anyway. Get a backstab death one, you and so they don't really fill up. That's interesting. Then we can get another death one there. Cool, cool. The crickets are oh, they're all aware of me now. That's not good. Said it's not as if this is all that complicated. And even though they have centipedes and then they spawn crickets. Funky how that works. And oh, well we... Okay, what? Now we can do that. Poison was weird. And we can just do that. Okay, so some of them have the centipedes, some of them have crickets. And of course the centipede ones are stronger. But either way, they die. And they do drop fat wax, that's nice. We can also get yellow gunpowder from the... Sunken Valley Gals, I believe, now... Okay, so going to... What do you think to really do right now? Actually, I might feel like going through a bit of the start of Senpo. Just because... There are a couple of guys with... One dying deal. Who would like to try a death blow and see if they have any one-time special rewards. So unique enemies or... Enemies who are sort of on their own like that. Distinct, oftentimes, of... Special aspects. Then, yeah, we gotta fly that kite over there eventually, but for now, we're not doing that. So, Black Hat Badger should be around here somewhere. Thanks, and oh, well, whatever. That works too. Don't wanna do that yet. Mm -hmm, but, the big thing is, is he around here? I don't see him around here specifically. He's supposed to be around where the. This guy is, because he looks similar to. Did not feel like that. Let's go up. Take a look around. Did want to test out my mortal blade on the other centipede guys too. So Kotaro, I think it was originally around here. Sent him away. Black hat should also be, well. Kuroboshi Mujina. That's what he was called in Japanese, which of course just translates directly to Black Hat Badger, but it's or closely enough. But that's neither here nor there. So we can take these guys out. This should be easy now. Okay. 
We might be dropping Fat Wax, which would be good for some upgrades. If we unequipped our Ninjutsu, I think those Death Blows would be go a bit faster, so I might like to do that. Thanks, and there we go. Yeah, there's no slowdown effect to ensure we have a window to use our Ninjutsu, so this is fine. Let's just kill these guys and kill the other undying guys. We will have to go back through here eventually in order to get some more stuff, but we're fine for now. Yep, see, Fat Wax. Good stuff. So let's hide behind here until turn around. I don't want to deal with any kind of... Well, well then. What can we get? We can get Spear Guy first of all, and that's who we want to kill. The others are a lot less threatening, so... Oh my goodness. Alright, and... We'll go Sugar, and two... Oh, well, alright, and... Ooh, alright, and... Oh, goodness me. Fighting two of you at once was not a good idea. Come on, just slam, slam, and the vitality's down. Nice. And we can just do that and... Come on. Get in close, or not. One, two, die. Thanks. Cool. Go over, hit a few more of you like this. Staff guy, the guy with the shock who is... It's the red sash ones are ones we really want to get, so cool. Cool. Change that down, stay out of the way, and how many of you are going to come over now? So the bare-handed monks are coming. Spear monk should not be, presumably. They didn't really see me, so... Hello, hello there, hi, and slam, slam, and... Oh, never mind. One, two, die. So the more the monks we kill, I guess, you know, the more fat wax we get. It's a good enough item that I feel like it. Be good to have for my prosthetic upgrades. So, go around. We take out Spear Guy. The rest should be fine. There's another infested guy in here. Over by the other part of the Temple Grounds, there's even more of that. Okay, cool. We'll be chilling. This is just enjoyable, frankly. Feels good to just beat them all up after. Well, they weren't all that much trouble last time either, but even still. Uh, free kills, free kills. And, oh, two lumps of fat wax. That's good. Because the grave wax, though, that won't show up until Ashina Castle gets overrun by Shinobi, I believe, which it is what it is. Well, I believe that will happen after we get the other ingredient, the flower. But there are other things I can do before that, so I think I'll be more or less chilling. Okay. Come on, come on. Die already. Kill these crickets. Coming out of that one infested guy. And you are coming through here. Let's hide. I want to get that stealth death blow off. How far are you gonna come? Where do you pace? Where do you stop pacing? Come on. Yeah, we got you. And you'll go back around and... Huh. How far do you go? Do you go up there or do you just turn around? I think you just turn around. Yeah, you just turn around, so. Oh, what? No, whatever. What in the. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Die. Slam, slam. Die. Tower troops should be coming soon, too, which is really, really bad. Come on, just die. Die, die, and. Can I. What? Really, really? What? Come on. And slam, slam. The weeping kicks are interesting too. That is a temple art I can eventually unlock, but I don't have it right now. And there's the taro. Thanks. Oh my goodness. Let's take that. Ooh, ooh. And just go over, slam overhead. Okay, cool. And one, zero, three, and thanks. All right, and just slam that down. Crush. Should be decent. And take you out, or maybe, maybe, maybe not. And slash, slash, and one, two, three, and kill the Taro troop. Good stuff. Cool. And we have a few more Soku. The Soku Shinbutsu guy were there, which Soku Shinbutsu is 
A very interesting Buddhist aesthetic practice where they normally starve themselves to death while alive so that they hopefully become a perfectly preserved mummy. So these guys are kind of Soko Shinbutsu asked. Okay. So. I think there are some theories that the guy from before, the guy who gave us the sacred tax, was also Soko Shinbutsu. We give her rice, actually. Two cons, one is fresh, other is dried, over there, fresh ones are there. Go find it, talk about something troubling, rice from you, that's the way, bless me with rice. Give rice, here's some rice. Find child's rice. Arigatai, arigatai, what do you see? Munch, mermaid and sleep, wish what you want, fly a kite. Wind the puppet, up at Junior Jutsu, fly a kite. Delicious. We want to fly a kite. She was talking about and then we use the grapple point. Okay, so she'll just stay sleeping over here, presumably. The other part should be down by Ashina. Hmm. We should get some more rice then. It's coming to idle. And there are other locations where the old hag is where we can. Big thing is that eventually. The more rice we get from her, that will unlock some parts of one of the endings. Dragon's Return, which is the... arguably the best one. Under some interpretations, the one where... we send everything back, and... oh, okay, we can get straight to the Inner Sanctum. So over by the bottomless pit, there should be... the old hag might still be there. Might tell me something. Mm hmm Hello. Time for rice. Thank you. Not yet ready for harvest. Harvest is complete, so... So we don't have the rice, though, right now. So what is... What gives? Oh, maybe it's because I haven't left Senpo at all. Stayed in Senpo. Mm -hmm. So there was one Sokushin Butsu guy over in... The area around Temple Grounds. The big sort of square open courtyard. And that would be notable. Okay, cool. Get over here. Get over here. Dog parry. Take you out, sorry. Another dog parry, cool. Alright. Hmm. So what all could I grab? That's the question. Oh, there, hello. Oh, interesting. Well, whatever. You're dead. Hi, and jump at me. Jump, and we get all that health back. How nice. Let's go over it and take these guys down. Someone's coming over already, and oh, that's not good. Well, whatever. Okay. Cool, cool. And one, two, die. These guys are simple enough, then. And one, two, three. Enough poise damage to get stuff done. Die. I don't even have to try to be interesting here. Just gotta kill him. Simple enough. So through here is the one, two, and so we actually managed to avoid that, which is surprising to me. One, two, three, four, and die. Cool. It's just with the increased strength we got from killing three more bosses, these guys are even more of a joke than they were before. It's not even a matter of one Ichimonji double does, it's a matter of you just spam normals at them and they die. That's fine. That's fine by me. Just gotta run away. Do you want to get these ninja? But we have to progress things decently. You have to actually... You can't just teleport. Well, that'd be fair. There's no teleport over to... Over to where you grapple with the kite, so it's not really a huge difference, but... Once you... Go over with... Fly the kite to grapple on it, you have to need to go... Somewhere a bit different. Hmm. You're over this way, and... Let's just backstab you. Thanks, thanks. And... Interesting, and... Some sand, some scrap iron. Let's kill this other assassin. And then the Soko Shinbutsu guy down there in the courtyard. Oh, hello there, hi. Slash, slash, and... One. And... You got a poison, or... Nice you are, but whatever, we don't care. We're gonna leave soon anyway. It was all those guys that- hello, hello. One- oh! Just one did it? It's ridiculous. Well, whatever. We don't really need much in the way of... 
healing right now. We're just gonna get some healing from backstabs. So mostly just kill these guys. Slam and die. Cool, die and... Oh, centipede! Centipede, that's great. If I'd really wanted to, I could have tried it. So those ones are weak. Hmm. I don't want to do this then. Slam, slam, and... Can we... Dodge and... Oh, no, that was a grab attack? Really, really, really? Whatever. Okay, cool. So the poison's gone, which is nice. How do we... Slam, slam. Does he have to break the posture? So, and dodge. Okay, cool. Slam down, and then we hit you again. Just one, two, and... Oh, goodness. I, okay. Slam, two, and... One death blow, and what will we get when we kill with a mortal blade? Probably nothing. Alright. We get the satisfaction of finding out for sure what happened, and the answer is nothing special. Okay. So in that case, I think the next thing to do is to go to Gunfort and kill Guardian Ape. I... Would probably actually like to check... Some other things too. Let's go to Dilapidated Temple, and presumably... This should... Allow me to... Eventually I have to start eavesdropping on Kuril. I think it's after I fight Owl. Hmm. Emma is no longer here. Makes sense, but it's still a little sad. Hello then. Let's see what we can get if we upgrade the prosthetic tool. Can we upgrade it all? There is nothing we can upgrade at the moment, and it's a matter of materials rather than anything else. Hmm. The axe. And the spear lit on fire would be very, very nice. Fire buildup would be really, really good for doing vitality damage to a lot of annoying enemies, but shelter at any time. Thank you, thank you. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Go over here and come in with the idol and let's travel. Over to the gun fort, which is the place where we use that key. So, we should probably be able to get a few more of the remaining 15 prayer beads in the entire game. I do feel as if there is a real, very real possibility that I just need one more go, basically, to beat the game, and then I could do a bit of Demon Souls. Maybe. As in one more session of playing. Depends on how long I go. Shrine Key. Getting the Mortal Blade was nice. This goes around here, so the shrine and the gun fort. Any items or what? Let's see. Sunken Valley Passage. Yeah, the ape should be down here. Oh, we got more snow. Great stuff. Big thing is, I think, we could get more rice now once we teleport away from Senpo and reload the area. And we need to do that in order. Well, we don't need to do that. Eventually, she will give a different kind of rice. And... That will be useful for us, because it's necessary to do that in order to progress the final quest line. I mean, the true ending. True endings... The Iron Code. Let's receive a rice, giving it to the old hag, reset it completely. With one rice, refined snow, using it until you trigger her to fall asleep. One last time, use it, reset the area. If you say, give her a persimmon. Rice for Kuro and give it to him. Four, defeating the divine dragon, sweet rice balls. One of them not mandatory for Kuro and the child. Resolve a sticky rice ball. Rejuvenation. Tasty rice ball from Owl before. Extra dialogue. Talk to her, required, if we didn't see it before. Moves to the Illusory Hall. My Senpo Priest. Hall cave just outside. Dragon's Return. Serpentine Fruit. So we can progress that right now. But, killing Owl, dialogue with crew about the blade. Do what must be done. You go to Aromatic Hirata State Revisited. So we need to get more rice from the Child of Resurrection. Miku no Shinobi. Oh? No, 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 not like that. Let's do this. Hello, hello. Divine Channel of Resurrection. 
Come here, request rice. Rice grew up. Pull out your hand, please. Bountiful harvest. So, she basically just conjures rice. Yep, spills from the bombs. Yeah. Precious, should you want for more? Sayonara. So, I want to check out, see what the hag in Bottomless Pit might have to say. Assuming that, I mean, Bottomless Hole, assuming that she's still there. So, we did get the stone from Nibu. So, I'm not sure that anything else would be relevant there. Well, of course, you know, whenever there's a Bottomless Hole, of course you have to jump down it, but... She's still here? Is she still here? She is still here, hi. I saw throw herself in, depths of Ashina, catch herself out over there. Over there and... Okay, so the old hag... She only takes rice at Senpo. So we just gotta use the stuff then. Okay. Cool. Alright then. Let's port it straight in our map. Go back and... I kinda look something like... Something... Uh, something is... Probably something like health is regenerating. It's very small. I can't quite see it. Go back to the Sanctum. Oh, Bell Demon Temple is after everything else. Because it is, again, a purely optional area. Alright then. Alright. So we get more rice and eventually... We exhaust your power, which is mean, but it's necessary. For the best ending. I wonder what this does about FromSoft. Stop snoring. Oh, woke up. Awaited your return. Take this rice, and thank you. Wonderful harvest, and there we go. So she fell asleep, which means gratitude. Precious thing. Shikari kande. Shuba for swallowing. Thank you, and... Let's just reload the area then. Travel back to the temple, eat the rice. You know, it's no difference if you just eat it in front of her or not, but... You know, I think it's a little nicer to go away before just eating it in front of her and kind of... Maybe not wasting it, but just sort of making light of it, I suppose. Let's go back to the inner sanctum then. So there's the temple with the sculptor, then... Cat, then Kuro's room, and the, the Von Child's room. And she feels sick, which means she needs a persimmon. Helpful when short on blood. As her blood becomes that rice. Hi. You've come. Stop, nothing serious. Daiji. Arimasen, nothing serious. The rice, hold on. Well, rest. How nice of him. Understand, wakarimashita, understood. Do you want something to get you? A persimmon. Kaki? Kaki o tabetai desu. Kaki o tabetai? A persimmon. I'd like to eat a persimmon. Get a visit, get the persimmon, found a persimmon. If we got the Taro persimmon from Koro's other quest on ending, where we send the halls of illusion, would be some different dialogue. Eat. Thank you. And she should be healthy again. Oh, you can kind of see the persimmon in her hands, too. A little. A makbe oishi, sweet and delicious, yeah. More rice and. Mm. Taga, no need to hesitate. Hold out your hands. Oteo. Wakata. Harvest for you. Sold from the palms. And. Thank you. Incredible thanks to the persimmon. So give some to Kuro. Nice for Kuro. Give for Kuro. Nothing more than for the divine to get better. Please receive it. Thank you. Okay, so we'll need that. Come here. Plentiful wherever it may lead. So, we can go over to Kuro. Presumably, we may as well use the other rice. Then she should mention the persimmons, which are actually serpent viscera that she needs for the true ending. Which will be fine. Will be fine. Okay, so that's the same dog as previous. Let's go over here and Kuro should be your hello, Kuro. Is reading. Modotaka, you've returned. Something for you, something for me. Here, the rice. Komeka. Divan child, Senpo, give this to you. The other Miko, Divan child. Good rice, each ring glistens. Sweet when you bite into it. 
I moved by. Better when cooked. Oh, it was on. He was eating uncooked rice. What? Oh my goodness. Amai mono, sweet things, suke ka, you do like sweet things? Nan demo tabetsu, eat anything, you don't dislike sweets? That's real. A rice ball. Thanks. Rice you gave me, some nice, wait and see. Okay, cool. Lingering scent. I did the Sakura scent. Sawdust, Sakura. Slightly different. That. What is it? Reminds me of something, smelled it before. Remember where? The branch from the memories. Shouldn't Sakura tree to the rear of the castle? Ever blossomed that owl stole into our search. This with the rice and the Sakura tree. Sakura tree, not a regular flower. Might know something about it back in the castle. Weaving, counting on you. So eventually, this will put us on the path to qualifying for the. This is basically, there's a basic bad ending, basic good ending, and two more complicated good endings. One that's more confusing, but avoids a major boss, but I do want to fight the major boss too. That's Tokozakura. The long time Sakura, basically. Sakura from his homeland, which would be where? Divine Realm. Oh, from the Divine Realm. Bloom outside of spring no longer exists, it withered away. Branch took the flowers, and that would have been Owl. Unable to survive. She was lost. Talk and... Okay. So, we can go back after getting stuff from the Divine Child now. And once we get that rice ball, more stuff should show up. Hello, then. The rice, wait and see. We've been counting on you. Okay. So the ape, and then presumably owl. But I do want to see if the Divine Child has anything new to say. Let's go back and see. Alright then. Alright. Simple and given him the rice. So we can tell her, I suppose. Welcome here. Give persimmon, but we have any persimmons, but we don't need to give her Oh, the persimmons is in the viscera and grinds her well. Hold out your hand, thank you. Bountiful harvest. Simmons would be a viscerae. Very precious, should you want for more. Wherever your path may lead. So when we go back to Kuro, he should have his rice balls. Which should allow us to, among other things, get a bit more dialogue. But eating, if we eat it, but eat it or not, we should be able to get Let's hang death blow. I did not I didn't even know that was a thing. So he's over here high. We bought some tree, took the flowers, then able to survive, she was lost. Okay. Hello then, hi. And, so to keep you waiting. Mate otazo, okamio. So, okay, dasu, give me your hand. Sweet sticky rice ball. Something delicious, sure to taste, taste just as good. Rice from the child, rejuvenation. Medium vitality, recover points of purple. Plum, maybe? Sweet and sticky. What was it flavored with? Coffee over time. Maybe the rice is just purple when cooked, because it's magic. Mm. What's it? Posture recovery. Ohagi. Senpoji no Mikoto, Divan Child of Senpo. Don't be shy. And we got two. And. I guess we could try it. Sweet sticky rice ball. Don't be shy. Let's try then. Thank you. So eventually, the sun we need to kill Owl to get all the dialogue we need to get to in the second Owl fight. Special dialogue. So they are all. That's fun. Got a couple. Haki Dojata, how was it? Steam? Enjoyed making sweets. Kitchen back at Hirata Estate. Tea house lab the town. Oh, that's. Uh, the fact that he has dreams for after all the sands is interesting. Sakura Tree, what does she say? Ever blossomed, proven the divine realm. Way no longer remains, however. Go and stole off with it. Who would do such a thing? Shinawaratemono? Something lost. No information to go on for the aroma first as you wish. 
Okay, so we need to do that first before anything else can happen. Mortal Blade. Those who cannot die. Yes. Divine Giant, the Rejuvenating Waters. Ochi no Miko. Ben Faith for Immortality. False Ryuin. Divine Children, the Waters. False Ryuin. Ochi no Ryuin. Something like that is. Other ones, because they were killed. Corruption, the power brings. Sever it. Interesting. Anything else? Or. Some ingredients needed to create the aroma. Keep up the good work. Thanks. Depending on you, but the about the mortal blade dog has not been unlocked yet. Okay, cool. So later, later. Okay. Should be something say, that says about the mortal blade, I believe. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you. Alright. Let's go over back to the Divine Child, eat the other rice ball in front of her. See what that might change. Should mention the two quote unquote persimmons, as in the two serpent parts. Maybe the river or some other kind of organ. Hmm. Oh well. Oh. And. Ready to return and. It said give persimmons, but. Not yet, I suppose. Let's eat that and see. Anything there or. We talk. Return, request the rice. Not yet ready. Harvest is complete. Let's eat the other rice. I don't mind anymore. She can see us eat it. Hmm. I think eventually you have to keep on eating rice. And eventually she'll give something else. You have to ask for more rice. A chapter and... Fine snow, I believe. Fine snow. Launch out rejuvenations. All the rices are persimmon looted by Sfakuro, giving her persimmons rest until she disappears. The illusory temple. Looted from monkeys or bought from Shugendo Memorial Mob. Is she gonna ask for more persimmons or? We can't give any persimmons right now. So in that case, I feel, travel over back to Shugendo. It is interesting. I find it somewhat amusing that they have a sculptor's idol literally just named. Mountain Aestheticism. So it's not a place as much as just, you know, a, a concept, an action. Have it as a name for an idol is an interesting choice. Let's get these persimmons. Should be good for now. I'll also just take these then, so. Talk. Divine Child, here's a breath. Mercifully survived, so great we treat her kindly. Oh, another persimmon for her, so we have three. Share with the children. Mm. Rest in peace, Shisha. It's coming to idol. Where? Well, it doesn't make a difference, because we're just going to be teleporting back there anyway. Frankly, it probably would have been faster to just grapple back up there and teleport from there. Mm -hmm. Do you wonder what the fact that the one resurrection node that always replenishes looks like a lotus flower and the others look like they like flower petals, maybe a sakura petal. I wonder what difference that makes. Oh well. Ready to return and can we give you not you ready? So we need to reward the place, presumably. So that might give me the option to give her another persimmon. Keep on giving persimmons until, presumably, until fine snow shows up. And then... That should hopefully give me more... It is interesting that there is a teleport by one of those hidden walls that goes from the dilapidated temple slash shrine to the... Dakota's room. It's strange. We do return and this rice, thank you, bountiful harvest. We can't give her a persimmon right now. Precious thing, chew properly, but we're swallowing. I the option to give her a persimmon is gone now, and I I'm not sure if and how I can get it back normally. Hmm. Let's try reloading the area one more time. After that, I'm just gonna go back to 
Sunken Valley to encounter the snake one more time. Take out the... Use Puppy to Ninjutsu to distract it, I believe. This is the question is, how many great serpents there are? Because I think one of them keeps showing up even after you kill the one that gives you the fresh heart. Possibly. Maybe. Mmm. Mm. More persimmons needed. So that's our answer. Your persimmon. Eat up. Delicious, give me strength and. Will you tell me about the other persimmons, quote unquote, now, or are you just gonna chill? Hmm. Right, so him, yes, made rice balls and I ate it. And himself, enthusiastic, and it was very good. So we ate it, new dialogue. Could I hear? I see. Still human after all, of course he is. So that's severing it, path he chose. Yes, what is his name? Kuro. Kuro-sama. Not Kuro-dono, but Kuro-sama. Very respectful. Good sound. In one day. Hmm. Welcome here and... Sure, let's go a persimmon. Eat it. Yes, I will, and... And quite like a persimmon. So delicious. And will you eventually... Hmm. We might need to farm them from someone else, but it's a different dialogue. You should mention the viscera. Happiness. No persimmons. Ruro, well, hold out your hand. Bountiful harvest. Thank you. Should you want for more? Bountiful wherever your path may lead. In that case, it's just... What would a good way to just farm persimmons be, then? If there is one. Frankly, it does not seem like there is one. I... I'm gonna try to get one more persimmon from the monkeys. Over by Temple Grounds. If that doesn't work... We'll see, because eventually... I don't think we can really get other persimmons anyway. As in, other than the ones we have. There won't be ones that just are sort of pickups in the world. And then, we've given her a few. Just one persimmon and finish another progress. Groups only to use to progress the quest line. Hmm, well. I can just find the dried viscera. I think we're okay. But I need to go to Gunfort first in order to do that. Poison area, completely immune to it. So the, for the fight against the Guardian Ape, Fire will be good, Firecracker will also be good, and Mortal Blade will also work well against it. The question is, how else will I deal? My passage and oh the snake's right there. Oh hi. Have to get it over here and here in order to get to move to other location. Over there on that rock. I have to encounter it in the gun fort. So will it see me or oh my okay. Fun and Oh you just break the bridge. Well that's new. Hmm. Is that... What do I do about that? <laughs> and we can do that over there. Is that... Probably get you to move or something. Snapseed. If we go down there, can we... What if we jumped down onto that head? Try to get it a weave or something. Would that work? I don't know. And can I... I can't do that. Never mind. And oh, you're in the water. Okay, cool. Interesting. So how can I... There's a lot of water over here, huh? Okay, cool. And die, die, die. Treasure carp down this way. Got you in sugar. This is an interesting spot. The other treasure carp over there. Well, that's not a treasure carp. That's a normal carp. Okay. So the question is, if I snuck, on it, snuck up on it, while underwater, would I be able to get a death blow on it? 
How do I sneak up on this thing? Adamantite strap, nice. Supple strength, so I could use some of that for maybe the fire spear. That's an idea. And cool, cool, and stab. There we are, we got a scale. But we need it. Let's not make too much noise. And do you see me? I don't think you see me in the water. Let's see. Is this a giant finger bone? Or. So let's. What sees me right now? Can't walk onto its head, but. Feel as if. Kind of similar to the other. Getting a death bow is going to be the way we have to do this. Another treasure carp scale. Death bow on it somehow. Swim up here and get around this way and maybe stab its head? And hide in here, maybe. I does not appear to be the case. Let's need to swim under it using our diving abilities and then the bridge there will eventually be useful, I presume, but the passage is different. It really is. Another treasure carp scale, okay. And some other item. This is a Yashariku sugar. So that allows us to go through that. It's an idea, but still. So if I swim up, got up here, it's not a word in the snake. It'd be a bad idea. Once we kill the snake, we'll be able to explore this area a bit more freely. Here we also have this. Thanks! Okay, cool. Keep on trying, why don't you? This is a Sculptor's Idol in here. Thank you very much. Riven Cave. Not river, but Riven. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they've all got these images. Static images. So what all is in here? This isn't poison yet, but I presume the Toxic Memorial mod is going to be around here. I think I saw that he was in Sunken Valley Passage some other time. Let's go up there and can we... Nice, we use that to grapple up and... Item, another adamantite scrap. That's fun. Adamantite scrap. Over there, okay, that's nothing over there. Alright. Well, we can just keep going and see what there might be to find. That guardian ape is going to be kind of painful, but... This should mean we can use the viscera... No. Zoomably. Well, doesn't get the viscerate using Puppeteer Ninjutsu. Once we've encountered it in Sunken Valley, we can hopefully kill it. Walk down, and this should be Bodhisattva Valley. Should move over here. And we might try going back to Senpo and immediately just going through. Let me see. Passage, bridge. A few more bosses to fight, but yeah. Beating Owl could be nice. Ashina also gets overrun by Shinobi around then, and... Oh, hi, monkeys! One, two. Cool. Alright. Then... Hmm. So, I presume this is Bodhisattva Valley, because, well... It's giant... Buddha-like statues. Giant Buddha statues. Over there is... Can we... Swing over? Yeah, we can. Nice. Oh goodness, the monkey saw me. That's not good. So what else is over here that I can try getting? Please, you are... Got to be... Oh, alright, we did take damage, which is good. A lot of things over this way that I... Mm hmm That I'm looking for. Down there, well, we can get down there eventually. We'll have to. Don't think that's the monkey, though. Through the Sunken Valley Passage, which is also a way to Ashina Damps if you don't want to just drop down the bottomless pit. If you're a coward. Is that another Sculptor's Idol? It might be. I'm not quite sure what that is, actually. So this is Pacifying Agent. For reducing terror buildup and... Oh, there, monkey. Slam! And... Oh, wow! That's an insta-kill. Interesting. In that case... Let's get whatever items here. This might be a monkey booze. Maybe. I know a snap seed, but... Just give you a bunch if you go this way, presumably to make Corrupted Monk an easier fight from one direction than the other. 
jump down, maybe we could. No, we'd probably void out. We're definitely not supposed to get around there this way. So, we're over there before ends. All these statues. How am I going to get down adequately? Slam, slam, and oh my goodness. Oh, what can I... Thanks, death ball. Then we can slam that down and immediately just kills. Nice. It's a good thing that we went to get the mortal blade, I suppose. It was a bit more in the way of... Well, because we killed the folding screen monkeys, which... Oh, and this is a fallen statue acting as a bridge. I didn't even notice that. Hmm. Not always the most observant. Oh, well. But... Uh, being the folding screen monkeys did give us a bit of an attack power buff, which is... More than welcome. Okay. We're there, and... That is... That... Little promontory seems notable. You're okay, I thought you were pointing that way. It does not appear like you're pointing. Speak ends. So those are just little pieces of the rock that are grabbable for some reason, I suppose. So what might be over here then? I. And this is. Can I reach that? I. Kind of can, but I. What? Huh? Oh, oh, giant monkey, giant monkey army. Oh my goodness. So what should I use? Probably actually... Cleave type spear. Okay, cool. And... Nice, thank you, take you out, and... Oh, but the spear items on this are gonna be annoying. Let's just cleave as many out as... Cleave as many out as possible. And who got hit? Did anyone actually get hit? Well, whatever, I, okay. Oh my goodness, I, okay. Monkey, monkey. Okay, so basically they're monkeys. And, oh my, what? Oh, and you have a gun? Oh my goodness, the monkey has a gun. Okay, cool. And just that over there, and can I swing, and we got one. The more we get in the group, the better, oh my goodness, I, okay. One, swing, and get a couple of you, nice. Yeah, but the vitality damage is very helpful here. So, giant group of monkeys will give me monkey booze once this is done, so I... Oh my, what, what, no, no, don't kill me. You want to die to the stupid monkey. Okay, whatever, I, okay, nice, and the good thing is that it seems as if literally just single strikes will cut them down. Yeah, okay. Can I, actually? Oh, please, I, all right. Slash, and... Oh, takes two strikes. So actually an Akko Sugar could be useful for this. Eh, that would be severe overkill. Oh my, what? You're really, you're really driving me mad. Okay. One, two, and death with a monkey for a bit of health back. And come on. A monkey should not be this inno- Well, I mean, it's a group of monkeys, not a monkey, but whatever. Okay. Die, 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 monkey. Thank you. And there are only a few left, and we'll get some Monkey boots to give to NPCs after this is over. To backstab. Well, not backstab, just death blow. Well, ooh. Alright, one, two, die. The cleaving spear was good, but the fire cleave would be what I'd really want to use, most likely. We almost certainly have a lot better AoE. And the fact that the cleaving spear didn't really have much in the way of AoE definitely hurt things a bit. And. Oh, things are slowing down because of all the monkeys loaded in. But, and we should get the monkey booze now. That's over. Monkey booze. Somehow it manifested after we killed all the monkeys. Scrap iron and... To me, that's not nothing, but... It's not the reward I expected for... What I went through. And, can I... Nice, nice, nice. This is down around here, then. Scrap magnetite, that's good. A lot more things now that we're here. And a night jar, I believe. And lots of night jars in here for some reason. Why? Well, whatever. Maybe it just isn't my business. Maybe. Probably is, frankly. Get up and let's go on this part of the statue. And there are other parts that's down here. This is the valley. Just gotta figure out how to gradually work our way down. Hmm. All these hollows and 
This is a surprisingly large area. Quite frankly, I was expecting it to be a lot smaller and more manageable. Somebody down there, maybe a night jar? Probably a night jar. Get the Hawkman ninjas. And oh, more monkeys! Wow, okay. Great news for people who like monkeys. Oh my goodness, okay. And we do need to fight this guy before. Fight Guardian before we can fight any other bosses, but that's sad. Belgium is probably making this go from a one hit kill to a two hit kill, which is more than a little tough, frankly. Oh goodness, I these guys weren't bad in Mubo. Well, whatever. Getting health back on a death, what was the only reason I'm even surviving at all? Okay. Gotta get down to the very bottom where all the water is. And that will, presumably, get me the Guardian Ape Flint. And then there's Headless Ape and the Shichiman Warrior in that arena, too. Nashin Adapts. And then that would really be all I can do right now, frankly. But it would allow me to get Malcontent, which is would be crucial for dealing with apparition enemies. So then I'd be able to take down the Headless. Maybe not no problem, but with fewer problems. Okay. Gotta make sure we don't get lost. This is weirdly complicated. That bridge that broke certainly cannot have been. That bridge breaking certainly cannot have been good. So if we... Can we go on this? We can, in fact. Nice. So is there a gravel point we can... Yes, there is. Nice. And a... Oh, another... Hello. Serpent, there are two kinds. One is fresh, other is dried over there. Dried fruit is over there. Poison swamp down the nest, and that's where you'll find it. Dried fruit, troubling your rice for me. Rice anytime. Give rice. Here's some rice. Find child's rice. Thank heavens. See. Dried fruit you're after. Trainer of monkeys. Dance will be eaten. The puppeteer. Make it vulnerable. Sweet. Oshigaki. Okay. Means using puppeteer ninjutsu. Alright, so, Bodhisattva Valley. Among other things, you can see, Senpo is actually right over there. Is that where the monkey is? I think that's where Guardian Ape is. This looks specific. Yep, he's right there, so. We should go somewhere else first. Presumably. Before going over there, we'll take out enemies in this part. Actually, I... I could kill the big serpent now, presumably. So I'm just gonna do that. Gotta use... Ugh, puppeteer ninjutsu on the ninja. So let's put this back on. And I'm over that way. Okay. Hello then, hello. Do that. Take you out with Puppeteer Ninjutsu and... Also, let's use the Tonto because it's costly. The more the better. Hello, die. Valley is close, but we didn't want to use that on you, so... And yep, they drop Thalwax a lot more commonly now that we've beaten... Genichiro and Persis. Rest of the time to noon. Here we are, and... Puppeteer, cool. This is all that, and you better puppet, you better fly that kite. Thanks. Cool. So now we make our way back through Senpo normally, as normally as can be done, and the kite should stay up there. We can grapple across and kill. Kill the serpent by plunging down on it, presumably. It should be okay. I could just run past them, but... Again, I need... I guess the question is, do I need to unequip... If I unequip the ninjutsu, would it unpuppet the Senpo assassin from before? Oh, whatever. And the fat wax is very, very nice. That said, I'm probably running out of upgrades that need a lot of them, and once I've upgraded everything... There's no need for fat wax. Can't use it for anything besides prosthetic upgrades. Okay, cool. Hmm. So the guys with the shocker will block things, and that's not good. 
Oh, what? You've got to be kidding me. Come on, just die. Die already, you imbeciles. Slams. It's, oh, please. What? What? Slam, slam. Oh, my lord. Okay. Let's separate ourselves. And, oh, what? Grab attack, really? Okay. At least the damage we're dealt is significantly less. Oh, do you have an Akko Sugar Rock? That's funny. Okay, cool. Die. And swing that down. Go for another one. And then you is going to be trouble. Okay. Slam, slam, and... Thanks. Duh. Oh, okay. I... D thank you, thank you, and... Slam, slam, and... Actually got the Nico off on him. Some pretty crazy posture damage. And it, the posture damage from a successful Nico does scoff of attack power. This is part of what makes it actually, you know, usable. Okay, so, just go over. Backstab you. It would be funny to try to use Blood Smoke, but... Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Die, and... Oh, nice. The forward motion actually... Protected me, that's fun. Slam, slam, and just... Thanks, and... What if I hit you again? There we go, cool. So... more of the, these guys I kill, the closer I get to another skill point. The closer I get to another skill point, the closer I get to... Well, whatever. I'm not going to be able to get Ashin across before I kill the Headless, probably. Quite frankly, the chances that I actually get Empowered Mobile Draw are low as well. The experience I'd need is quite high, and if I was playing on Charmless, as in return Kuro's charm to Kuro at the start of the game, which you can't do unless you... It's not just as in New Game Plus, you can do it on New Game Standard if you've already beaten the game once, but I have not. And I guess I could have tried modding it, but eh, this is already painful enough. So, and that would have severely increased my... Skill point gain, among other things, which would have increased my skill point total pretty decently, which would have maybe allowed me to get Empowered Mortal Draw. Because for Empowered Mortal Draw, I would need about 13 more points, presumably, which isn't crazy crazy, but it's not what I have right now. Okay, so, run it. No, that didn't quite work, huh? Whatever. Die. Taro's gonna come in here from somewhere. Oh, but that's right, I keep forgetting that Taro troops can be insta-killed using... Oh, and he's behind there, that's where he is. Taro troops can be insta-killed using Divine Abduction, which is a pretty expensive way to do it, but it's not nothing. Slam, slam. You know, it does avoid risking any health issues, so... Let's just try our Divine Abduction for the very first time. Divine Abduction, Double Divine Abduction, Gathering Vortex, Gathering Maelstrom. Alright, cool. Let's... Thanks, and... Oh my, okay. Oh my goodness, what did I... Never mind. Well, first I need the Tonto. Thank you, Healing Gord, and just... Slam, slam, and... The Divine Abduction is meant to... Take that up, and... Can we... Oh well, oh well. And... Oh, yep, they just disappear entirely. Great. Okay. It's a bit expensive, but it is a literal insta-kill. Okay. Well, I don't presume we'll be running into many more of them now. Uh, if I had a Divine Abduction, I could have just gone to Second Valley first. Gone Divine Abduction there, but I wouldn't have had the sub motor that I did in that. Well, it's whatever. Not a huge problem one way or the other. Okay. Let's go through and... Hello there, hi. And the kite should be flying now. Yep, it is. Fly a kite, mind the puppet, fly a kite. Delicious. Well, not sure. It's what we just did. Okay, whatever. The question is... How much easier are those double spear guns going to be now that we've literally... Well, it's more of a... It's not... Morning anymore here, so I think it was a little orangey originally, but it's been... don't precisely remember. Thank you, thank you. Bridge over there. 
I wonder if the bridge ever gets repaired, or if it's just broken forever and it's just there for flavor. We have to get there over there some other way. And the big thing is that we encountered the Great Serpent in Gunfort. We should be chilling. Very nice, so. Oh, but. Interesting. So it actually does last longer in a real sense. So enemies that can see you can spot you better, too. Let's see if we can sneak kill you. We can. Cool. Nice. Cool. So we only have to fight one fairly. Alright. Cool. Oh, and they drop adamantite scraps. That's really, really nice. Take you and... One, two, and... Take you... Oh, uh, never mind. One, two, and... Slam, slam, and take you down. And you are taking a lot more posture damage. and I, I mean, a lot less posture damage. This is trouble. Slam, slam... Okay, oh, alright. And... Uh, these guys are fun to fight, but they're tough. And... One, two, three, and... Slam... Oh, interesting. And... One... One, and... Oh, goodness. I, okay. Slam, slam on you, and... Posture damage that you're taking, or more accurately not taking, is... Painful. And... Two, three, and... Slam that down. And, okay, you're... One, and... Slam down. Don't need to deal with your sweep, and... There we go, dead. Cool. Alright, and... Is that gonna be... More scrap magnetite. Okay. But going through here early also means that... We might have to come back to farm later, because it means we won't get as many adamantite scraps as we might normally. Well, whatever. We should still be fine. That many upgrades to get, and... Can we go over all the way to here? Wow. Impressive. So this is... So if we fail that somehow... Use that as an emergency extra gravel point. Just angled herself a lot wrong or started from too late, maybe. That down there is... Interesting. Nothing immediately up here, but I see a grabbable ledge. I presume that that's how I need to get where I need to go. Just jump down and... Can I... Nice. Nice and... Huh. Go back and... Uh-huh. Okay. It's gonna be tricky then. Jump and take that, go over that way. So this is where we needed to go. That's also a bit more over there. So if I went down here, what would I find? Or is this simply just okay, there's another grapple point, presumably down here. This is just a way up here to get in closer if you mess things up. So right, that's a grapple point. So maybe I could have grappled onto that instead, but this is interesting. Jump, take that, and where is other grapple point? Thank you. Other grapple point, and anything down there? Seems like there might be an item, but it's pine forest in the valley below mount the mountain, and scrap magnetite. Bedrock is rare, and. Clearly, I can't go down there. That's not anything real. It's so plainly... Just crappy terrain. Oh, there's a shed skin of a serpent. But very plainly, I can't go down there. That's just indicating the serpent is around this place. I wonder why, though. I wonder what it sees in this place. And this is... Oh, oh. Is this simple, or is this the valley? Sunken Valley Cavern, and we are in. Sunken Valley Cavern is part of Sento Temple. Interesting. So, find a way to wear it out, and then should be able to just do a death blow on it, bone of spirit, close by. Over there, and could jump up, but Sunken Valley Passage is right here, and if you jump up over this way, we should be able to get a Plunging death blow on the serpent from over here, and it should no longer accost us anywhere. Die. Thank you, thank you, and... It's my normal sword. I didn't do that, presumably, to throw me off and kill me. Oh, my goodness. What kind of Metal Gear Rising type. Okay. Thank you, then. Express Serpent Viscera defeated the Great Serpent. 
Well, thank you for popping in. I have a good night. Sleep well. It's been a lot of fun. I might be hopping off soon myself, so. But it was good to have you, always. When heart to be where one spirit resides, persimmon like heart, similar to a persimmon, red viscera of a god, poisonous to one's health. You'd think, right? Oh, and this is just the other side of that. So now we're over here, and I did not mean to do that. Wait, what? I also did not mean to do that. Oh, but... Well, the monkey's gone. That's the big thing, but... Go to the last idol and see what I might be able to find this way. Still technically simple, but this is Second Valley Passage. Where we want to kill this serpent. Oh, but if we don't... Well, how am I going to get over there now? How? I... Hmm, okay. Well, that was interesting. I... That wasn't good. In fact, that was generally quite bad. Hmm. Well, all right. So if there's a way to get back there, I wonder what it would be. Huh. Well, because I did just fall off. Maybe if I jump really, really far, I could get to a grapple point. I... No. You can't. Oh, but there's a grapple point down there. I... Huh. Presumably, I'd be able to use that eventually if I... Maybe use that as a ladder to get up? Let's... Well, Could get the viscera, which is good, but I... Hmm. If I can do anything there, I'd want to do it from Gunfort, frankly. Let's go back where we were then, and, well, we got the viscera, and I don't presume that, if anything, would be missable. Whatever that pathway was, so I... Cool. Went through here. And... Travel back to the inner sanctum, then. Got that persimmon. Hmm... Oh, and- oh, you moved. Oh, she went to go see Kuro. So let's go and give that, then. Upper Tower, Kuro's room. This would be... The monk is with a big Genichiro. Beat the monk. She should be here, right? But you've come, and... It's as if Wes wrote them before, and... Wishes met. And is she in the dilapidated temple, or is she here? Gathered a few of them, and... Counting on you, and... So is she at the dilapidated shrine, then? I think, frankly. <laughs> come on, come on. Right over here. Tell me more. I think... Emma's not here. Is the divine child of resurrection here? Oh, we could also slay Hanbei, right? Hmm. Okay, so nothing left. Shelter any time. Oh, right, we can actually kill Hanbei now. Give him the death he requests. Alright then, hi. We got the mortal blade. What is it? Mortal boy, Shigiri da. It's a real, don't suppose, cruise of mine. Except, of course, thank you. Give me a merciful death, couldn't you? Leave it to me. Sneaky Jaw. The orangutan, the sculptor. See me, I'll be ready. Shelter here, nothing there. Okay. Let's go back to the sanctum and then come back here. So, no more tutorial, sadly. That's life. Mm -hmm. Upgraded versions. And she is simply not here. Or am I mistaken? Where does she go? 
Or is she... Is she healthy or is she unhealthy? What made the difference here? Oh, did she... She might have moved back to the main hall, actually. Let's go see. May as well try killing some of those guys with... Eh, it doesn't really matter. Hello there, hi. One, two... Oh, but I could actually... Right, Sokushin boots are on you. Jump in! Okay, I... Oh, red eyes, red eyes too. Great, great. Well... So the red eyes is always what they have, but some of them are also just infested as well. Or presumably all the infested, all the red eyes are infested to some degree, but... Huh. But I... Maybe I could try using... Flame Vent. Yeah, sure. Let's burn these guys, because they are red eyes and they should fear the flame. And oh, a long range grab. Really, really, really. Whatever. Okay, cool. And just burn and then burn and. Cool, cool, cool. And we can just get you. Oh, well, alright. Thanks, I guess. Come on, come on. And. Oh, what? Huh? One, two, and. Really, what is what is going on here? I, I should have just backstabbed one of them. That's the big thing. I, thanks and burn and can we take you down? One, two, and death blow on you. And wait, what? We couldn't get the death blow off. That makes no sense. Okay, well, let me death blow on you that way and huh? Swing, swing, hit. Thanks, dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. A long range grab is really, really annoying, though. That's the worst of it. And we finish you off with an additional death blow, and cool. Could just go through here, actually, to get there faster. If she's in the main hall. And is she in the main hall? No, she moves to the halls of illusion, right? So I guess in a certain sense she did. And did she come here? Where is... No missions, and there she is. Okay. Should probably tell me about the persimmons now. Maybe. Quote unquote persimmons. Don't want to lose them. Returning, have to leave all of you. Hmm. Kind words. Listen, actually, quite kind. Give me this. Didn't hear you come in. Deep conversation with my friends. The children, their spirits, discuss. Rightful place. Set free from its home, I drifted here to Japan, never met to this land. Didn't hear them saying Niwon. So encounter it. Dragon heritage is connected, right? Then they return home. Nishie. Plus, coming over here. Divine dragon, ensure the destination, who would know, high priest, or the founder, how old he is, near a cave. Far from the inner sanctum. Sokushin Butsu. Differs from the severance. Do not force my opinion. Seek out the priests. Think about it. Reverence in the narrow cave. Not far from here. That'll be simple then. Let's go back to... West commune to idol. But that'll take me to... The inner sanctum, presumably, instead. Yeah... Main hall will be a little closer. Those guys should stay dead, right? Might have reloaded the area, but I don't think it would bring them back, would it? No, because I don't think it would have reloaded the area. It. Yeah, they're still dead. Okay, cool. So he is going to be on the other side. Holy tax. Okay, come on. Go back to the halls and... Hello there, hello. Mr. Cricket. We'll just do that, that, and cool. Nice, and... What would he got? Nah, we couldn't hide. Couldn't hide from you. Oh well. Alright. And just... Swing, swing. And that was already good enough, so we just need another death roll on the corpse. Thanks, thanks, and... Huh. Big thing is, I don't know precisely how... I'll get to that side of Second Valley where I was before. It's a good thing that they don't give you leeches like in Dark Souls 3. Because the leech enemies in Cathedral of the Deep and Elser. Oh, and they have all those maggots at the bottom of them, so they're centipede ones, and. Well, presumably it's the maturity of the internal bugs. 
So, Soku Shinbutsu guy should be in here. Thank you, and go away. We got the Senpo Esoteric text originally, but should be the end of this, presumably. Thank you, and oh goodness, alright. Thanks, one, two, die. And we can get a few more, so. One, two, die, and oh my goodness, this. What? A burn abnormality is. Couldn't even land a death blow. That was weird. One, two. Okay, I, well, I'm burned. Great stuff. One, two, die. Okay, so somewhere in here should be. End of this case, it should be. Sokushin Botsu guy. Should be, ideally. Stand away. Somewhere down here. Hmm. Let's see what happens. At the end of the narrow cave. But the end over there is. What the end is is another story. Hi, hello. Enjoy death. Oh, we don't need our ninjutsu anymore, right? We cannot equip that. Cool. And we can keep on going, keep on looking. Should be the end of this narrow cave. Practicing self mummification. I think he should be here. And dragon text. This is. Oh, okay. Well, lots of Sokushinbo two guys actually. So I didn't see them before last time. So is this new or am I just going crazy? Is he cooking or is he cooked? And I said, oh well. Put that off even if the fire is still right, right, right. Well, whatever. I don't care anymore. Die, die, die. Take you out, and cool. Then we can take this and pick up the item. Holy Chapter Dragon's Return. Let's wait an age. Simulate the cult dragon tears. Cradle consume. The pair of serpentine fruits. Cradle endure, giving him shelter, granting his return to the rest. So that would be the return of the dragon's heritage to China. This will take me to... First got the Sempo Esoteric Text. So there we are, I suppose. It's revisiting. Hi, geckos. Cool. Die. May as well get that, I guess. Come on, just... Ooh, I... Wrong swing. Wrong way to swing. Cool. Didn't have that highlighted, so I messed that up pretty badly. And... Okay, cool. A little bit of poison build up. Doku kanji. And... Let's keep on moving. Through here. And going back to the hall, we can give her that dragon's text. Frozen Tears. Alright. Should be good. Just escape this place. Go kill Guardian Ape, probably. Hi. Simple Priest, and give her the text. I got the text, though. Do I have to give that to somebody else, or to Kuro? Maybe. Hmm. The fastest way to do that would probably be going to the hidden passageway. Or we could just teleport from another idol to Kuro. Give him that text. Oh, that? No, she can definitely read, right? Okay. Hi. Met with the high priest, some he was dead, infested, had come to be. Well, it's no. See, two persimmons of the serpent, cradle for the air. Its homeland shall become the cradle. Of course, and surviving divine child of waters, the death is not coming easily. Two persimmons of the serpent, refer of a great serpent, stained red. Not one of those. For sermon, serpent nest at the bottom of the second valley, the remaining one. Don't have any persimmons. Okay, cool. Please do visit again. Just gotta get that then. And then we'll have what we need for the other ending then. Let's go back to Gunfort. Bodhisattva Valley is over there, but... Huh. Grappling across is going to be silly, but I presume that the ladder might be useful. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Guardian Ape, Guardian Ape. Then, of course, the Headless Ape. The Shichi Man Warrior who spawns in after that. So to get over here would be... Oh, come on. I did not intend to do that. When we hit the water, we took damage, too. Okay. 
So if we jump and jump far, we might be able to get to the other end of that bridge, presumably. I would hope. Either way, you know, the serpent's dead. It's good and all. But just where that took me. That other side pathway is... I think it definitely connects to something, but... At the same time, I... Hmm. Okay, jump and... Oh, I did not mean to do that. I was supposed to jump. Okay. To the exact wrong time. Okay. Grab one of that, which might only be there and change now that we've killed that serpent. Compensate for the fact that I'm an idiot who fell down. Okay. I'm going, we've got 9 out of 10 of our Gordius. It's just gonna go to Fountainhead. Did help with Genich at all, for sure. And we just... So which way is... Jump and... Cool, can we... Get that and... No, just barely couldn't. That was rough. Should be possible if I... Go on the little part of the bridge and then jump. Be that much closer, but... It'd be funny if the carp interrupted me and then killed me too. That Sakura, is that the Fountainhead? Is that meant to be the Everbloom? I presume that they're not going to show me things that are true spoilers. Presumably. And we have so many spirit elms in storage. We're chilling. Go down over here, we can... This way. Oh, we, what? Oh, what? That was profoundly strange. I... Huh? Alright. How do I get inside the... Get to that grapple point, then? Can I? Big thing is, I wasn't expecting to take all that damage, because I just went too far. Maybe if I go down normally, went down a bit to the other ledge, I could find some stuff. Hmm. Tough. That's been interesting for sure. We haven't gotten any more beads, though. Deep in the second valley, we should be able to get the other viscera. Other serpent viscera. Hi there, hello. That is... Oh, well, whatever. So could this be... the way I get to the other side, or... could I even jump and... There we are, and... Can I... Uh, uh, wrong way, wrong way. Okay, so that was a good idea. The execution was a little off. We'll be okay. Big thing is getting to the bottom. I see where that guardian ape is, but the rest is going to be annoying. Also, do I have... Do I need fulminated mercury? Can't use this anymore, because be that. Adamantite scraps, yellow gunpowder. We don't have any fulminated mercury, so could I use... Would I be able to have the Fire Spear for the Guardian Ape fight? Frankly, I don't presume I could. It's a little preposterous. So we need to jump down to the other side to get on that, and then we jump and... Cool. Nice, and... Oh, what? 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 Okay. So where do we go, then? How do we get close enough? Big thing is, I do want to see... That meant had scraps I got here from the Valley Passage. Any difference in what I could possibly obtain? Can I get stronger? Can I get weaker? Hmm. Hmm. Fulminated Mercury. Present the prosthetic, upgrade the tool, and let's see. We can. We need one Fulminated Mercury. One Fulminated Mercury. Well, we could actually. Hmm, we could get... have enough left over after that. A sparking Axe. Fire a Heavy Axe, we're in circles, continuing the attack. Flames on hit. That would be nice. That would be very, very nice. I think it would be very good against the Monkey, too. I think that needs Fulminated Mercury, it's something we cannot get right now. Grave Waxing. Could get that if we have the money, but the adamantine scraps, though, I'm not sure. I'd want to spend them on this. Hmm. Sabimaru, and then Lazlite becomes relevant, and I just don't have... Well, actually, we 
Oh, but we don't have Balalic Umbrella. Okay. Cool. Cool. Now we have a Fire Axe. It's exciting. Eventually, you just add fire to everything. So, in that case, we can try this out. Swing and. Ooh, boom! And Fang and Blade, and that's got fire on it too. Spin, slam, and Fang and Blade with the fire on it, and that's really nice. So, he will. Standing here for the Mortal Draw, Death Blow. It's finally over. Master and Death can finally turn to this. They kill me as you wish. You won't do it. So. And. Oh, we rip out the centipede. Kill the centipede with. The mortal blade. Saraba. Got. Bite down, which. You know, the hidden tooth. Basically, infinite use bite down. Situations. Fruits death, the typical one's last. You can use that to die. But leave your resurrections active. Hmm. Okay. Which could be useful. Back to... The valley? I do need to just try that again. It's tough, but yeah. Full main mercury, which we might be able to get from somewhere in the Sunken Valley Passage, maybe. And then I can use the fire spirit to fight. The ape. So in phase two, you have to pull stuff out. And pull out its worm if you deflect its big overhead attack, which is apparently quite easy. And then you can deal huge damage by pulling its worm out, which, if a little unpleasant, would be welcome. And we can... No, no, we need to go the other way. We need to dash and then jump kind of the right of it so that it will pull us in the direction of the other stomp. Which makes sense, but, you know, easier said than done. Okay. Headless Ape and True Monk. Well, we'll see what happens. How many bosses I can beat tomorrow? I've beaten three today. Three major bosses today. Because all the other times I've been mainly beating lots and lots of mini bosses, so... Let's just run up and jump, and can we... Very barely, and... What? Huh? I... Weird. Maybe I need to... Try grappling onto it multiple times to... Guess that's the question. Can I get far away enough to grapple onto the other one? As in far away enough to grapple onto the same one multiple times and therefore grapple onto the other stump. Zay. Huh. Presumably you're not really supposed to go there until you've beaten the serpent, but I have. I just can't get there in the moment. And that's troublesome. Indeed. And we... That's over there. Weeds up to that. And then... There is... Can I climb up that ladder? Or... That's the question. Jump, jump, and... Cool. Nice. And just... Can I, mm, mm. Maybe what I need to do is wait until the... Until the last possible moment. I can grab onto the thing. Basically right as it exits, and then try to get back on. And all of this wouldn't have happened if I had just been smarter about killing that snake. Well, it was and hadn't fallen off after killing that snake. The most amusing way for this to happen, frankly. Honestly, I should probably try another way, but see what happens. I jump, 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 and one, two, and okay, nice. We can Ah, we still can't do it. I don't think we can. At least not like this. Huh. How am I gonna get over to the other portion then? What else is gonna be there? If anything. Not a couple more regular evil carp. Cool. And... Uh, here we are. And we're close to a... Relatively close to another skill point. Though they've gotten so exorbitant. It's just... 
Where would a good place to grind even be? I think I can think of even using Empowered Bolt of Tron would be... Oh, Demon of Hatred. Well, whatever. How close can we get? That goes... That's hollow. So maybe we could have gotten the Serpent stuck in that. If necessary. Well, it wasn't. <laughs> then we could keep on going back to where I was before, because I am not going to be able to get back over there easily. But it's so strange, really. Okay. Because I... Everything that was over there is... If it's inaccessible, I'm not going to be a happy camper. Again, I don't imagine there was much over there, but... Even if it's a little, no matter how small, no matter how insignificant... I... Hmm, go back through the valley. Really just the night jars and the monkeys, so... Hi, hello, nice. Overhead and die. Thanks. We need to use that puppeteer ninjutsu on some of them, so... Pointing at that, funny. Okay. Let's go down here and... Take out some more monkeys. Where are you jumping to? Oh, you're... Wow. Gone, monkey. And just... Can we jump over there to the other monkey and... One, two, die. Okay. And nice! Wow. That didn't hurt us, but it did stagger us. And leading to somebody else hurting me. And then we can kill- Oh, that was fast. Fast monkey. Oh, but- Oh, they all respawn? What? Okay. And die, monkey. Die. I do feel as if- No weapon, no weapon. Okay. Maybe I could actually- That finger was might work too. I want to see how well Sparking Axe works against them, actually. Slam mm -hmm. It's decent. Just swimming jumps. You know, bounding monkey. Bounding monkey of the sunken valley. Well, the, of the valley, presumably the sunken valley, so that she know the axe of the monkey. That's what we got from Hirata Estate. Oh, they're high. Die. You didn't notice. Cool. And then we got contact medicine. I didn't know this game had contact lenses. There we are, nice. Okay. Cool. Just want to see how all well the axe does against those monkeys then. Did already get their booze, but whatever. So we jump down and just slam in the middle of them. Slam and. Cool. Nice. And. Oh, what can I. Okay, interesting. Alright, and. A lot. Spin it. One, two, and. Dang and blade, and. Oh, wow. Did I. This, it did decently, but... One, two, and bang, and... Some more is juicy to have been gotten by that, but I... Uh, I... Alright. Mm -hmm. In general, I... Oh, come on. One, two, bang, and blade over somewhere, but I... Mm -hmm. Die, die. We need to use those death to regain our health. I did not mean to do that, okay. I just, if there are monkeys here, I want to kill them. The monkeys can be killed, they should be killed. It's just, we're literally so close to one jabbing them, it's funny. Oh my goodness, die, die, die. Death blow, or monkey death blow. Now another monkey death blow. That worked even though we weren't on the same level, oh, that was good. One, ooh, okay. Cool. One, die. Guardian Ape uh, is over there by the Sculptor's Idol and I. Uh, I should probably kill the one with the gun. I think, right? Okay, die. I'm using it as a bludgeoning weapon. I'm not getting that much from the monkeys, frankly. Actually, we're getting a lot of balloons. I don't know why they dropped so many balloons. Okay. Come on, come on, die. Die, monkey. Oh, whatever. Okay, cool. Come on. Die, die, die. Oh, what? What? Monkey death? Really? Okay. Whatever. Surprisingly tough. Okay, die. One, two. Take that and... Eventually, this should unlock our nodes. Get enough death blows on enemies. Well, nothing new was there, but still. 
Okay. This is just where we were before, so. Guardian Ape. This might lead around to where the snake was, but I. I just. whatever. And her monkeys make them dance. Snakes will be eaten. Distract the serpent. But I. Hmm. Here, can I escape the boss arena during the fight? Or. I. huh. I'm actually in a decent position to just fight the monkey. Honestly, it'll give me more strength. I wouldn't hate that. So. Hmm. Flame, that's good. Deal a lot of vitality damage, also set him on fire. We don't have within four, so this might be a good substitute. We'll see. Actually, if we... Oh, would this be another way to Guardian Aper? That's the question. What is this lead, if anywhere? Doesn't lead to anything. Whatever. Come on, just... Please, please, and I... Uh, can I... Do it that way, or... Why can't I... Go over there, presumably because it would let me escape the boss arena, and I can't do that right now. Maybe. Yeah, I, it seems to be like that. Let's kill the ape. And can we sneak up on the ape? Oh, we cannot sneak up on the ape. Makes sense. I swing and dodge. Nice. And okay, cool. Dodge. Ooh. I. All right. Oh, you're a top. What if I... Jump it. Do a bit of swinging around. We could... Thanks. Thanks. Got... Ooh, okay. Thanks. Okay, nice. Swing and swing and... What? All right. Okay, so if I, I could use Flame Barrel on him pretty effectively, but... Okay, we're just going to reset this. So Flame Barrel would work well. Inaga, flame vent. It's all the burn status procs. Headless ape is going to be annoying too, but we'd also be able to just use some other things. Able to use the spear, the umbrella, and I believe he. What he says, he takes extra damage from the mortal blade in phase two. Not frankly, I'm not sure I believe that, but it would be worth a shot. Right up here. Kill the monkey. Okay. Switch for a flame vent and cool. Flame vent. Cool. I guess the big thing is... Which one is... Presumably... Normal hits are still better, actually, for... I'm just... Dealing huge amounts of fire damage. Dodge! Okay, cool. Nice, and finally we've got that going. Slam, slam, and... Okay, cool, and... Alright. Nice. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Alright, that was a sweep, wasn't it? Probably. That's just... Ooh, Tonto, and... Now we're in a bad position, but... Thanks, thanks. Dodge. Okay, cool. Oh, there's a... Attack, but... Oh, funny... Oh, wow. That's a lot of poison. Poop and poop attack. I don't like that. Okay. Oh, but we don't have that gourd. Okay. Dodge and dodge. And can we burn? No. Did we miss you? We entirely missed you. I okay, cool. Nice ends. Dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. Burn. Cool. Slam, slam, and just take you down in the meantime with vitality damage. Okay, cool. Thanks, thanks. Dodge. Nice. Ooh, okay, cool. Thanks. And did that work? Presumably, presumably, and... Oh, oh, wow, okay. Huh. Alright. Let's just... not die. So, Flame Vent's fun. I don't have oil to use. That does make things a bit more of an issue. I actually, well, the axe actually, if I can reliably hit with it, go for the fang and blade, could build up a decent amount of fire damage on him, but, mmm, and there's a spear, and 
We'll see what happens. If this doesn't work this time, I'm probably just gonna keep going through the ballot and see if I can't get one thing of fulminated mercury. Okay. Alright then. Oh, but we should use Akko Sugar, right? Yeah, we should. Okay, cool. We have so many of these. Okay. So, just spin, spin, and slam it. Wait, what? Really? Really? You've got to be kidding me. That was embarrassing. Okay, nice. And thanks, thanks. Okay, cool. Spin, spin, and... Oh, I... Thing and Void is a good idea, but I should probably dodge it. Okay, cool. Axe and burn. Nice, we can charge it up and just... Oh, interesting. That wasn't any kind of vitality break, was it? Or what could I do on you? Probably grapple on that. Dodge. Uh, dodge. 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 Jump the monkey and Cool. And just... Oh, really? You're... Very, very complicated, then. And just charge it up. And, oh, please. Wow. Honestly, I... The firecrackers would work. The firecrackers would work. And if I recall correctly, the ape doesn't have any of the sort of immunity to... Eventual immunity to firecracker stagger that a lot of enemies end up having. So. Uh. Let's kill the monkey. Let's kill the monkey. Hmm. Using the firecrackers would be good. No cost. Long spark for one for longer, boom for a short while, and long lasting flash. Easily frightens bees. Okay, cool. It's a beast, so we can just do that. Cool. Alright then. Still want to use an Akko, probably, but... At least we won't be in truly dire straits. Okay, cool. Use this, and get a few hits in. Use this stuff. Okay. And just boom, boom. Alright, just... Boom, and alright, cool. Foster break. One, two, three, four, five. And cool, just boom, and okay, alright. Just what, 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 no. Thanks, alright, cool. I guess. The posture effect was pretty long lasting, so that's good. And can we. What if I. Thanks, nice, nice, nice. Kinda got you to what? Never mind. Huh. Okay, cool. I. Alright. Let's try that again. Firecrackers are good, but he doesn't have immunity to the effect, but he very clearly... Okay. Some resistance. Over time, so I'll need to... I don't know, spam charging two monjis or something to bust his posture down, maybe? Spam attacks and break his vitality, I... Oh, okay. Cool. I guess. But he saw the valley. Great. But I presume it might be another way into the arena, maybe. I really don't know. Alright, cool. We just use another Akko. Cool. And boom, boom, and alright, we can try that again. Maybe. Nice, and grappling hook attack, and. Cool, boom, and... What? Wait, no, no, no. What? Huh? Never mind. Let's, let's see how all this works. I wasn't able to actually get anything down with the firecrackers. So like, one, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. Dodge, 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 dodge. Okay, can I... Dodge the monkey. The annoying monkey. Okay, cool. Ah, okay, cool. Nice, and... That did not appear to have any effect on you. What? What gives? Is it... How long is the duration? How long is it between stuns for the ape? Again, it's just vitality damage is good to get off. 
Helps from an easy, relatively easy kill, but so much, so much, going insane. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Deep in the valley, and there are other things in the valley too. I'll try this another time. Then I guess I will just get the viscera. That's fine. It's whatever. Size up, size up, away. Don't care. Okay, cool. Use that Akko sugar and then should probably be nice and can we nice go over and slash slash and boom boom nice and boom. one two three four five six seven and dodge dodge and can we dodge and how are we gonna move over dodge dodge and okay one two dodge and, uh, can I what can I do? Can I, nice, we can grab onto that, take you down a little, and cool, nice, there we go, and cool, cool. Oh, interesting, so what if I, you're running away, are you? Dodge, okay, cool, nice, and can I, thanks, and there we are, we got that firecracker stuff up, so the quitting your posture is going to be the move, for sure. Dodge, and, mm, and cool, slash you up, and take you down, oh, thanks for the poop attack, I, oh, all right. Antidote powder. Cool. And dodge! Oh, what? More poop. Punish the fart with poop. It's ridiculous. Poop enemy versus fart enemy. Literally. Dodge. Okay, cool. So I actually deflected that pretty well, but I dodged up. Wait, did I? Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, whatever. I should be using Ichimonjis now. Just dodge, dodge. Okay. Wait, what? Huh? That's a rolling grab attack. I did not see that coming. Dodge and can I mm, if I can grapple on you. you can, if you're grabbable. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Then we dodge. Ooh, okay, cool. This, I need time when I can Oh please. I, okay. And slam me down with Ichimonji. Slam, slam, and dodge, dodge, ooh, what? No, you can't. I just can't do that. Okay. Cool. Firecrackers were fun, though. But I'm just gonna go back to other parts of Sunken Valley. I don't need this garbage in my life right now. Get the dried viscera for sure, but just, that's on the other side of the bridge. That was very embarrassing. Okay. Uh, uh. Interesting. Hmm. Well, all right. Thanks. Maybe actually, I'm learning more about his attacks. Let's do this one more time. Just one more time. Run in, we get Akko stance off. Then everything, not like that. Everything we use will be okay, cool. And just move in and cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, and do dodge and jump, roll, and thanks, and slam, slam, and slam. Dodge, uh, do oh, what? Do I Oh, is it a sweep jump? Can I jump that? That's the question. This rolling back clearly did not work. Dodge. Can I... We can go over there, right? What if I... Can I... Dodge that and... Thank you, thank you, and... There. Jump, jump, jump. Okay, cool. What if I... Firecrackers. That did not appear to do anything right there. And... Cool. So what if I... Slash... Dodge. Okay, cool. One, two. Right on the booty cheeks. So staying behind him is actually a very smart idea. Oh, so he's weak on the butt? Oh, that makes sense. I dodge, dodge, okay, cool. Slam and slam that down. We're in a decent position. We get behind you, we can make this work a little better, presumably. And dodge, okay, cool, and he on the butt, and that did not quite work. On the booty, booty cheeks, booty cheeks, okay. 
Come on, just... Uh -huh. How then are we gonna do this? Posture's declining, which is... Dodge! Oh, we couldn't dodge the poop. Do we have to deflect the poop? We probably have to deflect the poop. Uh, monkey. Thanks. Okay, alright. Uh, if you hit the monkey on the bot, you can... You know, you can hit the monkey on the bot, but... Cool. Uh, alright. Uh, dodge, dodge. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, alright. What if I hit the head and what, miss entirely? Ooh, what in the... Really? Come on, what if I... Break you down, hit you on the butt, hit you on the butt, butt hit, butt hit, butt hit. Uh-huh. Alright, uh, okay. And just dodge. Uh, I mean block. I did not manage to block. Jump, dodge, okay, cool. Can we slam this up? No, that didn't quite work. But if, okay, cool. Can I slam and okay, alright, that was good. Now you're running. Running away from me. And dodge. Okay, cool. Slam, slam, and get that down. I think the head specifically is weak. And no, no, no. What? What? No, you're kidding. Really? You were so close, too. I... One more try before I explore more of the valley. <laughs> the firecrackers combined with Akko's sugar are very, very useful. And this is literally the only memory boss that I can fight right now. There is nothing else to be doing. I said, actually, maybe if I if I had a living force, I could try something like Floating Passage, but... Yeah, Floating Passage, if I could get a good chance to use it, would be good. Ashina Art, but it's radical. But then is it really an Ashina Art, so to speak? We take your health down normally, and oh, the trees are gone? Oh, because it breaks them and they don't respawn if you don't die to actually reload the area and we weren't doing that. Oh, we were we were messing that up, weren't we? Yeah, we messed that up. Okay, cool. Cool and right, we really messed that up. Oh, stupid. Um, okay, right. We had to actually go and go to the idol. Huh, okay. Hmm. That's stupid. Yeah, floating passage with Akko is good for shredding its health down. That's a good idea. Takes about as much time to charge up as... So the question is, floating passage versus two versus aerial floating passage. Hmm. Yeah, aerial floating passage is meaningfully faster. So we should do that instead. Alright then. Cool. Kill the amp, get the viscera, get the frozen tears for the other ending, for the right ending, and then we're chilling. Okay, cool. So normally I could use those trees to get them closer, but you know, if it's like this, I can't exactly do that, huh? Okay, cool. Cool, let's use that sugar, and we've been close. Break you down, and one, two, three, four, and one, one, two, and just dodge, just jump, jump. No, seriously, how do I dodge that? Can I dodge that? Do I just have to be in there at the right time, or what? Did I- What in the- He's holding the wrong stupid thing. Okay, dodge. Okay, cool. What in the- Please, you- Aerial combat art would be really, really good, but if I can- One, two, and no, never mind. Give me- Give me an opening. All I can really do is- Dodge. Aww. Uh, Grab onto you when you expose yourself. Two, three, and dodge. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. That overhead was really, really annoying. Huh? Not like that. I, okay. Fart attack. Poop attack, and what? Can I not? Can you not block the poop attack? You might not be able to block the poop attack. Dodge, dodge. Dodge, 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 dodge. Okay. Cool. Just make yourself grappleable so I can use floating passage on it. That's the only thing I ask of you. One, two, and jump, jump. What? No, seriously. Is there any good way to dodge that? Or any real one? Thanks. One, two, three, four, and 
Dodge, dodge, and jump. And, okay, cool. We can just jump it. But that said, it's, again, easier said than done. Thanks, poop attack. I'm gonna jump, and you're gonna poop. And we... Nice! Okay. Two, three, and... Jump, jump, jump. But I dodge instead of jumping, and that was the problem. Okay, cool. And then we just run in. Well, that didn't work. Thank you, so you take that, and... One, two... Floating passage... No, 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 no. And take that in. One, dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh, you're kidding. I... Don't have the sauce for this right now. I... One, and... Really, really, we couldn't deflect the poop. Oh, I... And... One... One, and... Okay. Thanks, and... Oh, but I failed to use the... Even use... Floating passage, right? Ah, oh, stupid. It's also just not that good. Heavily overrated. And... Got out of the way, really? Whatever. Come on. Two. And one, two. I, I should just hit you normally. And now I'm poisoned. Thanks, and poop deflect. One, two, three, and... I should focus. No gimmicks, just... Actually, and if I'm using combat arts, I should use e 2 Because it's fast. It's actually dealing more damage than Floating Passage. Okay. Okay. Let's go back into the other part of Sunken Valley. If I'm lucky, I can get on that snake thing. I... It didn't make me happy. <laughs> to lose that... Well, whatever. Oh, and I'm still poisoned. Fun. Huh. Okay. Oh, and it still goes down to the Sculptor's Idol until you actually rest. Well, one more. One more time. Actually, actually... Mm, this could work, too. Let's just try Mortal Draw a bit. See how well it works. And... We'll shred its health. Enemies where you want to shred their health. That's what you use. Sad, we also have to deal with this, so... Thanks, and... Can we... Can we... Can we commit our combat arts, and... Cool. Nice, and... Slash. Alright. I... Oh, this is using so many, though. Whatever. The damage I have is not what I want it to be by a country mile. Okay. And just... What? Huh? Huh? I just... That's not gonna work either. The damage is good, but it's not nearly enough to... It's fine that apparently it works well in second phase, but if I want to do this, it's... Ichimonji, maybe some firecrackers. But... It is a find that will require a lot of patience on my part. Content, malcontent. Gonna want that malcontent. Alright then. Alright. Complicated. Thank you. Rest over there. Yeah, it's just the serpent bridge over there is... There must be a cave or something that I could get to, but I don't see anything. Okay, cool. We have lots of sugars. Let's just take this out. Cool. And the more health and vitality damage we do, the better, so... One, two, monkey butt, and... Cool, cool, and... Alright, and... Thanks, dodge! And... Thank dodge! Okay, cool. Dodge, dodge! Okay, alright, and... Can we... Dodge! Uh... Not doing the damage that I wanted it to do, though, so I... Stand and... Jump it! Slash up with the Uchi Monji. Nice, nice, and cool. That was a perfect punish opportunity. How are you doing? I am in hell. I'm fighting a giant monkey, and it does poo. It does poo. Dodge, ju jump, jump. Oh, I messed up, I messed up. Oh, nice. Just grab practice, or what all? What all about it? Big issue is... Oh, just hang out with friends, then. That's always good. Nice. Any anything nice to eat particularly or oh what? Huh? Okay, cool. 
Chimonji on you and... Oh, really? Really? Okay. Maybe I need defense candies, frankly. And get over there and slash it. Overhead and cool. And we can rush in it. Oh, no, you're running. You're running out. Oh, no. Come on, just jump. Jump it. No, what? Okay, cool. So the jump actually works just fine, but I do not... Mm, I'm trying not to. It's harder than you might expect. Jump it. Okay, cool. Can we slash overhead with this and... Cool. Can we kill the monkey again? And dodge. Oh, thanks. Deflect the monkey and... Uh, what? Die? Win? Lose? That can mean a lot of things. That is not what I'm attempting to do. This game is just hard, okay? Was, was that a... Was that the joke there? Are you spelled it wrong? Or... Okay. Slam and... Oh, well, you fell down again. Annoying. Poison buildups there. Come on, and... Ooh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Fair enough. That, that must be hard. Yeah, that's how it's spelled. One, two, and jump it. We're gonna jump. Are you... Jump it! Okay, what? How can we... No, we need to... Oh, we need to block that properly. What are you what are you having for dinner? Big thing is I cannot afford to try to Oh go through after losing my resurrections. That's tough. Oh, cool. What specifically? Taco, burrito, bur Well that's not very nice to say to that burrito. Have you considered its feelings? I usually got really, really big burritos. I always try to get the most raw money. Usually I'd have to double wrap them. It would fill me up for basically two days. I would have dinner, and I wouldn't be hungry again. Not like that. We've got to go back there. This is tough. It's quite tough. So eventually, after the first health bar, it'll come back without a head. And then we'll have to fight it that way. I'll also be able to do terror build up, which will be annoying. This guy in general is kind of a pain. I guess the question is... Can I get to over- Oh, if I keep on going too far, he'll just keep on going anyway. Sound effect fully played out. Interesting. So we can- Boom, and nice. We can fully charge this up, and cool. What if I slash, slash it? Ooh, alright. Thanks. Can I dodge? Reflection is- Big thing is this guy is really, really tough to the point that you need to get his uh, vitality down rather than his health most of the time. And, okay, cool. Slam, slam ends. Alright, cool. Very, very chunky. Chunky guy. Uh, and my attack buff is gone. That's annoying. Oh, thanks. Two end. Dodge. That final sweep is annoying. These big sweeps are very annoying to dodge, but I... One, two, and dodge. Oh, please. One, and... Can I slam some... Oh my goodness, you... You just keep on rolling and damaging by rolling. That was very agitating. And can we slam on the booty cheeks at least? That didn't. None of those hit. Neither of those attacks hit. You've got to be kidding me. So if we play defensively and. Thank you. Can we move over, hit the head, and. Can we. What? Never mind. What? Really? Okay. Die. Die. Hit the head, which is good. Jump it. Okay, cool. And we can move back in and hit the head again, and hit the head again, and one, two, okay, nice. We need a heal. But it's all about the vitality damage above all else. Nothing else really works for him. And dodge, j jump, jump, and okay, we stayed out of the way of that very barely, and no, no, oh, please, like, all right, and where are you, and die, monkey, die, monkey, stupid freaking monkey. Slam it, oh my goodness, I, all right, all right. He does have a fart attack, too. We might see that. Jump it. Okay, cool. And one, two. Big foster damage. Can we... Mm, jump and... All right, and... Slam, slam. Okay, cool, and... Can we... No, you're just running away. Annoying. Jump and... Can we... Slam that down and... Can we... It should you and... No, 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 we messed that up. Messed up that input. We didn't have the... Help at the same time. It's L plus R for a combat art, and it. Come on, are you gonna. You are gonna use your poop attack! Stupid, stupid, okay. 
Swing down and hit. Oh my goodness. Alright. Hell, it's then. Using a lot of healing here. We your Monsu and sweep and slam, slam it. Okay, dodge, dodge. Oh no, you got me anyway. Stupid, stupid. I hate this. Come on, can I? Oh, but I don't have the time to get you while you're emergency dodge for the get up is so annoying. I okay, cool and no, we can not, not, no, no. Okay, and thank you. Take it down. And cool. And then we. Use that again? And no, we don't use that again. Come on, monkey. And this is actually the point in the game where I'm supposed to be fighting it anyway. It's just that hard. So you're gonna poop and toss a poop. Poop deflection and... One, two, and... Dodge, jump, 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 and... Cool. Oh, but I... Dodge! 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 And... Oh, goodness. I'm out of... Nearly out of posture. It's annoying. Come on! Do your... Another... Poop deflect and oh, it, I couldn't deflect it. I couldn't deflect the poo. I dodge, 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 dodge. Ah, oh, you're stupid. I hate you so much. Okay, headless ape is gonna be worse than this, I presume. Which is not. How did that get me? What? You're kidding. I okay. Huh? Just run away as fast as possible and gotta jump one way or. Okay. There are some other things in the valley here that I probably should try to get. I want to really, really die. Die already! Die already. Dodge! Thanks. And thanks. We can take you down, maybe, and get one, and we'll take the... And grab the sword in its neck. Slice its head off. Cool. Or at least appear to. It won't actually work. Okay. So we should use the Ako Sugar, among other things. Another one that we just have to get down with pure health. Shinobi, ex Shinobi execution, but not really. It's just going to get up and grab its head. Sorry. Okay. No longer weak to firecrackers, but now it's an apparition, which means, among other things, actually, we should use... My Divine Confetti. Nice and cool. One, two, three, and... Oh, this is actually... Oh, we, we can... Thanks. This is an opening. And thank you. Dodge. Thanks. Out of the way. And ooh, all right. Dodge. Wait, what? What in the goddamn? Huh? I don't like that. I might try a little more of this, but I'm dodge. And can we just dodge out of the way? That and oh, what? You're kidding. That big overhead is. It's a stand up totally straight. And do its big attack that I. Oh, uh, I can punish adequately. Don't- oh, goodness, I- okay, cool. Two. Pull out some stuff and it's- Jump! Okay, cool. There's a spear on it, eventually. This is not gonna be the one. I- wow. Dodge! 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 Do- oh, dodge! Oh, please. That would make it- Stand straight- Oh, we were close. Uh, this is not gonna be the one. I cannot. The good thing is that I can literally just quit out whenever. And the game will... Send me back outside the arena. This is really, really hard. Okay. Huh, huh. Huh. Okay. It's just... I cannot get greedy. I can't get greedy. Honestly, I don't... No firecracker, no Akko, just use that umbrella for the blood scream and all. Or I could try just spamming Mortal Draw in second phase, where it's... Wiki says that it's quote-unquote weaker to Mortal Draw in second phase, which I frankly do not believe. Also, spir when it falls down right in front of me, I can use Spiral Spear a little. That's actually, we should use the Akko Sugar anyway. That would be a good idea. And actually, just long spark and cool, cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dodge. Thanks. Then block. One, two, three, four. Jump it. Okay, cool. Slam, slam on you and all right. Slam. Up. Okay. Slam. Deflection. Do oh goodness. I. Okay. All right. And slam and really, really okay. Cool. 
Jump and okay. Slam down again and nice. And now you're gonna run. It's actually pretty decent. I can nice and jump over and take you down and then we slam you, slam you, and no help. Well, Alright. Hmm. Buster break would be theoretically possible, but it's not something you wanna rely on it. Thanks, and now we can slam you down again and jump, jump and wait, what? Huh? That didn't work. Do you, have to, do you have to jump in a direction to make that work? I guess. It wouldn't surprise me. Would like it, but it wouldn't surprise me. And dodge. Okay, cool. Slam that down and take you down. And thanks. Slam. And now you're running. Cool. Alright. Gonna throw your boop and. Okay, cool. Slam and hit and. Jump, jump and. Cool. Slam that down. And nice. Oh, but that. It did not work, whatever. Thank you, uh, I'll get a drink of water right after this fight. Whether I win or lose. This Guardian Ape is truly a ludicrous fight. And it's got a second phase, which is even harder, arguably, so uh, We'll see what happens. The Ichimonji is pretty decent for doing damage right now, as well as posture damage, so I... This is what I'm using. Thanks, Slam, and take you down, and... Oh, goodness, alright. Pallets are good for... Small bits of damage, but I... And... One... Jump it. Okay. Slam! Basically guillotine that guy in. Okay, cool. That worked, actually. That's surprising to me, and... Uh, oh, Nice. Dice, and... Wait, what? Okay, cool. Not really, though. Uh... So winning phase one is one thing. Winning phase two is another entirely. And are you gonna use your poop attack? I don't think you will, actually, which is good for me. Wait, what? Huh? What? Huh? That's nonsense! It doesn't make any sense. How'd that even get me? Whatever. Okay, poison poop attack. Hi. Thanks, we deflected the poop, and we can slam, slam, and just jump, jump, and cool. Jump back in, and slam again, and ah. Uh, chip damage is really, really annoying. Honestly, I should use a defense sugar. The interest of one, two, and sweep, and move in, slam. Oh, my. Oh. Got you. Got you again, and slam. Okay, nice. We're close. Or very close. But end of phase one, that is, which. Uh, dodge. No, I mean block. Sekiro is. It's a pretty crazy game. Okay. One, two, and just. Jump it. Alright. We can jump back in, slam again. Really, really? Okay. Come on. Still getting some health back. Some vitality back. What? what? Come on, we can die, die, and just we're close. Now, of course, you're running. Stupid. I right. jump it. Okay, what? How did that? Really? Really? I cannot. I can try to get. Uh, uh, I can try to beat Huddle Saint, but I'm not gonna risk it. And I. What? I just. Is there no reliable way to dodge that if you're just too close? I, there's gotta be, right? I, I just I just must not be seeing it. And then you behead it with the big sword in its head. And then you cry. You cry a lot. Okay. I just, this guy is weak to Divine Confetti in Phase 2, but... Which is a buff for anti-undead and apparition-type enemies, but I just... Don't have the sauce for it. Don't have what I need, and he's still... Just dodge, thanks. Dodge, and dodge, and can I? Okay, thanks, and there we are. Cool, cool. One, two, and oh, projected force. That's fun. Not dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. Nice and all right. Cool. Slice and nice dodge or not? Hmm. This is slow. We need to be. Thanks smart about this, and then we can use the loaded spear at a given specific time. Just overhead and slam! Okay, nice. Can I? Okay, cool, now I can switch to the spear and take out the worm. No, I missed the timing up on that. Missed the timing up on that. Alright. This should be in the opposite order. I need to be able to switch directly to the spear from the umbrella. I would have been able to pull out its giant thing if I hadn't- God damn. 
it's so over. We did pretty well. I want to try that one more time then. We did decent for ourselves. Welcome back. How do you sleep? Yeah. But got a lot done, we beat. This sort of midpoint boss of the game, arguably. Genichiro. Or at least sort of the end of the first act, so to speak. But we should almost have what we need for the true ending of the game. So all in all, we're mostly chilling, mostly. Yeah, but the umbrella. Reflecting the big overhead attack from the monkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a hard game, but you know, if it works, it works. And I, oh, but that's the flame then, now the firecracker, whatever. Right, long spark, long spark, so we can get you up here and then we can take you down as much as we can. But monster damage is kind of annoying, but whatever, we can live and, okay, instead of the way of the fart cloud. All right, thanks for the poop deflection. One, two, three, and just dodge, dodge, and jump, and thank you. We can slam in it. Oh, please. All right. At least the chip damage isn't crazy. We should actually use maybe some... You are more annoying this phase than the other. You're just so much more chaotic. Slam, and okay, all right. I'm going to go away now, which means we can use... Let's take our Ungo Sugar. That's a good one make me a lot more survivable, so I can... Oh, that could have been a grapple opportunity for the ape if I'd been a bit more aggressive and if I'd been closer, so I can move in. Okay, no, you were... When you were still, it worked, but you were not still just now, and slam, slam, and Shimoji's a good opportunity to keep that deflection up. And one, two, three, four, one, jump it. Overhead on you, and jump, jump. Okay, thanks. Jump back in, and... Oh, I did not mean to do the double jump attack on you. Come on. Come on, dude. Compound, sweep, and we can... No, we can't. We can't get that. Sad. Thanks, thanks, and... Oh. All right, all right, and just... Can we... Can we get him closer? No, we missed our opportunity. Missed our opportunity to grapple onto him. But that combo can continue, so I can't just... Let it sit like that. Right. Thanks. Poop! No, we missed the poop deflection again. Annoying. Come on, just jump it! Alright. We jump back in, go for another. Ah, oh, Ichimonji, or try to at least. And I, what can I. Mm, I'm stuck over there, that's not good. I didn't think this was actually relevant. And just throw! Nice, we've deflected the poop. And one, two, and dodge, jump, and jump back in, Ichimonji, and. No, not like that, not like that, and what are you going to do? Get a poop again? I don't think so, I hope not, and... And cool, so we can... Slash, slash, and then we... Slash, jump, jump, no, we were, we were stuck in that attack. Stupid, I wasn't even trying to... So the startup of the Ichimonji is actually... I mean, the analog is actually really, really bad, but I... What? How the hell do you dodge that? Okay. Just... Oh, please. Uh, come on, slam, slam. Spin and... S oh, what? You weren't close enough for the... Dodge, you're kidding. Got to be kidding me. This one is going so much worse. And just... More poop deflection. And throw and... Oh, nice. We can hit you in the butt. Which is... An idea, at least. It's just there's so much... In first veins that seems kind of up to random chance or just walk in terms of how close you are. What? What? He just decided to use that in the middle of my attack and I just didn't have any time to counterplay because he used it so quickly. I Thanks and just over and slash 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 slash. That said, I using normal attacks on him is almost certainly better from a DPS perspective. One, two, three, four, five, and jump, and it's cool. Jump, jump, and oh, well, actually, maybe Ichimonji might be better than jump, at least. We're not doing a lot of cost or damage, so this will have to be a vitality-oriented kill. What? We're kidding. I had to jump away from that. Ugh. What a ridiculous boss. Thanks, just deflect the poop, and 
We're in a good position for that. And slash, just jump it. Cool. And can we slam? Oh, the posture damage actually. It's a good way to stagger. You can sometimes be staggered, but frankly, it's so unreliable that I can. Thanks, thanks. Okay, that actually, that was worth it. That sends you away. But we should probably be using normal attacks anyway when that happens. And what? Huh? What? Really? That just... How do you dodge that? I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to look up how to dodge that. It's ridiculous. It's so stupid. Guardian Ape. So the big jumping grab is... Attacks, the jump attack. For head slam. Umbrella to negate it. Time to dodge, double dodge. Jump. Okay. To dodge the jumping grab, apparently you have to dodge twice. You don't jump, you just dodge twice. Okay. Question is, would be... Would I be able to really escape him? That's the question. <laughs> would it actually do anything of note? I kind of doubt it would. Well, we want that umbrella. We want all the healing we can muster right now. And just dodge. Uh, vitality damage is good. It's pretty crucial, but we can... Nice, nice. One, two, and... Thanks, thanks, and dodge. Out of the way. Can we slam it. What can I? Oh, poop, poop attack, fart attack, the poop and farting. And oh, that that poisoned me because there was still build up on there and blocking poop does not block the poison. Okay, two and three, jump it. Okay, cool. Slam, slam it. Okay, that was something I could have gone with an overhead, but whatever. Jump it. All right, jump over, slam and dodge. Oh, nice. I could. Slam, and there you go, you left. So the Ichimonjis are actually really good for the spine. That's kind of surprising me, but if I could... But I couldn't grapple because there were other grapple points still in the area. That's just stupid. One, two, and... But that's not a time I can really be punished, because you might just do the behind slam attack. And, but you're not doing it now. Just because you know that I'm going to wait for the full length combo in order to actually try to get a punish. Stupid. I feel like this AI is toying with me. It's definitely not. I literally can't do that, but... Gonna poop or what? No, we didn't have the time, but whatever. Thanks. Let's do something that I can actually punish with an Ichimonji. I... Thanks. And dodge, dodge. And thanks, one, two, and... Thanks. Dodge. Okay, thanks. One, and please. Okay. Dodge! Okay, cool. One, two, got my posture back, which is nice. And dodge, dodge, dodge. Heal over there. I, mm -hmm. This is tough. I do feel like it's using different attacks than it did last time. Very different fighting pattern than before. And, alright, let's slam, slam, and cool. Slam, and alright, cool. Dodge, dodge, and do What? Okay. Huh? Okay. And just do something else. Do something I can actually punish. I, thanks, and poop. Cool. Alright, there we go, and... Just hit, hit, and... Oh, please. Okay. And thanks, thanks, and... Hit, hit, and... Spin, and we can slam you, and then we can get another Ichimonji, and... Or not. Thanks, thanks. Aw. Oh. I'm doing better, but it's still very, very tough. I dodge, dodge, okay. What? No, 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 no. You- What? Okay, we just- Do we have to dodge away or towards or what? Way towards behind or what? Jump, jump, and- You- You- Got to be goddamn kidding. Alright, okay, and right, we have to- Emergency dodge, otherwise we just don't recover, and- Thanks, and, What in the- Go to hell! That doesn't even make sense. I feel like, honestly, 
dodging towards it when it does its jump grab, so I go behind it. It's probably going to work better. But the wiki, which is a useless piece of it, where it says dodge twice. It's not say, say which way you have to dodge, it does not say anything of note, just... It... Ah... It's... It's gotta be... Uh, but I gotta save those for next. Because actually using Umbrella Deflect when it goes for its big combo is probably the best way to guarantee being able to go for the big hit. One, two, and jump, and wait, what? Huh? What? Immediately on Battlestar? That was really stupid. Instant kill on Battlestar? That was really, really embarrassing. I just... The Aqua Sugar is just not something I can use because... The enemy is just way too evasive. And the windows of opportunity are just way too short to actually use the Aqua Sugar. And not have most of the duration just wasted. It's such a relentless fight. Burning it could be an interesting idea, but again, I don't have any oil. I don't particularly feel like farming oil. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay. I could try using the umbrella, I thought. It's George. Okay, cool. Slam and hit. Ah, oh, come on. Big thing is, there's not a good way to really guarantee the counterplay of a lot of things when I... Let's use this Ungo Sugar. That's good. And just jump and slam down and hit and there we go and hit and oh well we missed we missed and cool and slam down and do something now Swagantra and just go for an overhead and cool slam slam and all right can slash you up a little and cool there you are you've gone back now you're running away cool. And you're gonna thank you and wait, how can I? It's so finicky. I guess I have to be on the left side of its head so I can actually grab onto the point of the. Hmm. I mean, it would make sense, but. Two, three, four. Jump it. Okay, cool. Slam and. Oh, right. The jump was crucial. Would have been crucial. And cool. Dodge and slam, slam and cool. Can we dodge, dodge it? Okay. Oh, what? So that attack is too much for us to stagger him out of, period. No matter what I do, that's good news. You know, at least I know. I... Mm -hmm. What you really do is just try to... What? How do I... Do I have to be in the air? To jump at him to take us to the grapple point? I really just don't know. Okay, maybe, maybe, I... Okay. Just jump in. Okay, cool. And slam down. And, okay, cool. Then we can slash you up, two, three, and cool. All right. We're actually doing pretty well for ourselves. And just jump, jump it, okay. What? I, okay. No, seriously, how do I dodge that? I, uh, just nothing makes any sense here. Thanks, and slam, and what? No, that didn't hit. Didn't jump close enough. Give me an attack that I can actually bait out. Use your poop attack. And jump, jump. Okay, cool. Well, if I'm good and far away, I can sometimes work, but I... Hmm. It's just a matter of where I am and how close I am. Two and three, four, five. Dodge, dodge. And, oh, please. Okay, all right. And slam, slam, and cut you up. Cool, cool, cool. This is a posture damage boss. I mean, a vitality damage boss, not a posture damage boss. And jump it! Okay, what? Huh? Really? I probably would be better off not running, but... I mean, not dodging, but just running. Hmm. I'm gonna try again. This might be an okay place to stop. Maybe. I can do two Sekiro streams this week. Want to get to Fountainhead and want to do a bunch of cleanup for the game super bosses. Just, I was not expecting to have this bad of a time with Guardian Ape. Literal monkey. Literal poop throwing monkey. 
I... Frankly, one of the worst things was just I fell off in a weird kind of way and missed the... Uh, there was something by the Great Serpent in that. I don't know. I would presume maybe I might get there from over there, but... So, so... Something I just missed entirely. So I fell off after killing the Great Serpent. After that, there's no way to get down there. Cool. And just dodge and jump over, slam, slam it. Okay, cool. Thanks. And what? Really? Overhead and can we slam, slam and cool. One, two, three, and alright. Uh-huh. Give me Okay, what can I Yeah, exactly. It doesn't default to the monkey and I but that's the one you really want to use. Presumably to close the space. But you can't do that gap closing like you might want to. Game just doesn't let you and and the recovery from Ichimonji is just too long to actually jump out of the way. This is so ludicrous. I'm actually getting sick of this game. Okay, we're losing this fight. Come on. I'm begging. Just dodge. What? What? Okay. And can I jump it? I. What determines whether I can actually connect or not? It doesn't seem like anything does. I. And then I grappled? Right when it hit me, I... Nonsense! This game is... Uh, dodge, thanks, and one, two, three, and... Okay, cool, and... Really? 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 Okay. Roll, roll, and thrash about. Slam, slam, and then you can move over. Now you're running again, stupid. Well, it arguably was a... What? Why does that even exist if you can't actually reliably make it happen? Dumb, dumb, I... Okay. And jump, jump. Okay, cool. Now I can... Dodge, dodge, dodge. Can I... Okay. Ichi... Okay, nice. Ichimonji on you and just... Cool. One, two, and dodge, dodge. Oh, what? You're kidding me. Okay. I can heal these. I... Oh. Come on, I... Jump, jump, oh, that was the wrong. Jump attack to run away from my, okay. Let's jump, jump, and jump, 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 and, okay, cool. Oh, that, jump, ah, uh, no, never mind. Ah, uh, how am I supposed to do this? I mean, just learn the attack buttons and get better at the game, but I, okay. Dodge directly the side seems to be okay, but I, come on, just die, die, and... Cool. One, two, three. All right, and just move in. Can't get any extra hits, sadly. And dodge. What? No, no, no. Is it? Maybe if I dodge to the right instead of the left, I maybe. Because it does seem like it's right arm on my left outstretches itself a bit more. But I. Thanks. And cool. One, two. Poopy monkey and dodge. Thanks. Slam, slam, and poop, and dodge, dodge, oh, come on, I, all right, to give me, come on, dodge, 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 give me over an overhead, or to do something, please, I'm begging, give me something I can actually fight against, and jump, jump, and I, what, I just, Maybe I just have to be really, really good at knowing the tell physically when it thanks. Just dodge it. Okay, cool. Slam, slam, and monkey, monkey, or not. That's not entirely safe, but we have to deal with a few trades in order to just not die. Thanks, and cool. One, two, three, and one. Oh. Alright. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Dodge, 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 sweep it, cool. Slam and hit and, all right, we get, nice, we actually had some points, we got a that, which is surprising to me, and one, two, and, all right, now we're gonna run. We are close, but the amount we deplete in this part of, what? Huh? I just, once you see it, you're already dead. But it's just, uh, no way to know when that stupid attack comes out. It's just, there are so many more attacks you could do. 
What in the... Nothing guarantees it. Alright. How do you dodge the jumping grab? How to dodge guardian ape jump grab. Thank you, Google. Perpendicular to the line of the jump when you jump. Remember the dodge. Deflect with an umbrella. Huh. Before it flashes? What the hell? You, you can't... What? So stupid. But it... You can run forward under it too, apparently, but... If you see the symbol, it's literally too late. You can't do anything. I could try using the umbrella to deflect it. Apparently. Apparently it's a deflectable grab. Or so Google says. I'm not sure I trust Google all that much. Either way, this is going to be my last attempt. I... Wow. Whether I win or I don't, I'm going to have to stop for today. A lot has been done, for better or worse, and... We should probably use Akko's anyway. Even if I'm not using other stuff. Okay, cool. Thanks, and... One, dodge! Thank you, and just... One, two... Three, four, and... What? Dodge it. Okay, cool. Slam, slam, and... Alright. Dodge it. What? No! What the hell? Go to hell and kill yourself. Oh. One more try. That was really stupid. I... <sighs> Immediately countering me during the Ichimonji. Just, oh, look, I'm going for a grab now. Hope you have fun dying instantly. I just... Oh, what? What? Oh my lord. Okay. Okay. Whatever happens, whatever happens. <sighs> okay. I'm just gonna have to go on a more of the valley. Hope I can get a little bit stronger before this stupid fight, but I'm just... It's hurting. It's hurting me on a deep spiritual physical level. I think I could actually beat it, but it's... There's a lot to do. Okay. Let's see how this works. I'm starting to go crazy. Going crazy. Starting to go crazy. Whatever. Okay. For the Akko and just run in and immediately just start hitting. It should be fine. And one, two, and dodge it. Thanks, and... One, two, three. Oh, nice. Actually, this is quite good, but I don't want that poison build up. And I, this is gonna. I'm still poisoned, even if you pooped. Even if the poop got me, and I just dodge it. Okay, cool. Thanks, and just slam, slam, and one, dodge. Okay, cool. Heal, and use the. Nice, use the antidote powder, presumably. And just. Let's use this antidote powder. Hmm. It's nice to be able to actually pause the game. If Sekiro was like Souls and you weren't able to even pause, that would make things actually untenable. One, two, and just... They're over there. What's... No, we can't really chase you, can we? Not really. Okay, and just... What can we... Okay, cool. One, two, and... Let's... Thanks. All right. And out of the way, and... Okay, cool. Slam, slam down on you, and just... Jump! Okay, cool. Now they're Ichimonji and... Slash you up. Cool, cool, cool. Nice! Doing okay for ourselves. Let's recover a little. Don't wanna go too crazy. We've already got half health down. This is... Jump it! What? No, no, no. Right, I should... I'm supposed to use the umbrella when I saw that. Okay, cool. Slam it. Thanks. Slam that down. What? God, that didn't hit anything. Well, whatever. Okay. Uh huh. Can you use your poop attack, or there you are. Thanks. And oh wow, that didn't hit anything. Cool, cool. And just jump. Okay, cool. Aerial Ichimonji. And did that hit anything? That did not hit anything. Whatever. One, two, and oh wow. Okay. Surprisingly strong. Come on, come on. I okay. Come on, come on. And overhead and. Jump, slam, and hit, and cool. And one, two, three, cool. Stay away from you. 
Getting kind of confused. It's being weirdly nice to me. This might be the one. And umbrella. No, no, wrong. Press the deflect button instead of the umbrella deflect. And jump. Mmm, bad timing. Two. And. No, you're not gonna pound anything. Let's just escape this place. This part. And. Well, actually, we could. We're far away enough that we were able to grab it, which was nice. Not sure what determines that, but. Let's break it up posture to make this work. And. Poop attack. Oh, well, the poop kill. It didn't kill, but. Poop hit, which is not good for me. And. Thanks. Just. If that jump attack comes out, we need to go for the umbrella. One and over there and slam, slam and nice. One, two and jump. Okay, cool. Jump, slam it. Okay, slam and all right. Get okay, running again. That's dangerous. We'll see what happens. Mm hmm. Okay. Have to try this out. And dodge. Okay, nice. Okay, that's actually very, very possible. Nice! That was really, really good. Cool. Is that and Come on. Jump again. Take that out. Otherwise, we're just end up dying again. Okay, cool. Now it's time for the second half of the fight. Again. Well, that's not a real sheen of the execution, is it? It's time for more head save. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, thanks. Alright. Cool. And dodge. Uh, your health isn't actually all that high, which is good for me. Good. Dodge. Okay. Dodge. Oh, goodness. Sake. Okay. Can you go for the overhead or what? Can we? And dodge. Uh, thanks. Dodge. 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 And can we take the umbrella out and go for a big overhead or. Thank you. Cool. Then we can just slash you down. Okay, cool. Oh, but that did damage, too. Hmm, let me think. This is really gonna be... tough. You got all that terror there, and I don't like that. But using the spear on you is gonna be... very... crucial, 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 and... Okay, can we... You're not doing an overhead, which is... surprising to me. Just dodge... Well, okay. Had to jump that, or... What? Okay. Cool, and... Then we projected force, and... Alright, cool. Mm -hmm. And what are you gonna do now? And... Thing. Thanks. Just... Gonna go for the overhead, or... Nice, 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 nice. And just... Overhead, and... Nice, and... There we go, let's... Switch that. I think that should be good. I think I heard the worm. Let's see if we can pull the worm out and just... Wreck you. Should be good, so let's wreck you, pull the worm out, and nice! Okay, cool. There we go. So that's going to be a big amount of health damage, so if we play defensively and wait for that one attack, we can chill with that, most likely. But uh, Nice, and cool. I can, wait, what? Huh? Okay, whatever. Cool. Thanks. Alright. We need a bit more in the way of uh, spirit emblems for one, but... Mm -mm. Let's see. Let's see something. Uh, do you want to beat this guy? Once I beat this guy, I'll be done for the day. That is my promise to myself. Beat this guy and we chill. Thanks, and can I... Let's use that pacifying agent. Do not want to instantly die. Two. Terror build up so I can... One, two. And get that boss down. Your boss doesn't go down all that fast, which is good for me. Thanks, thanks, thanks. And will you go for an overhead or... And, oh, well, never mind. Okay, cool, and I can dodge, and I need to use the Tonto, then. Use the Ceremonial Tonto, so I can stay out of the way of that, and... Do we have any pellets? We do. Okay. Dodge! Oh, my lord, okay. Oh, my lord. I, okay, dodge, 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 and thank you, and... Thanks! Oh, we missed that? You've got to be kidding. Whatever, I... We're doing well for ourselves, pretty well for ourselves, but... Even in spite of that, I'm just not feeling it in the same way. It's the big hits, and then the overhead deflection. Don't need to deal with anything else. But the health on the Guardian Ape is going to be target number one. 
Let's stay away and get to a point where we can deflect things. Thanks. We do pretty well for ourselves. And that's still, even with that, even with a perfect deflection, he still damages me. It's not cost or not. Jump! Okay, cool. That could be an Ichimonji opportunity, but I do not feel comfortable with that. And thanks, and nice, and will you? Nice, nice, and will you? Nope, none of that. Okay, cool. Nice, uh, please, alright. Come on. I'm trying to recollect myself. And jump, and now, that would be a good opportunity, but... Just give me one, two, th three, and we, okay. Go for the overhead, and thanks. Nice, there we go, and spell spear again, and pull that out. Kill that worm, nice. That's good for me. But the, uh, the gourds and the pellets are going to be crucial for this. Uh, okay, cool, all right, thanks. So once that's gone, I'm going to be, that's going to be my one option. Spear, Umbrella, Deflection... Hmm. Is he gonna attack on you from behind? Well, whatever. We'll live. Okay. Uh -huh. Just thanks, and... Get out of my way. I'm running out of the strength I need to... to I have one pellet, one east of the Tonto, and that's all. The defense. The spear is gonna be crucial for the defense, but I... Uh, I, okay. And just... And can we... Nice, nice, and that was perfect timing, basically. Nice, cool. And dodge! And, okay, cool. Alright, no, 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 never mind. Uh, so that projected force attack was pretty good, but I... Ah, uh, come on, okay. And can we... Overhead, or... That's decently easy to dodge, so I can... Run it. Oh, I did not mean to do that, so I... Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh. And... Oh, please. Messed that up again. We got really, really close, and I'm using, using so much of the way. Oh. I feel like I might need to actually play more aggressively then. Jump it. No, never mind. I can't grab on that sword now, can I? Just... I'm on that. Nice, and we can... Get in close and use some of that. Is it smoking now? Or? Come on. Need to be very, very careful about this. Reflections are good, but it's just. Posture is not. For to do. Oh, just jump towards it into the right if I want to get a hit off when that happens. Well, I can. Thanks. Dodge. Thanks. And nice. Dodge. Dodge. And knock. Uh, no, no overhead. I, okay. Hmm. Pulling that worm out is crucial though, but I don't have anything in the way of true hard defenses here. I, uh, uh, that deflection on the overhead is going to be really tough too. I, thanks! And overhead and dice! Here we are, so that means spear! And pull that out for big damage. Cool. Nice, nice, and cool. That's all we have left. It's the spear pull. And then standard attacks. And cool. Nice. Big posture damage. And nice. 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 And nice. Cool. And big. Big. And none of that attack, but I can come out of the way of that. Don't need to use that as an attack window. We're doing okay for ourselves, but slowly building up posture and playing it very, very safe. Thanks. Thanks. And. Just and nice, there we are. We can run in and get the spear out again and tear that out. Good stuff. Okay, cool. Nice and thanks. Uh, big thing is, is that that one attack is by far the most punishable. So I can nice. I can sail the way and just try to survive that. Then two, three. Overhead is for real. The only thing I can really try to punish. Okay. And dodge, 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 and mm, dodge, 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 and no overhead there. So close, but you don't have any Tonto uses. You don't have any Gourd uses. This is going to be tough. We're almost dead just from Vitality alone, which is 
very good for me, but I can... Thanks. It's, oh, come on. Oh, I don't know. All right. Did I mess that up? I probably did. But your posture is not really declining at all. So every attack I block, attack I can deflect, gets you closer and closer to death. I can jump. Okay, cool. Come on, Heddle Save. Come on, I nice and run away, run away, cool. Other way of the ripples for the terror build up. Come on, come on, just getting close and one, two, three, and jump it! Okay. Oh wow. That was tough. Jump. Mm hmm. Weird spot for you to be in, so I Nice! Cool. These deflections are nice. Nice! 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 And and slam! Nice! So we could try to each emoji on you and we're close. We can try this out then. Didn't get the spear, which would have been a really cool kill, but we are doing okay for ourselves anyway. Just need to get you down to no remaining posture before you kill us. Two, three, and four, and just other attacks. If you swim over to me, slide over. Slide attack is... Oh, never mind, never mind, okay. At least if I'm away from that, it's not much of a problem. I can... Thanks, thanks. And, oh, okay, I need to run away then. At least I know how to react. Okay, cool. Move, and thanks! Alright, and how much more? Thanks! Thanks! And just slam! Oh, and... Can we... Overhead! Slam! Goodbye, headless aim! Another. Pull out the worm. And... Fare thee well. Fushigiri. Well, actually not. True Shinobi execution. Oh? Well, the big thing is the ape's not dead. Memory Guardian Ape, increased attack power, defeat or war can still be heard. Festive body marks the undying sunder finger for a prosthetic tool. Dry beast wild, partially digested. For its purpose, as evidenced by its open hole in the finger. Well, among other things, I can pick up that flower now. What's down here? This is the precious bait. Maybe I could have gone in here previously. Not sure how it would have, would have attacked me if I was still in the water. Big thing is, let's get this idol. Headless ape is going to be in depths. It'll be a little easier, presumably. Spear was very good to have. It's undeniable. So let's enhance our attack power a little. Then, for the Undying, once for even an ape, echoing more was a solicitation of sorts. And it was. Attack power's been enhanced. Then, through here should be the flower. Hello. What is to the palace? Then, put water water spilled deeply. Attracts female apes, tended to it, offered to it his bride. Since ingredients for immortal severance. Well, for now, Ashina should be overrun with Shinobi, but... For any of that, I think, it's a watering hole. I think it would be good to go back and try using that tool. I should also rest. Okay. Some other things I can probably use to escape real quick, but there's only so much more I sh really should be doing right now. Got to work on coming schedule for one, and can I... Wait. Wait. So is this not possible to get over there? Can I... Hmm. What if I... What if I... Can I get over here, or... I feel like... Trying to prevent us from going over this way. I... Yeah! I would have to interact with a serpent over there, so presumably... Or at least prevent direct escape from the boss arena. Huh? Alright, then. Hmm. I mean, you'd think there would be a way to get back. Big thing is, I should be able to insta-kill the monkeys now, so actually... Go back to- oh, and I can't go to Kuro's room right now because... This is where this one owl shows up. Maybe I'll try that fight. And end with that. Fountainhead can be whenever next I do this. Maybe. Hello, Sculpture. 
Now there we get that finger guarding eight found in his belly. Or even ape, let me see it. Fix it to your arm. Okay, cool. Another tool, and this is our final tool. Able to distinguish friends from foe. Target enemy can hear it. No target is locked. All will hear. All prosthetic tools acquired. And then we get the Mountain Echo. For pretty cheap. To effect, run the location. Only the target enemy will hear the whistle. Sound to be delayed. Sound after blowing. Rages and. Okay, cool. And we need more scrap magnetite, but could get Lilac Umbrella as a way to take out. We also need Malcontent. Malcontent's ring and more scrap magnetite. Lots of fatty wax, but that's not a problem. Lots more magnetite and enough adamantite scraps there right now, actually. Purple Fume Spark and. Hmm. Content is good, but no fulminated mercury is available in it. Shelter any time. Need to find another way to get to Ashina then. So is this... Is this not going to work, presumably? I bet it won't if... Sealed from the other side. Yep. Exactly. Hmm. So, in that case, let's go to Ashina. None of the spots, and you have to go from abandoned dungeon entrance. So, presumably, it would be sealed from every other side. Serpent Shrine and hmm. Sunken Valley. Let's go back to the gun port, I guess. I really just. Missing the spot I could get to with. That was annoying. By killing the snake. I missed that entirely, which was infuriating. Cool. But I... It's a fall. It's a fall. So how do I get over to where that was? Presumably that's around where the guardian ape is. You know, you would think, but... Over here's a... another location, but there's no way up after that. If I jump off straight, presumably I should be able to... Thank you, and I just can't reach that. It's just not reachable right now. Maybe the issue is that I'm locking onto the wrong... circle on the upper one, and if I was able to control my camera angle a bit more... precisely, I could get it. That might be it. Still, so that's annoyingly finicky. The big thing is just... Kill the giant snake in here earlier. Bloody the rock it was resting on, and that one over there. There's no way for me to get down. It sent me off on the other side of the bridge, which the snake broke. But if that's just missable, if I just miss it, I am not going to be a very happy camper. To be fair, I'm not really a camper these days in general. And just, can we... No? What? Okay. Hmm. Other side of Sunken Valley Bridge. Let me see. Sunken Valley Passage Bridge, other side. Bridge, Raid Serpent, went on the other side. Dragon Tear, Red Bundle Statue. Oh, you... Dragon's Blood's Rop, what? Mibu Boon of Soul in a Bundled Jesus statue. And. Wow. Yeah, it. Yeah. There's no other way to get back there, it's just a few items. That's some bull. <laughs> it's nothing I need, but it's just. Have something be permanently missable like that is such a bad bullshit design. And it's literally a one-time chance. Whatever. I'm gonna go to the little bit that remains of Sunken Valley and take on Owl next time. Okay.
It was just miss entirely. I gen that genuinely pisses me off. Okay. Let's use that just to... You can use that to make the monkeys fight each other. It's funny. Not all that useful, but funny. How can I get... Okay, I can get down here in the swamp, but the areas above would be still somewhat inaccessible. So stupid. Okay. How do I want to get down there then? Can I? Okay, I'm over there now. Another poison swamp, presumably. It's going to lead me to Ashina Depths, or... That's the question. Okay. So there's more poison over here. And I... Ooh, and it's very swampy as well. Let's use... Oh, but I don't have the... Toxic Memorial Mob or anything. Yellow Gunpowder. Okay, so the best way to stay out of it is to actually just hop through. Interesting. So you got the Viscera. At least that isn't missable. Nothing meaningful is missable, but still, it's... There's a bad taste in my mouth. And these are... Presumably this is Sulfurous. Okay. Hmm. So, let's continue getting through here and... I can't grapple up on that. But it's just, there are those other grapple points that exist for literally no reason if you can't get back up there any kind of way. I think that must be some kind of glitch that never got patched then, maybe. Oh, but I... Oh, what are, what are you? An elder monkey. Okay, nice, and... One, two... Okay, come on. I, what can I do? So you're a lot more adept at going through this area than I am, which makes some sense. Cool, and... What? Okay, all right. Can I... Really? Really? Come on, okay. Come on, I... Okay. Just slam that down on you, and... Uh, just... Uh... All their monkeys are lunatics. Slam and get you down one more time and get in close and just dodge. And, okay. You can slam that down again. Get you and. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. And slam that down. And, nice. Nice. And what will you do? Oh, oh, okay. Why are you so skillful at fighting? You're literally a monkey. Okay, cool. Come on. Okay. Okay, nice, nice, but I missed that opportunity when I... Come on, you're kidding. Just dodge, dodge. And can I slam that down when... Just dodge, dodge, and slam that down. Ooh, okay, cool. Nice monkey combo, I guess. Slam, slam, and... Can drop anything of significance, or... Just... Oh, what? I can... Thanks. One, two, and just... One, two, and... Can we slam it? Oh, no, no, we need uh, a bit more of that. Okay. And just... No, one, and... We slam you down, and... One, two, three... Ugh, four, and... What's this monkey giving me? Almost as much trouble as Guardian Ape himself. And using these parrot attacks, dash all, and... Dodge, 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 and slam the hammer down it. Okay, cool. Nice. Kill, I mean, slam the Ijimonji down. Oh, one time yellow gunpowder, but at least, honestly, if it was upgrade materials in there, I would be angrier. But it's just more. Oh, here's the toxic mob. Hopefully we should have a sculptor's idol somewhere around here to finish things up. Kokoyo, and... Even where? Thank you. Something about poison, or... He did not... Cave up ahead, servant god dwells, can't buy any more offerings. Okay, cool. Toxic memorial mob, let's buy... Mossy gourd, but... Yellow you know, gunpowder, I've got plenty. Some peace. Okay. Let's get... That... Thanks. Sell a Litecoin purse and then buy the Green Mossy. Oh, we needed more, right? Okay. Alright. Cool. Purchase buy the Green Mossy Gourd. Poison signs at home. Eventually, poison won't affect you at all. Works in peace. Okay, cool. 
Snapseed, and then... And this is going to be the Serpent K, where we'll get Serpent stuff, presumably, but... I want to see what the, what's at the end here before I hop off for today. So I was taking over Ashina. That's Ashina Castle. That's known for sure, but... Hmm. Interesting. And who's down there? I, okay, cool. Nice. Elder monkeys are... Oh, we should switch our finger whistle and... Oh, you're... Are you not mad now? What is... Really? Maybe if I... Hmm. Still going over there, but you seem to be impaired. Oh, anti-air death blow. That's fine. Okay, cool. Oh, and it's... Oh, someone's shooting at that monkey. Okay, scrap magnetite. And a little bit more over this way. And this should actually lead me to... Ashen Adepts, presumably. Like one purse, and... What's in here? This is... Full made in Mercury! Nice! First one! So, in that case... Use our... New funny gourd. Oh, but we only get one use when we're by the thing. After have to rest to refill it. So, we'll... Go over, take a few of you down. Finish this up. Cool. Fun, and... Did they kill... Oh, whoever that got... The monkey killed whoever that was. It's crazy. And that was a, another monkey or a bone of soul and... Yeah, the monkey just killed another monkey. Whatever. And can we slam that down and... Cool. Let's dodge, dodge. One, two, and... Dodge, 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 and... Dodge. Okay, cool. Slam, slam, and... Alright. One, two... And slam down. Kill the monkey. Slam. 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 And one die. Okay. So we only have real gunpowder. Someone up there to shoot. That'll be the last thing we do here. Figure out who was shooting and get rid of them. Or not. Or not. <laughs> but presumably this would lead to... It's poisonous. You to Ashen adapts, but I. Shooting from somewhere, but I don't quite know where. Hmm. Well, whatever. We'll wave. Gotta close this out. Cool. Get all this done, and. Where is. The way to Ashen adapts from here? I. That's what I'm unsure about. Someone was shooting. That, oh, it would have been a monkey with a gun. That's what it would have been. Okay. Cool. And so what's the pathway to Ashen Adepts from Sunken Valley? That's the real question. Over here is nothing of real note. Get up there and see more nothing of note. Cool. Nice. Finish this out, and cool. Over there, and... We just something. Those Buddhas are seem to be indicating something, and this is is this way over or no, no, no? We gotta go to that swamp to kill great serpent. So I guess that'll be the first thing we do next time. Whenever next time is. Okay, cool. Die. Just all these monkeys over here are last thing remaining before we're free. And we can go over there. Thanks, thanks, die. Cool, and... What else? What else? There, and we can... Huh. Oh, but to get over there would mean... What was this? This cave, and... Oh, ho, and I draw. Thanks, we can... Throw that out, and slam on you, and... Cool. Nice. Dodge. And... Cool. Oh, goodness. Okay. Slam, and... Take you out. Night jars are annoying. Contact medicine and just see what we can take. Come on, come on, and slam that down. One, two. Death blow. Cool. All that's left is gonna be getting into that cave. And we'll be chilling. We'll be done for good. That is. Down there is something more. This is Aqua Sugar, so no magnetite, but whatever. 
And a Nidra should be in here, presumably. And... Oh, yup, a Nidra. Okay. And one... Two, one... Nice. Took a little bit of damage from the fire, I think, but... That's okay. A whiff. So we're kind of crawling our way back up to... Well, before, this is where all the monkeys were, actually. Let's just use this. Cool, and... If they all go crazy, yeah, they're just gonna kill each other now. Fun. Uh oh, some of them are. Some of you limits so who gets affected and all. But it's fun to do it this way. Hmm. Just keep on killing each other, monkeys. Keep on killing each other. That mountain echo is gonna have you make you, make you do my dirty work. Thanks, and we just let last monkey finish this fight. Monkey fight, monkey fight. Well, whatever. We should also be able to kill monkeys in one hit now, too, because we have... Yeah, Guardian Ape. Taking out a little bit more attack damage as a result. Okay, cool. That was all that in Sunken Valley. Just that Serpent Cave, and we'll be chilling. It's over there, that's over there, and... Up on to the waist of that Buddha, maybe? Over here as well, so... Let's see, and just... Couple up, couple over. Grab that, and cool. Here go Sugar, and... Come on, come on, and... Something by the waist of that Buddha statue, and Bodhisattva Valley, or... Anything, or... Let's see... Here seems to be... Nothing of particular note. Oh, except for more monkeys. Cool. Oh, no, we've been here before. So the only thing left is kill that serpent, finish that up, soon we get a Sasha in the gaps, and we'll be good. Hmm. Damage is strong. Two, and there we go. Should be more or less finished. Back down to the cave and chill. We have been here before. It's an item that we grabbed. Go in, Puppetune and Jutsu to finish that out, and then we'll be done. Well and truly done. Come on. And we can... Cool, use that to do a bit more jumping ourselves, which allows us to stay alive down here. That's... can we... Oh, never mind. But that was a successful recovery, which means... Just left is Puppetoon and Jutsu in the relevant location, and that's all over. Everything over... Subete Owata for now. So we go down there, we switch out to other ninjutsu. Okay. Puppets here, man. That bridge is just. Can't get any of those items there now. Should be another snake. But we'll have to distract. Oh, that looks like the tracks of the snake, more or less. Path a snake would have dug effectively. And. Oh, goodness. And I, oh, hi. Who are. And the wall? What is... Okay. That's interesting. What kind of... Okay, nice, nice, and... Okay. Cool, cool. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, whatever. Took some damage. Can we kill you? Dodge it. What if we... Get that end? What if I... Slam, slam. Take you, and... What if we... Oh. Need to find a way to kill you, then. Puppet Union Jutsu on the monkeys. Hold over would be nice, so we can swing and slam, slam, and whatever it's going to take to kill you. They might not be killable at all. A death blow on the funny wall guy. And, cool. Slam, and we can. We can, whatever goes up with this guy, we can pull him out of the wall. Oh, two scrap magnetite. That's good. So what if I went over here? One, two, and no, that won't work. Wizard. More wizards. Okay, cool. Nice end. Out of the way. Kill another wizard. So somewhere there's going to be... A second puppeteer, a monkey. Is that to uh, get out of here? I mean, not to get out of here, but... Uh, we're going to be... Uh, where the hole should be. Distract that other serpent. Presumably. Monkey somewhere. And... Make the monkey dance... That should be good. Dance to get over to the right spot. 
Avoid aggro button in the sky, get the Divide Serpent Viscera, and... Oh, thanks. Let's kill you. Hello, hello. Get that, and just... Swing, and take that out. Cool. Okay. Foster's gonna come back. Oh, more of you? Really? What are these guys even doing? This doesn't even make sense. Okay. And just out of the way. Slam, and... Cool. Thanks, and dodge, and die. Okay. Goodbye, wall guy. Okay. And ant sprout magnetite and antidote powder, but... Where was the... Oh, did he just appear from multiple parts, or... There's one, maybe, who can appear from multiple sections in the same area. Just, we don't want to wake up the snake. Be very, very bad for us. Oh, goodness, more poisonous lizards. Come on, okay. This, this is probably intended to just whittle us down without a real fight. Oh, we don't have any mossy gourds, so we need power. Okay. Let's go a free bit of antidote powder, but I... Okay. Die, die. Come on, come on. Thank you, we crawl through. Take the Fistful of Ash, and then... Get the monkeys down. Oh, can you, are you kidding me? The point is almost definitely make us accidentally hit some of the guys. Hit the snake or something that make it just totally freak. It's a funny idea, but it annoys me. Okay. Cool. And someone over there is... Can we... Oh, can we... Oh, goodness. All right. One, two, and... All right. So we're depleting your health, which is good, but... Come back out of your hole. Come on. And just... Slam and... Oh, what? Really? Really? Okay. Come on, come on. Take out about a third of your health every time you emerge. And just one. Dodge. One, two. Die, die. Get out of the wall. Okay. Cool. We have a lot of missing health, but I... Wait, what? You're in here, then. Hi. Get you down, and... Okay, cool. And... Slam, slam, and... Hmm. Good damage, but your posture goes all the way back up every time you re-emerge, it seems. Thanks, and... Almost all the way back up. Almost. Almost. Ah, oh, really? Okay. Hell it. Lord, kill you. Back to Dabson. Slam. What? Really? Okay. Cool. Cool. Bye. Just cannot kill that snake. Cannot hit the snake. And we... Hmm. That puppeteer, which is good, but... One, die. Die. Oh, well, we didn't get death bolt, but that's probably fine. Let me go around through here, or... Well, we can, but should we? Probably not. So then, what are we gonna... Kill you. Jump up around here, and... To the grapple point. We could probably... That would probably be what gets us to... Those few items. I don't plan on dying enough... Enough times to get more dragon rats, so... Shouldn't matter, neither should the Jizo. Don't really resurrect. Now it's... Soul of Ash. Strand Magnetite. Okay, we gotta go over there. Almost done. Just gotta get that Serpent Viscera. And we'll be through. Second. And down over there. Distract it. Distract it using a monkey's dancing. So now you're stirring. Now you know we exist. Oh no. Okay. So there are ways to get past it, even regardless, but the best way by far is to puppeteer a monkey. Hi there, hello. The fact that there are multiple great servants for some reason is so funny to me. It's just why. And a monkey, which means I have to puppeteer a monkey and lead it over to us, or do we? Wow, okay. This thing is just... To get over there would be... Hmm. Jump and can we... Can we... Oh, that leads to... Monkeys over there, okay. The backstab them somewhere and... Stay away from that. Jump. Thanks, and... Backstab the monkey, so this is... Tana do last user puppeteer ninjutsu. Thanks, and puppeteer. 
And you're gonna go over and do something relevant. But go over, distract him. Go dance. And you're gonna jump up there automatically and... Thank you, snake. And, alright. Thanks. Oh, what? Okay. We can get in here with the time we have. Get that viscera. Sorry, monkey. Sorry. So that's all we needed. Need a bone of soul and... And pass your or Dried serpent viscera, got a land. Spirit resides. Red viscera of the god. Worship the organs. Believe they represent the deity itself. So there's gotta be a way back, but... I'm just gonna do this. Can't kill this guy. And that would have probably killed me. Let's go back. Give the persimmon to the divine child, and that will close things out today. I'll also probably get some magnetite or something, but... The side path into Ashina Depths from Silicon Valley Passage is... I need to figure out where that is. Go back to... The temple. Inner Sanctum. Cool. So it was a balloon. Jizo. A dragon droplet, and I don't need any of those. Alright, we'll give you the other Persimmon. Frozen Tears are here. Persimmons? Yes. Can you attack? They're in my hand. As I expected. Comparison? Actually gonna eat them? Of course. Most you don't... It's of course Cradle to return to its home, however. In front of you, back after some time. So in that case, let's go over the temple, come back, collect... So if we set the area, presumably she'll be gone and have left frozen tears. Maybe. I don't know. Either way, we're almost done. All we've got left is Owl, Fountainhead, and... Really, that should be all. Okay. Oh, and Headless Ape. That too. Send the prosthetic, upgrade the tool, and cool. What can we get? We can get that. We've gotten a lot of Magnetite, actually. And Malcontent, once we have the ring. That will be crucial. Go back and kill those headlesses. Rise no more, so we need a bit more in the way of... Hmm. Let's just use this bulging coin purse. It was a bit over, but whatever. Cool. Present the prosthetic, upgrade the tool, and thank you. Get the Lotus Umbrella. That's very good. Malcontent is next. All of these are next. We'll just chill. Cool. So I guess we'll take our stuff and that'll be all. Cool. Thanks. Maybe I'll try some more stuff tomorrow, but last thing to do is going to be collect the tears and then we'll be chilling. So I guess next time, presumably, would be... Well, we went through Sunken Valley Passage, Sunken Valley Proper, Rest of Mibu, Rest of a lot of stuff. Not a lot of stuff done today. I think we could probably, if I push myself, finish everything next time. Depends on how much trouble I have with bosses. Oh, it's closed. We can... Rather than pain. Hmm. Alright, well... Back after some time, so we'll probably have to wait for something else to happen, so let's go back to the temple and that'll be done. That'll be all. We did okay. Decent amount done. Oh, we should get... Almost there. We need... Pick up in Ashina Arts. Prosthetic Arts we need. Well, Nitro Slash Reversal is also good, but... Get us closer to flowing water. Directed like the flowing of water. And then it would be Ashina Cross, Nitro Slash, Reversal, Giving Force, and then... So 17 more. 5, 3, 4. 17 more points. Which, frankly, I don't think we'll get by the end of this. Maybe. We'll see. So I guess that's all for today. Thank you very much. Sign Oregon. Be that stupid monkey.